Welcome! Let me know when you guys can see me. Welcome, welcome! <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, guys. I got a nosebleed before the stream started, so... <laughs> just trying to deal with that. But, yes! Let's go ahead and start playing whenever, uh... Everybody can see me and stuff. Oh, thank you, Gigi. Er, <laughs> Gigi. Give gif a gi. I don't know why I said GG. Just thinking of GG Hadid or something. Welcome! Welcome! Yeah, uh, last time we killed Kinju's dad, so that was pretty fun. <laughs> it's kind of wild the coincidences with that guy and Kinji, though, being a priest, holy nails, saying the word slay. It was it was a lot. It almost it almost felt intentional, almost. <laughs> Almost. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm curious to see where this chapter goes from. It's kind of weird because last chapter already felt so much like chapter two. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Nosebleed. How very anime of you. Yes, very anime. I was, like, putting on makeup and all of a sudden I was like, that's not good. <laughs> it's just like, psh. it's like, cool. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> I hate nosebleeds, man. Welcome, and thank you, guys. What a beautiful birthday. <laughs> what a beautiful birthday today is. Uh, it feels good to be 208 years old. Oh, it was like just yesterday I was 105. It's crazy. Crazy times. Crazy times. Let me uh, kind of get this. Oh, I get like a little movie or something. Okay. Oh, they got a hoge too. A new pro tag. Unpainted yeah. faces in uniform by the window. Oh yeah, he's got to give his little slam dunk poetry reading. This isn't the real me. It's like, uh oh, Yuma, somebody's got a, somebody else's got a hoge. Better start watching your back. With that, a hand reaches out. And misses the stars grazing off dusk. Okay. Guessing the case is gonna take. Oh no! <laughs> Damn. <And> <laughs> Rip, never mind. Lies. That a hoge cannot protect the her. Remnants of everything someone has lost. Looks like a Nike sister a bit. Okay, so some kind of high school mystery, it seems like. One of her friends do it. Just thinking of like a Moo from Milgram right now. A silent curtain call. Because she had the friend group too. Oh man, the newest Milgram song was really good as well. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. <laughs> Thank you for the answer. I'll read in a second. <laughs> What's up, man? What you run from? Okay, cool. Oh. Uh, morning, everyone. Oh, yeah, let me uh, go ahead and uh, read this. Thank you, Krogomancer. Last time on Raincode, Yuma killed Kenji's dad and a kitty cat criminal. Sorry, Morgana. <laughs> One more slang and he's officially a ser serial killer. <laughs> oh, yeah, he killed Darkiplier, too. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, King. Almost forgot about him. I was too busy, too busy thinking about <laughs> simping for Kenji's dad. <laughs> I wonder what he's running away from. I do feel like he is kind of sketchy. Crap, what's his name again? I feel like I always say it kind of weirdly, like Fato or Sato or something. I don't know why I can't, I can't think of it. But the blue-haired guy, he does seem like, I don't know, well, I can't tell sometimes how closely he works with the Amaterasu. We'll see, we'll see. But it's a little... It's a little weird that he was like running. Also, yeah, when it does, he go get a guitar. <laughs> uh -huh. Chief, you look so clean cut today. Aww. You look just like Halara. Oh my! <laughs> oh my God, Chief! Why did you get so hot? <laughs> that is Halara. How could you mistake the two of them? <laughs> just because she's just because the Halara's sitting in the chair. Oh, you're right. What a wonderful surprise. Oh, Fabuki! I can't wait for Fabuki's chapter. She cracks me up. The chief was gone by the time I got here. It's way past our meeting time. So Hilaria just decided to take over. What is that old man doing? 
He always nags others and they're late. The chief suddenly went missing. According to my deduction, his chopped up corpse will be shipped here in a cardboard box. And you wish. That's horrible. Now we're gonna question why uh, the kid uh, talks to himself. Yako, why couldn't I? It's like I feel like I don't know. It's like every time I say his name, I feel like I'm just saying like it just sounds weird. Like Yako, like gonna yak. You know what I mean? Uh, garbage on the floor. Hmm. It's so dirty. Okay, let's talk to you, Desuhiko, I guess. Uh. Ibuki is such an airhead. <laughs> but that's what makes her so cute. <laughs> okay, creeper. <sighs> and this guy looks like he's really gonna commit a crime one of these days. <laughs> let's back away from him slowly. <laughs> oh, oh, cute. <laughs> okay, let's talk to you, Hawkeye. Yeah. I'm just getting a good part in this book. Do you mind waiting? You know. Vivia doesn't care at all, huh? It's like green eggs and ham. <laughs> about the about the climax. It you know, it's just a it's just a Dr. Seuss book, right? No, it's deep. You couldn't understand. You couldn't understand, Yuma. Try to talk to her. <laughs> oh, I know. Why not have a nice little picnic until the chief returns? We could eat lunch under the great big sky. The rain would feel so lovely. <laughs> uh, Fabuki, I don't really want to go out in the rain. Hi, uh, everybody here is a weirdo. <laughs> Besides me. Scattered books. I don't know if I ever looked at this. It's so cluttered in here. Talk to Halara. Seeing that the chief's raincoat isn't here, he must have gone out. I feel like a Halara gives off more like leadership vibes than Yako, you know what I mean? The desk drawer is slightly open, and the loose change inside is gone. <laughs> Thank you, Jean Philippe Hansons. Why is there a fireplace and a submarine? <laughs> Be kind of funny if, like, right next to it, there's like a no smoking sign. <laughs> like, hey, no smoking! But the fireplace, now nah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's it all wasn't good. It's a significant amount of money. Probably not the Just best uh... to do some shopping. <laughs> the best uh, idea for a renovation for a submarine. Considering that the refrigerator is empty, he most likely went out to get breakfast. That's correct, Alora. Oh, his voice. Chief Yako said he's grabbing breakfast before everyone got together. He asked me to tell everyone, which is why I just did. After we were, like, debating it for, like, five minutes. Why didn't you tell us earlier? Oh, so no chopped up corpse then. You're so perceptive, Halara. With my logic, anything is possible. <laughs> also, you, all, you guys all owe me 20 bucks each. Wow, you are like a real detective. <laughs> Unlike me. Everyone here is a real detective. Dad, uh, well, there is one yeah. trainee who wandered in here. Mm. What a jerk. I'm the only one who's allowed to pick on Master. One of these days, I'll get back at that shorty detective. I'll turn him into a wax doll <laughs> or something. What is that sprite? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to see that in my nightmares, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, hopefully, no blood. I think we're okay. A little bit. It's all good. <laughs> Even if he's a trainee, he's still a detective. We don't discriminate here. What? You're on the rookie side? He's a trainee who doesn't even have a detective deed. No way am I gonna recognize him as a real detective. Right, Vivia? Uh, huh? <laughs> What's going on? I, I just got to the green eggs part. Come on. Oh, there's no need to worry. I ate breakfast before coming over here. You're not even listening. I wonder why the chief is taking so long. Uh, maybe he's in line at a stall for some meat buns. He's always eating that stuff. It is Kanai Ward's specialty. Adults and children alike seem to love it in the city. I have witnessed people line up at the Nippon stalls in both the Kamasaki and Gima districts. Yeah, I wonder why he was getting chased. It wouldn't be something stupid like them trying to like steal the meat buns, right? It's like, no, people take that really serious here. <laughs> Everyone looks so gloomy around here because they eat that crap like a bunch of country <laughs> bumpkins. <laughs> We'd be getting a nosebleed after Vivia talks real. <laughs> Too much Vivian fan art. That's what that's what happened, guys. We solved the case. God, I was wondering where that came from. Hey, rookie, go make something for the chief. You're good at cooking, aren't you? 
Actually, due to my amnesia, I can't make anything tasty. What? Oh, you're useless, rookie. <laughs> so you seem like the, the meat buns have crack in them. <laughs> so that's why people like them. I'm the only one who can call if there was something. Uh, if there was actually like a reason, though, for people being so obsessed with them. I guess we'll see how they act about it, though. Jeez. Everything about this town is so dark and gloomy. <laughs> It's making me go insane. I step outside and I get rained on. All I hear are raindrops. There's no good music anywhere. Oh, I know. What this town needs isn't truth or justice. Oh it's my god. High quality entertainment. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna become a celebrity. I bet you don't even know how to play a guitar, Desuiko. That's where I come in. <laughs> it's time for me to blow some minds with my debut. He's like one of those dudes who only knows like one song of guitar. He knows like Wonderwall by Oasis, and that's it. Debut? It's like, yeah, kind of professional guitar player, uh, Fubuki. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh. I'm a singing, dancing, superstar detective. My beautiful voice will echo throughout this town. I'll show him what true entertainment looks like. <laughs> He's got like the pointy nose. I'm just doing this to breathe some life into this gloomy city. Not because I want to pick up chicks or anything. <laughs> Never. No one asked, and he's already making excuses. Well, that reminds me. I just wrote a new song. I'll grace you all with it right now as a special treat. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. It's gonna be awful. Oh, come on. You always have the worst timing. I wanted to hear <sighs> it. <sighs> These morning chases are killing me. Okay, finally get to hear it. No, come on. <laughs> come on, just a little bit. Just the first verse in chorus. Huh? He's finally here, but now it's so noisy. What? I get it. He was trying to be fashionably late. It really doesn't seem that way. Oh, wait, let me talk to you, Vivia, just so I can, I can look at you. <laughs> oh, wait, God, that's gonna make my nose bleed more, though. Yeah. What's up, Yuma? Would you like to read something, too? Hmm. Uh, this guy smells like a nerd. <laughs> How, okay, how dare you? Let's get away from him before you turn into one. Have I'm you sorry. seen him? Maybe another time. Okay, we can go ahead and talk to him. What happened, Chief? It's the peacekeepers. They've been trailing me ever since I left. I was running to get them off my tail, but they refused to let up. They just still upset about last time, I guess? Oh, that's the most running I've done in a while. Oh, and my back is killing me. So they just trailed you? Why not let them do it? Like I want to go on an early morning date with some peacekeepers? <laughs> not interested. Besides, it'd be one thing if they just wanted to follow me. But there's a chance they'll make an attempt on my life. Oh, seriously? Just for walking around? There's no way. I mean, I'm trying to think of how the other situation ended. I feel like it kind of ended weird because they're going to like arrest us and stuff. And they were just like, no, nah, never mind. <laughs> We're all good. Nothing, nothing. No more worries here. Well, how did that all kind of end? I guess they would. Well, oh yeah, those two guys uh, showed up. The two uh, hot people showed up. I think they just like threatened us and left, right? I guess they probably do still want to kill us now that I think about it. That, that makes sense. Thank you, Ither. Plot twist. The meat buns are actually edibles. And all of Kanai Ward is high as fuck all the time. It's not even raining there. They just think it's raining from all the, uh, all the edibles. <laughs> That's how high they are. I don't know about that. It looks like they've gotten serious ever since the Nail Man case. Ew. Sorry. <laughs> we have more stuff to worry about than just Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I think we should lay low for a while. Well, the WDO never said we had to discover it by a certain date. Let's lurk in the bottom of the river until things settle down. Hey, yeah, that's for the best. Let's go with that. <laughs> Not even have the submarine vis so visible. Passive, as usual. While we're hiding, we could lose what we've built here. No, it's not my style to just wait for the opponent to make their move. I'm taking the initiative. Hey, hold on, Halara. Where do you think you're going? There's something I want to look into. There's no need for concern. Okay, thumb bossing already. No matter how many peacekeepers come after me, I'll be fine. We know that. <laughs> Legs of steel. I guess that's that. Alara will be fine. I just don't want to get dragged into any trouble. Jeez, master detectives are all so selfish. We can hear you. Well, good. 
I hope you all learn some self-restraint. Poor Yako. Should I go keep an eye on Halara? <laughs> Just to make sure no fights break out. I just like the adult keeping watch on us to make sure we don't make any messes. You, Fubuki? That <laughs> actually make me more worried. That's a great idea. Yes, Fubuki, please go team up with Halara. Mm. Roger that. Off I go. It's kind of interesting to see two other detectives teaming up while we, like, team up with somebody, you know? The exit is over here. <laughs> Girl. Girl! Are you sure sending <laughs> Fubuki is a good idea? Jesus. <laughs> Despite how she acts, Fubuki has one of the strongest powers of all master detectives. Just nothing, nothing in that head of hers, dude. Nothing at all. Let me read through some of these. Sorry, guys. Sorry to be gross on stream. <clears throat> Let me see. Which ones did I miss? Oh, wait, this one. Okay, thank you. Someone unknown. Yaka had a nosebleed before he got to the sub. Him and me. God, him and me both, dude. We were just both thinking about Vivia. Everyone's in love with Vivia. Thank you, Wolf Allen. He was gonna sing the Toxic <laughs> I wrote this one when I, after I heard Yuma's story. <laughs> toxic Gossip Train. <laughs> That's gonna be a way easier song to learn than Wonderwall. Thank you, Dabi Diaga. I love Holara. They're so cool. I know, Holara is so cool, dude. There is such a, uh, <laughs> such a boss, dude. And like I said, uh, legs of steel. Legs of steel. She'll be great help in times of trouble. Take down anybody. The strongest? Is that sheltered skink really that amazing? She sure doesn't look it. Shinigami is not a girl's girl. She is so, she is so rude. Time for us to go to. We need to find some girls that, it I mean, clues. It clues. I need to find a coffee shop where I can play Wonderwall. I just asked you I to mean, show some investigate. self restraint. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'm the ultimate master detective. I won't cause any trouble for you. The ultimate. I wonder if he said super high school level in the Japanese version. Are you sure? What? what? I I'm not so weak that I need some rookie worrying about me. My powers make me the best there is in deceiving prying eyes. What was this power again? I don't remember. Not even the peace can <clears throat> stand a chance. Deceiving? Oh, fine. I guess I'll put on a special show just for you. Oh, now I think I remember. I think he... I guess we'll, I'll let him do it. One minute. Ooh, Who knows how many days it took God to create the world, but I can change everything in just one minute. <laughs> Basically, God. Check this out. The one thing I can't do is lip sync. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's all like a wardrobe, like a changing closet. No wonder his bag's so big. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> nice. Did his eyes stay the same or not, though? But yeah, I thought I did remember uh, that uh, being his power, he can change, he can, like, make himself look like anybody. Dude, just dress up as Vivia, and you can have any girl you want, or or boy. Wow, you totally look like Chief Yako. What do you think? The perfect disguise, huh? Oh, Mastery wow. Mastery of disguise is my forte. Holy shit, even the voice? And your voice, too. I didn't think your disguise would be so good. The ultimate cosplayer yet again. Really? I think I'm far more handsome than that. My backpack has tons of different tools inside. Using them allows me to disguise as anyone pretty much perfectly. And there you have it. I guess it makes it more convenient for him to be so short, too, because then he can just, like, I guess he, like, stilts for tall people. Because, yeah, I'd have to feel like his knees or something if he wanted to be a short person. And thank you, another professional. Later we find Halara surrounded by a pile of bodies in the middle of the street while Fabuki is cheering her on with a pair of glow sticks. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably canon. <laughs> Fabuki's like, I don't know what's going on. I just want to be supportive. <laughs> doesn't want to be supportive. Not only can you change your voice and looks, but your height and <sighs> build too. I'll have you know that this isn't magic or some cheap copycat ability. This is my disguise. It's a highly refined technique. Disguises don't have to be exactly perfect. Any flaws can be covered by matching the overall impression. 
In short, I just need to imitate the subject visually and psychologically. It, to be honest, it does put a huge strain on my body, though. He makes it sound so easy. He's like, yeah, I just do it, man. I just got good, and that's it. Mm, I thought the shorty detective was all talk, but this kid ain't bad. Guess he's not totally useless like you are, master. So you get it now? With my disguise ability, the peacekeepers will never be on my tail. Nice. Anyway, I'm off to pick up some babes. I mean, work the case. <laughs> work the case. He probably does disguise himself as like some hot guy when he's picking up chicks. <laughs> ah, Kinma District. There's no shortage of cuties. Hey! Master detectives are all so selfish. The WDO needs to teach them cooperation. Yeah, I mean, they all got pretty big egos, so it makes sense. Cooperation? I'm sure Halara and Desuhiko are confident working alone. If I want to become a detective, I have to gain the same confidence they have. But it feels like I'll never get there at this rate. Independent era, independent chapter. <laughs> Thinking about it. What's the matter, Shinigami? You never look so serious. I just realized something. There's so much you can do if you can disguise yourself okay. as anyone. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Like, you know, everything. And now, I know, I was going to ask you to explain, but don't, don't explain. I think I'm good. You're thinking about something awful again. <laughs> Jesus. Awful? I just have a bit of a mischievous nature is all. How rude. Probably thinking about going to like uh, dressing up as like the opposite gender and then going to like a spa or something, right? You pervert, Shinigami. God, are we going to have to get like a freaking spa moment? Ah, oh, God, I'm good. I don't want any fan service scenes. Please, no. I'm good. I got enough from Danganronpa and all the fan games combined to last me a lifetime. Thank you. Bless Bane. I don't know, something about Hiko's power seems <laughs> plain. <laughs> I get ya. I get ya. I remember his splash art looks so much like Samugi too. I remember thinking about that when I was looking at it. I was like, hmm, interesting. Thank you, Dylan Petal. And then Desu Hiko disguised himself as Mitch. <laughs> I was thinking that too. It's like, I'm gonna become the per perfect man so that I can pick up babes. <laughs> Turns into fucking Mitch. Oh, man. And thank you, Candy Dude 68 a Definitely Mitch's more successful little brother. <laughs> oh, God, I think I did give him the Mitch voice. I don't want to judge him too soon, though. He's just a little guy. He seems funny so far, too, so I'm cool with him. I'm cool with him. Thank you, Lean of the Future. If there, these verses are these verses are connected, Desu Mugi in the future? Who can disguise as real people? One who can disguise into fictional characters. Oh god, with their powers combined, they can rule the world. Both the fictional and the and the real world. Interesting though. I do kinda wonder if the universes are connected. Probably not. Probably not, but I guess we could see maybe. I guess so. I'll just kind of keep a good eye and see if I can pick up on references of like, you know, the most awful, most, you know, horrible event in human history happening or not. Also, the people here aren't blue, you know, so I feel like that, <laughs> that confirms they're not connected. Maybe I'll just take off and go haunt someone else. Yeah. By the way, Chief Yako, what should I do? Well, we may have to hold up here for a while. Like, I like that video is like the only one not causing problems. <laughs> he just chills and reads. So I'm gonna need you oh my to God. clean this room. We might as well have it tidied up while we're in here. <laughs> you know, this is why I, this is why I go against you every time. You want me to clean the room? Isn't that more of a job for a housekeeper rather than a detective? Trust me, this is also part of a detective's duty. I'm counting on you, Yuma. <sighs> Fine. Man, Yuma, grow a backbone, dude. Uh, really? You're gonna listen to him? Uh, God dang it. Okay, whatever. Fuck this. I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to my boyfriend. Oh, sorry. I'm in the way of your cleaning. No, you're good. I don't know about the others, but I agree with hunkering down at the office. <laughs> you're lazy, man. Now I'm gonna get a better look at you, King. Oh no, he's, he's always got his head down. Only truly cultured civilizations develop in a way that permits immobility. Hence the phrase, armchair detective. 
physical distance traveled is irrelevant to arriving at the truth. Hmm, I see. Is that why? Is that why you're reading a BTS Yaoi fix you printed off? Uh, no, leave me alone. Th that's not it, God. Truthfully, outsider interference with the matter at hand can distort the truth in unexpected ways. How many fanfics did he print off AO3 before <laughs> before he came to Kanai Ward and his internet privileges were taken away? That's that's the true question. Right. Right. That is so true, King. I have no idea what you said, but you looked so good saying it. <sighs> He's still not moving. Vivia must be really lazy. He likes something about us, like evolving backwards, so that we don't, <laughs> so that we become immobile. What do you got to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, poor Yuma, dude. He's so small. Is Desuhiko the same age as Yuma? I guess I still don't really know this Yuma's age so either. Boring. Aren't there any decapitated corpses or something around here? There are only two members that look, uh, you know, so young. Don't say stuff like that. It's actually possible in this city. Oh, God. I just had a bad thought. What if, what if Vivi is reading those McDonald fanfics we always talked about during the Despair Time fix? <laughs> no, this isn't, this isn't Ronald McDonald, yeah? Wait, leave me alone! Oh, don't, don't look at the fic! Don't look this at it! This is full of mysteries! And yet you're busy cleaning. That's stupid. Oh, I should have stayed asleep in the book if it was all just gonna end up like this. In the book? The Book of Death. Oh, you probably don't remember that either. Hey, Master, mm. what do you remember? Book of Death. What's she talking about? I was too busy thinking about the McDonald's fanfics. <laughs> I got distracted, you know? I was thinking about something uh, much more important. Stay to sleep in the book? Is that what you came out of? Okay. I wish I knew the answer to that. What's the Book of Death? It's the book yours truly was sealed in. Is that like uh, the Necronomicon? Is that what it's gonna be kinda similar to? It was hidden away deep in the WDO's book vault when you found it. Hmm. That doesn't ring a bell. Okay, so that's how he originally found her? Not at all. The World Detective Organization really kept such a dangerous book. <laughs> no, not my immortal. <laughs> oh no, he's definitely reading my immortal right there. That's that's my that's my new head cannon. Dangerous. Excuse you, but it's always detectives who want my power. Even his even his outfit is his drip. It's so it's so <laughs> inspired by what what was her name like Raven Dark Dementia Way. Oh, that's. That's his role model. It's the power to obtain the truth, after all. Although, you need to conquer the mystery labyrinth to get it. So, Shinigami, have you haunted other detectives before me? Oh, so you're the type who gets jealous of ex-boyfriends? <laughs> I don't think they're really ex-boyfriends, but you know, <laughs> that's whatever. Just curious. Was it a coincidence I found the Book of Death? Or did I want to gain its power? If that was the reason, why didn't I leave some sort of note before losing my memories? I would think that he found it by accident, but then, like, you know, made a pact with her? I mean, it's gotta be some kind of, like, you know, transactional deal. Oh, God. Ither, Vivia's reading- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus- No! Is that real? Vivia's reading a Jungkook x Pennywise fanfic? <laughs> what?! What is wrong with people? If you don't know it, you don't. I'm totally gonna Google it once the stream ends. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Please tell me that's a joke. Oh god. <laughs> Since you're done, that's know, horrifying. I'll tell you all about it, Master. It's a miracle of the universe that you and I met. <laughs> a real miracle. You oh gosh. Are bound by fate. So let's nurture our connection for all eternity. Uh, what? That's gotta be a crack fig, right? Right? Please. Please tell spots. me it's a joke. Oh. What the hell? Okay, for a second I thought I was like first person perspective now. I was like, whoa! Whoa! Okay. Anyway, I didn't expect the peacekeepers to follow us around just for walking outside. Now it's dangerous to go out. Oh, why did I even come here? Damn. 
Is there anywhere else to clean? Let's talk to Vivi again. <sighs> For now. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> Can you stop? Stop it! You're too... No, you're too sexy to die. <laughs> no, Vivian, stop it. <sighs> Stream is turning me into Mitch. For now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. There is some crazy fucking fanfics out there, dude. I was for a while trying to work on, like, a fan... Not like a fanfic, but just like a shipping iceberg in general. I did find some really weird stuff when I was doing that, but not John Cook X Pennywise. That, that's a new one. It's like, I thought I'd There's seen it all! Monster? Apparently, I haven't! Oh, is this. Who sleeps here? Is this where Yaku sleeps, I guess? I don't think these cigarette butts were here before. Has Chief Yaku been secretly smoking? I should confront him about it the next time I see him. Oh no! What happened, Chief? Secret I was gonna say secretly smoking. Doesn't he always have a cigarette in his mouth? I was like, I don't think he's really hiding it very well. I was so busy being chased around by the peacekeepers that I forgot to buy food. We won't last half a day in the river like this. Plus, I can't think straight without some food in me. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy from hunger. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> That's a bit traumatic. I have no choice. Yuma? Oh my god. I've got a special mission for you. So important, so deadly. Oh yeah, so I wanted to double check too. Desuhiko did change the eyes too. I think there's gotta be some tell between Desuhiko and like, um, you know, the people he like imitates, but man, even the, the, the shape in his eyes seems to be the same as Yako. Interesting. I just figured it'd be too OP if it was like perfect, you know? Go and buy some food. This is our most crucial mission since the establishment of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. But isn't it dangerous to go outside? Hey, weren't the peacekeeper trying to like kill us or something? No, no, it's, it's, it's okay if you die. <laughs> I don't have a way to protect myself, like Halara or Desuhiko. Well, it should be fine. Just do some shopping and come straight back. Fucking Yako, dude. Please. I need those meat buns they sell in Kamasaki District. Gima District has meat buns too, but the ones in Kamasaki are cheaper and taste way better. Oh yeah, do you think I remember passing by a meat bun? This is definitely going to be important to the plot somehow. Chief, you're so incredibly selfish. I think the timing couldn't be better. Let's get out of this cramped space. I want to see some fun corpses. I hope someone's gone off and murdered somebody else already. I'm sure they have. Come on. Everyone only cares about themselves. All right, fine. I'll go and buy some food. But don't blame me if I end up getting dragged into trouble. Ah, uh, don't worry. I don't really care about that. <laughs> You're not a real detective anyways. Keep your head down, all right? <sighs> ah, man. Master Detective, Flora and Kanai Ward. Because it's difficult to grow plants in perpetually rainy Kanai Ward, many have replaced with synthetic counterparts. Oh, weird. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. I have to get meat buns in Kamasaki District. Oh, thank you, Janae Nicole. Watching Weeby continuing to sim for Vivia and bitch about Balloon Boy. Oh, fuck Balloon Boy. The highlight of my week. Thanks for streaming. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And yeah, screw Balloon Boy, dude. I hate that kid so much. And Vivia, of course, has my my heart, my soul. Uh, I hope the what a king. Don't find me. <laughs> yeah. That fusshead is a real tyrant. I probably should look up and see if anybody really does cosplay Balloon there? Boy. A meat bun. What'd you say? Pretend the trash is a meat bun? I was glad that I think uh, in the FNAF fandom, yeah, most people actually do hate, <laughs> do hate Balloon Boy. <laughs> oh, thank God. It's like, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Far away at Bound of the World, one of the popular plays performed by Etheria Academy's Theater Club, an adventure set in a fantasy world, revealed in the climax to be a devastated future Earth all along. Interesting. There is some new ones, it kind of seems like. I'm not gonna run. <laughs> Almost read Forte as Farte for a second. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my forensic Farte. 
Very important. Nah, it's not the variety store. I do kind of want to shop there, though. I feel like the lady who works here, she kind of reminds me. Wasn't there someone kind of similar in Persona 5 who worked at, like, a bar? I feel like they looked kind of similar to her. I can't remember exactly, though. Oh, wait, no, no, it's this way. Oh, I get so confused in these stupid subways. <laughs> one day, one day I'll figure it out. Oh. Interesting. Where's the stairs? I guess I was just reading this wrong. Let me talk to this guy. So there is a copycat nail man, huh? I get it. You, you get it? I mean, who doesn't want to do bad things? It sort of, sort of stuff happens a lot here in Kamasaki anyways. Oh, so locked room mysteries are a regular thing here. Not at all, it's so bleak. Also, you want some drugs, kid? Okay. So let me... It's down here. One day I won't get lost on these maps. <laughs> One day. But it's not today, probably. Let's see. There's a meat bun stall. There are no customers right now, so I should get I this over kitty. with. Oh, that's cute. What about your share, Master? Aren't you buying some for yourself? Hmm, I'm a bit hungry, so I should eat too. Man, you should teach him a lesson, dude. Teach Yako a lesson and only buy yourself some. How about that? By the way, Master, I'm sure you know this since you're such a capable detective in training, but there's someone watching you from the shadows. Oh. Huh? Peacekeeper? Oh, who's that? Don't turn around, they'll see! You're so <laughs> clumsy, stupid amateur, filthy human! <laughs> Are you a detective or not? Filthy? <laughs> Poor Yuma. Is it the peacekeepers? Hmm. Something doesn't feel right. The guy All is black. sneaking around, kind of restless. A peacekeeper would be much more direct. How are they dressed? Well, they're in a raincoat and their head's covered by the hood. Kind of looks like Alara's outfit, but just like in all black. I don't think that's an Amaterasu Corporation uniform. So it's not Amaterasu Corp? Then who? Oh my god, is it Gray Man coming to get me? <laughs> Let's find out. How? Listen, Master. I've got an awesome plan. Plan? What plan? I call it Operation Stalker Hunter. Go into a secluded location and catch whoever is tailing you. I'll give you advice along the way, so just relax and enjoy the ride. Anyway, let's head to the underground area. Okay. Sure. I feel like getting them alone might be kind of a bad idea. It's not like Yuma is extremely uh, capable of handling himself, you know what I mean? Like, he's kind of small and petite and not very uh, swole. Where are they at right now? Can we actually see them? Oh, there they are. That's kind of cool. So you kind of want to watch them follow us. Still over there. Yep, yep. I spy our stalker. Keep going, master. Yeah, I guess we just totally gave up on the meat buns, huh? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, who the hell is this? I'm oh. oh, sorry. I was like, going? I was about to blow my sorry nose. About that. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> An expect a prompt. That's all good. Let's keep going. Okay. I did not expect a prompt. Okay. I'm waiting for another prompt. Again, just as I thought. Keep moving, Master. Hmm? Oh, little kid. Hi. I don't know if you should be here, little girl. Oh, be yeah. I 
feel like this is where like here be careful crackheads hang out maybe go upstairs in the streets again they literally got druggies like people like strung out right behind her did you get your parents little girl maybe go find them Here's our spot. I'll give you the signal once the stalker is close. Mm. That's when you nab them, master. Now! All oh, right. Shit. Let's go. Oh, hey, okay. <laughs> Get him. Oh, oh, girl. I caught you. Who are you? Reveal yourself. <laughs> so intimidating, Yuma. You caught me. But I'm not surprised. Oh, what the hell? A girl? I'm sorry for sneaking behind you. Chiaki? <laughs> what the hell? Rumi Wendy. I'm Rumi from Wendy. Academy. Huh. Pardon me, but that's a uniform from the World Detective Academy. Okay, she probably goes to the academy that we're going to be investigating, right? Yeah, it is. I knew it. Oh, she so, does look so like Chiaki, right though. Oh, my God. Talking to a real master detective in the flesh. What's with this little shrimp? Acting all friendly after getting caught. What's her deal? Look at her. Every part of her is as <laughs> See, she is so not a girl's girl. So <laughs> mean. What? Um, can I <laughs> shake your hand? You already are. That's kind of cute. Right. <laughs> Sorry. But I really am touched to think the WDO master detective is actually she was like a fangirl. I'm kind of a detective in training, but oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't uh, explain that part. Um, uh, what are you blushing for? Sh sh Shinigami, what do I say? <laughs> How do I flirt? You're on your own. Watching this airheaded exchange is making me stupider by the minute. Can I be jealous, Shinigami? Oh, so empty skulls with cotton candy or something. This love interest is probably actually age appropriate, um, <laughs> so back off. I'm really sorry for snooping behind you. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her, man. I cannot get over how much she looks like Chiaki. But yeah, she probably is with that uh, agency. I was trying to wonder what's up with the apple on her jacket. But interesting, interesting. Let me uh, read a few, uh, a few more donos. Oh wait. Oh wow, I missed a lot. One second. Okay, thank you, another professional. I like to jokingly imagine that Yako is Yasuhiro's dad before Hiroko and him broke up, yet somehow Yasuhiro still manages to copy his dad's behaviors. I can see that. They do have kind of a similar uh, personality in the way of like being kind of lazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like lazy and like, uh, you know, kind of like side, funny side characters. And thank you, Janae Nicole. In balloon boy voice. Hello, God. I swear to God, he better not be in the fourth fucking game. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. I was so pissed when I played those sound clips in the third game. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan Petal. All meat buns are topped with a. Oh, God. Mondo butter. If you pay two extra dollars, you get deep fried Terry Teru on the side. Also, I love this character's design. She really does look so much like Chiaki. It's tripping me out, man. God, I thought the other little, the, what was her name? Uh, Pookie? <laughs> Rest in peace, Queen, by the way. But uh, God, I thought she looked like Chiaki, but I feel like this girl looks even more, I've always even admired more detectives. like it. I'm a huge fan of the World Detective Organization. A fan? The WDO has fans? Okay. Of course. You eliminate unsolved mysteries. You are the greatest of detectives, saving people in need. I do believe she's kind of sus. I guess we haven't even seen like the case yet, but I'm always just the fact that she's already like kind of like flirting with him and stuff. I'm like, did you murder? Did you murder your friend? Are you Moo for Milgram? Me, detectives are champions of justice. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. <laughs> I just she happened cute, to catch though. a glimpse of your uniform. I was shocked to see a master detective. But I still don't trust her. But I couldn't bring myself to talk to you. I got all nervous and unsure of myself. So instead, I started following you, but I ended up acting like a stalker. Her voice is familiar. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It was just a misunderstanding. She's got like a bunch of freckles too. She kind of reminds me like a mix now of like Mihiru and Chiaki. Still, master detectives really are amazing. 
I'm fairly confident in my stealth skills, yet you caught me so easily. I didn't do much. Although I'm wearing a WDO uniform, I'm just a... Oh, don't be so modest. So what is a master mm. detective doing in Kanai Ward? Are you investigating something? Oh, yes. It's about the city. Okay, maybe it's just... Oh, wait, 999. Oh my god, are you a fan of 999, the hit game, Zero Escape? The city? I'm searching for Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I was like, maybe she's not even reporting her friend's uh, death. She's just, she's just a fangirl. Hey, Blabbermouth Detective! Are you sure you should reveal your mission? I'm not revealing anything. She lives here, right? Maybe she knows something. Shinigami's got the goofiest sprites. I figured I should ask while I'm at it. It's just good legwork. Yeah. You think this flat airhead knows anything? Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Do you mean... <laughs> She's gonna, like, spill, spill the tea queen. secret research Amaterasu Corporation is conducting? Okay! Huh? You know, you know something? that? <laughs> okay! Yeah, but it's mostly hearsay. Just rumors. No way! Seriously? It's like, God damn it! <laughs> we gonna stick with this girl? Yes, gladly. Anything to help out a master detective. Wait, is she... Wait, Lisa Re Remold? Uh, Raymold, Rai Raymold is Karumi's VA. I was like, yeah, you just mean this Karumi though, not the Danganronpa Karumi as well. I was like, but her voice doesn't sound very similar to Danganronpa Karumi. Thank you, Brian Ford. I'm glad characters in this chapter have names that, God, for real, right? Not, you didn't like a priest and a, <laughs> priest and a worshiper and a choir girl? Oh, but. All characters we love and cherish so much. <sighs> What's wrong? This may sound pushy of me, but hmm. in return, I'd like to ask for a favor. A favor? Okay, now we need to get to your dead friend. Um, what do you mean? I have a formal request I'd like to make to you, detective. There's something I need to find out no matter what. What is it? I know master detectives cost a lot of money to hire. It <laughs> may be presumptuous of me to propose a trade instead. I feel like you just talked to Halara. Don't worry, we're not all like Halara. Not all of us request like $10 million. Can I offer you this or Sheen or whatever. In place of money? Oh, so she's trying to make a deal with a detective. This cheeky brat totally needs to be boom killed. I just need you to help me a bit with my investigation. If you decide to take on this job for me, I'll tell you everything I know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Including secret research that Amaterasu Corporation is doing in the shadows. Girl, how do you know all this? Is your dad Mr. Amaterasu? Hmm. What should I do? <laughs> Chief Yako told me to keep my head down. I don't know. I mean, she probably knows secrets, but I feel like if I was you, I'd be like, sure, girl. <laughs> sure you know the secret experiment experiments that's going on at Amaterasu Corporation. It's like some random high school chick knows <laughs> what's going on. You think everybody would know what's going on. You might just be able to like ask around, you know what I mean? He's so nice though, he probably still wants to help out. Don't tell me you're gonna accept a job from Flatty McFlatchest here. I'd still be asking for some money. She's trying to bargain with you like some fix shot, but she's probably got nothing. She negotiate. That may be true, but... I know this is brazen of me, but I really want to know the truth. Will you please hear me out? Please! Uh, uh, sure. At the very least, I want to hear what you have to say first. <clears throat> really? Thank you! Hey! What are you thinking? There's no time to waste on this munchkin! We're just going to talk a little. If she really is in trouble, I'd like to help. Yeah, you must I don't know nice. if detectives are champions of justice, like she said, but I don't want to ruin her image of us either. You Try to be a little more confident this you time. You represent all detectives? Because <laughs> last time with, uh, oh yeah, so somebody, they were like, how can we forget the best character from the last chapter? Boy, ugh, I'll never, how can we forget him? Boy. <laughs> Not, doesn't even get the word balloon in front of his name. <laughs> just, just boy. But I was gonna say, oh yeah, hopefully he's a little more confident with this time. Cause yeah, with the the random boy, he was just like, I can probably, maybe, kind of, possibly, potentially solve it. Maybe, but probably not though. You always rely on others for help when you're in trouble, and you think you represent all detectives? 
You're a closet perv always staring at women's breasts, and you think you represent all detectives? I think that's you, girl. I think we're projecting. <laughs> It's just, it's just yours are really big, Shinigami. It's kind of hard not to stare. Are you okay? It's because you're staring at her chest. What kind of power is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just got a little nervous and my heart rate went up. Hmm. I haven't felt this nervous since I was chased by those peacekeepers. Oh, Jesus Christ. You were chased by the peacekeepers? Why? You know, just spying on their super secret hidden research lab. It's embarrassing. Not something serious enough to tell you about. So, about my request. It's about a certain incident that happened at my school. What happened? If you don't mind, think you could come to the school with me? It'll be easier to explain if you see it for yourself. It's just ten minutes away on the bus. Is that all right with you? Well, if it's only ten minutes, sure. <clears throat> Let's go. Thank you so much. It's this way. You look so nervous. All it takes is a high school girl batting her eyes at you, and you get all carried away. That's not my intention. Besides, remember what you're always telling me? That it's pathetic to flee from a case? I don't want to seem pathetic. To who? That flat chested uggo? What? I don't think she's ugly at all. She literally looks like Chiaki. It's physically impossible for her to be ugly. <sighs> Oh you God! So mad about? It's gonna be one of those chapters where Shinigami gets really annoying. I'll have you know that I refuse to use my powers to fulfill your vulgar desires. It's like that one chapter with Morgana and Persona, where he just like randomly decides to be like a little bit, like a little shit the whole chapter. I don't know what she wants you to do, but you're on your own dealing with it. <sighs> Fine, no need to tell me twice. I'll take care of it myself. He's like, good, maybe my lifespan will stay intact this chapter. I'm sure you'll be begging for my help in no time. Go ahead and play detective with that flat-chested uggo while you still can. What's your problem? Master detective? What's wrong? It's this way. <laughs> You've been kind of talking to yourself for like the past five minutes. Um, do, the, do all master detectives do that? Coming. Oh, Shinigami. I mean, it's not like she has a claim on him or anything. I mean, I don't even know if she can technically... I don't know. It's like... Isn't she like a Shinigami? I don't think that really works out that way. Um, forensic... Forensic Farte. Kanai Ward living conditions. Perhaps because of the daily rainfall, people in Kanai Ward don't seem happy or something? It's just a short bus ride away. Where's your school, Karumi? Over there. <laughs> Thank you, Jean Philippe Hansen's surprise. Junko clone dislikes Chiaki clone. A <laughs> shock of the century. <laughs> it's a very long standing beef, that's true. The school I attend is on top of the mountain. Oh. Uh, so there's a school there. Jesus, looks like Hogwarts or something. The bus is here. Let's get on. This is your last chance to turn back. That flat-chested uggo is just using you, master. Girl, we are not going to listen to you. Plus, we support women in this stream. <sighs> we support their rights and their wrongs, but not your wrongs right now. Only wrongs like murder and high treason. We support those wrongs here. Hey. Okay, let's get on the bus. Oh, that's all I had to do? Okay. You're so stubborn. You're a wizard, Yuma. Etheria uh, Academy, an all-girls school situated on a mountain summit in Kanai Ward. It's 10 minutes away by bus from Kamasaki District. The students are mostly daughters of Amaterasu employees. Was it? Was? No, no, I don't think so. I was, like, trying to remember if there was, like, an all-girls school mentioned in Danganronpa, but I think I'm just a Lulu. This is Etheria Academy. It's the only all-girls school in Kanai Ward. And it's, and it's also Hogwarts. It's also where Harry Potter was filmed. An all-girls school. It sure looks nice. Yeah, where, where do the boys go to school? <laughs> they don't go to school, silly. I wonder what you mean by that. What I want your help with is something that happened at the school six months ago. Oh. Uh-huh.
does look like a nice what ass school, man. Would take place at a school this pristine. There's no time to hesitate. So pretty. I know what I have to do. Dang, that's huge, dude. Where are the guys going to school at? I guess it's a pretty big city, this so. Water flowing from the fountain like a waterfall. Oh. It's just some school equipment. It's such a over-the-top eyesore. I kind of hate it. You hate everything this chapter, Shinigami. <laughs> Come on, look at the school. <laughs> to think that something so awful happened in such a magnificent castle-like school. Uh -huh. As a pervert master, does your interest really lie in the case or the girls attending this place? Ooh, that kind of rhymed. Why would you ever think that? Yuma is innocent. He's a pure boy. A pure, beautiful child who would never... Okay, let's talk to Nachiaki. Aiko, my best friend, was such a cute and kind person. Everyone loved her. Aiko. But one day... She was found collapsed behind the school. Her head was bleeding, mm. and she was already dead by the time they found her. Contusion of the octopus, I see. Strikes yet again. Yet again. Uh, thank you, uh, Mario MP98. I say we cancel Shinigami for the Kurumi hate. For real, dude. It's like, come on. Support support your other girl. She's just chilling. She's not doing anything. Like, why Why are you being so bitter? Thank you, Sir the Ideal. What Hogwarts house would Yuma be? I feel like Hufflepuff, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I could see it being like Gryffindor, maybe, but I feel like, I don't know. He's kind of, I feel like Yuma's kind of a pushover. <laughs> and I feel like I could see that loyalty in him too. He just sees loyal to his superiors, even when he shouldn't be. Soon after, so I'm gonna say Hufflepuff, but y'all can let me know in chat what you think. Rooftop. The peacekeepers and teachers all decided she'd committed suicide yeah. by jumping. That's what I say. That's what it looks like, but of course it's not going to be that simple. But she never would have done that. We'd made plans to watch a movie together on our next day off. If it wasn't suicide, then that means someone made it look that way. Do you have any idea who would do that? Yeah, for real. Yes. I think the theater club may have something to do with it. Oh, not the theater kid. She's like, really? I just kind of want to get them all suspended. They're super annoying. They will not stop singing Hamilton during lunchtime. It's like I'm trying to fucking eat my fake chicken burger over here. Like, cut the it out. Theater club. Stop being cringe. Aiko was a member. It'd be kind of funny if that was the actual motivation. <laughs> the theater club didn't even do anything besides be annoying. <laughs> the theater club is very active at our school. We have regular performances with live audiences. And I say that as a former theater club kid. Aiko was super popular and had lots of fans. She was overflowing with talent. Oh, so she was in the theater club. And yet... Did something happen with the theater club? Competition's fierce in the club. Aiko said everyone's always on edge. They all competed to be the leading role. Mm, theater can be really... Even when I was in high school theater, dude, it was so competitive. It I felt was like. often chosen as the main lead for performances, and she was harassed because of it. Was what she went through hard on her? Please don't misunderstand. Aiko wouldn't commit suicide just because of that. She always told me with bright eyes about being an actress someday. I think someone thought they couldn't be the star as long as Aiko was around and took her out of the picture. Damn. You think she was murdered by someone in the theater club? Seems kind of intense to do just for a high school theater team. Like, I guess it could be one of those high schools that's like deeply connected to like Hollywood or whatever the equivalent of Hollywood and Kanai Award would be. Thank you, Agro Wolf Angel. I won't say spoilers, but I will say you might get some feels this chapter. But a specific chapter will be more full with feels. Enjoy the game. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it. I can definitely uh, kind of already see the beginning of it right now. I don't want to believe it, but... By the way, was there a suicide note? Yeah, but it could be easily faked. No. Oh, there really? There's no message of any kind left behind. But the peacekeepers declared it a suicide, right? What was their reasoning? Oh my god, that is so Heather's coded. Now that I think about it, <laughs> Veronica, open the door, please. Just that her shoes were placed together neatly on the roof. They spoke to a few theater members and called it a day. They at least always left suicide notes, or sewer slides. Sorry, YouTube, please forgive me. Sewer slide notes in that movie. Oh, wait. Ah, pressed it wrong. Huh? That's it? 
Wait, what'd she say? It's too busy thinking about Heather's. Just Heather, she's replaced together neatly on the roof. They spoke to a few theater members and called it a day. Neatly on the roof. It would be pretty easy to fake this. The peacekeepers were eager to remove the body. They said it would rot quickly in the rain. They didn't want to draw too much attention because a lot of families from Amaterasu send their kids to this school. Okay. It's obvious they treated it as an ordinary suicide to close the case as quickly as possible. They're trying to make what happened to Aiko disappear. Are the peacekeepers covering up the incident? But if that's the case, then it's more likely that it was a murder. I still don't have enough information, so I can't say anything for sure yet. Oh god, if it's like somebody high up and the peacekeeper's kid that did it. Oh, they would definitely want to cover that up. Drama! Please, please find out the truth about Aiko's death. If you do, I'll give you all the information I have. Everything I know about Kanai Ward. So please, lend me your help. I have to know the truth, no matter what. She's just a high school girl, so I don't expect her to have much crucial information. But after hearing this, I can't ignore her. The peacekeepers obviously didn't investigate the case at all. I can't allow her friend's death to be swept under the rug. Someone has to- If the adults around her won't help her, then at the very least, the detectives should. Otherwise, there's no point for detectives to even exist. <sighs> Freaking shaming on me, really dude. Can accept this request. It sounds like a waste of time. <laughs> Why are you, you are so bitchy this chapter? Jesus. <laughs> she just poured her heart out. Come on, have a little bit of sympathy. Hey, sorry, Weeby. I can't have sympathy for anybody flat chested. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> All right. I'll investigate it. Huh? Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's so cute. No problem. Hopefully she's not. I don't think she. I don't think she would be connected to it. <laughs> like, like it's saying on this. I am getting such a migraine right now. <laughs> you can stop any moment. No, no, no. I, I have to keep shaking your hand. I'm just so grateful. Just so grateful. <laughs> oh, lunchtime is almost over. I better get to class. <laughs> such a funny part to pause on. Um, can we meet again here after school? to do the investigation together? But I don't think she would have reported it, you know, got a detective to look into it if she did it. But Sure, we'll sounds see. good. We'll okay. see. I'll head back to class for now. Unless she's got like a split personality and she doesn't even remember doing it. Oh, I almost forgot about something super important. If you don't mind, could you tell me your name? Oh, I'm Yuma Cocohead. <laughs> Cocohead? Yuma. Yuma, I'm so happy to have finally met a master detective. <laughs> He's got such a silly name. Uh, wait, I need to tell you I'm not a master detective. I'm off to class. <laughs> Bye! Aw, she totally thinks you're a master detective. Isn't that fraud? And what if I told her you're not? Wouldn't that just ruin things? That'd be so awful. It's not fraud. B besides, if I can solve the case, the outcome's the same whether I am one or not. People call that splitting hairs, you know? You really think you can solve anything without the help of yours truly? Besides, this is an all-girls school. How do you plan to investigate anything here? <gasps> oh, yes! Yes, the cross-dressing chapter! Come on, please! Oh my god, I want to see it. Well... Oh, you, you make such a pretty girl! See? You're at a dead end already! Just like your entire life. I think it does a Hiko to help too. You aren't gonna accomplish much at this rate. Except maybe making that ugly girl cry so much she gets even No, uglier. we're gonna slay. We're gonna cross dress and we're gonna slay. Why are you even being harder? So mean? Whatever, just leave me alone. I can do this without your help. <laughs> I'll leave you alone, alright? You're not getting my help here. I hope you get cursed. I hope you get cursed. She's right. It'll be hard to investigate inside a school. An all-girls school, no less. Even with Kurumi's help, I doubt I'll get permission to conduct an investigation. We just gotta get Desuhiko to teach us how to serve. To serve and slay and swerve. Thank you, Janae Nicole. Weeby. Cute girl. I'll help, old man. Assess. 
<laughs> pretty privileged you always be working on me pretty well. <laughs> That's why I'm like, Kenjo did nothing wrong. <laughs> Not a single thing. Even after all the evidence stacked against me. Plus, the incident was six months ago. There'd be nothing left at the crime scene. Oh, wait. A Halara's forte could help. Uh, that's true, yeah. But mostly Desert Hikos. I'm like, come on, Yuma! Put on a dress, but damn it! Again, even post-cognition can't be used unless we're right at the crime scene. And to get Halara's help, I'd go even uh, further into debt. Yeah. I can't afford to do that. That'd be rough. Hmm, what do I do? Is there anyone else I can ask? Who could it be? Oh yeah, Vivia, actually. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what his forte is, but Vivia, he could... Guys, 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 guys. Vivia could help us so much by being hot. By being hot, when we're investigating, we get worn out. When we get tired, we just look at him. And we're rejuvenated, you know what I mean? We're rejuvenated. Ah, oh, King, that's so true. I kind of want to select him, but I know it's not I know it's not right. But guys, but guy, but look at him. But look at him. Fine, whatever. That's I'll right. select the person. That's who he goes forte. Disguising as a school faculty member would make the investigation easy. I kind of want to click on him and be like, what can he do besides being lazy and hot? You want to sneak into a girl's school? First you were a fraud, now you're a pervert too. I haven't decided to sneak in yet. Who knows? I <laughs> might get permission. Maybe. You don't have to tag along though for that. <laughs> but I should still talk to Desuhiko, even though I don't know if he'll help me out. Oh, all girl school? He's totally gonna help you out. Hang on. If I was to ask Desuhiko for help, where could he be? It's like Kamasaki District. Maybe he's moving around the city in disguise. <clears throat> I don't know if I can find him, but maybe I should head back there for now. I remember him saying something about lots of cute girls being in Ginma oh, district. Oh, Ginma, that's what it was. So he might be there. Where even is he going for these cute girls? To like the museum or something? Hidden on the T-Rexes? It's like, buddy, you know those aren't girls, right? <laughs> A popular meat bun shop in Ginma. They sell the higher than usual price of 500 sheen, but the owner insists it's due to superior seasoning. That sounds like BS. The culprit is not among us. One of the popular plays performed by Aetherius Theater Club. Oh, I didn't get to read it all. Maybe later. I came all the way back to Gima District. Where did Desuhiko go? He said he's off to pick up girls. I do it leg work. But he mentioned something about cuties. Where would cute girls be? I guess I'll hit the streets and find out if he talked to any women. Oh, God. <laughs> Talk to Desuhiko's victims. <laughs> that shorty detective, Desuhiko, would be somewhere in Ginma. Question people in the area to gather information and find him. Might as well give it a go. I just imagine he's, like, uh, dressing up as, like, uh, Yako and then just, like, <laughs> coming on to girls way too strongly. <laughs> like, poor Yako's gonna start walking out of the streets and getting chased off by girls. Being like, it's that pervert! Wait, what did I do? What? I didn't do anything! Use the gathered clues and talk to the person who might be Desuhiko. Okay, he says he goes somewhere in Ginma. Question people in the area and then just try to look for him. Okay, cool. I don't know if we really need controls for this section. Maybe I should ask around and see if anyone's seen him. Okay, I think you I see a little dot over school. here. That badly? Excuse me, I'd like to ask you something. Did some <laughs> guy around here hit on you? Yeah. So what? Do you know him or something? Yes, something like that. I've been trying to find him. Could you describe what he looked like? I wasn't interested, so I don't really remember. I think he was wearing a big red raincoat and blue jeans. And blue jeans. Oh man, I was hoping he was disguised as Yako. After Wait, I rejected what was the him, reference? he crossed the street. <clears throat> He's probably heading on someone else. A red raincoat and blue jeans. Did they have any unusual designs? Hmm. Now that you mention it, the coat had a white line on the back. Okay, who the hell is he dressed as? Maybe it's like he's... <laughs> he turned his face into Yakko, but now he's got a new drip <laughs> to help him out. I see. Thank you. I don't know how else to phrase this, but I think you should choose better <laughs> friends. Yeah, I know, I know. R right, I'll think about it. I thought she was going to beat me up for a second. 
Like, how dare you hang out with that... <laughs> with that degenerate. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you. <clears throat> Did some guy come around here and hit on you? Yeah. Do you know him? Um, yeah, I do. I'm looking for him right now. Do you remember how he was dressed? What if he changes every time? I think he was wearing black boots. And also... Sorry, I don't remember. If he had any accessories on, I think I would have noticed it. I see. So he wasn't wearing any accessories. Do you know which way he went? I ignored him and he left. I think he went down that alley. Okay, Anything sketch. else? That's all. Thank you for your help. Like that one lady. I don't know how to say this, but I think you need new fucking friends. <laughs> okay, another girl. What did, what did he do to you, lady? Ugh, my hair's getting frizzy already. I really hate the rain. Excuse me, did you see a man talking to people around here? Now that you mention it, some guy asked me what kind of men I like. Oh my god, does so he just go up to them and he's like, What's your perfect man? <laughs> oh, what's your perfect man, baby? Then comes back like five minutes later. It is I, not the guy you were talking to five minutes ago. I've been looking for him. Do you remember what he looked like? He was wearing a red coat and... Oh, I think he wore a black turtleneck, too. If he was smart, he would disguise himself as Vivia. I got him to go away. Then he walked toward the crossing bridge with the metal on his coat clinking. I and see. Thank you. If you know him, can you tell him to stop <laughs> harassing people? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> I can try. He doesn't listen very well, though. Is that um, the crosswalk or something? Who's this guy? He didn't hit on you, did he? There are a lot more customers in Gimma than Kamasaki. Just like I thought. <laughs> the hell you want? I'm busy here talking to myself very loudly out loud. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. I'll, I'll be on my way. Oi, hold it. You want to buy some uh, <laughs> flowers? Is that, a, is that a code word for like weed or something? Um, flowers? Those Kamasaki types don't really care. <laughs> is he really selling bouquets? <laughs> don't really care about bouquets. I see. Oh, you're a you're a, you're a florist. Are, are you sure? He doesn't look it though. <laughs> sure, we'll just we'll just go with that. Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't judge. <laughs> I shouldn't judge based on appear appearances, should I? Kappa whack. I got some really very interesting uh, letters. Oh yeah, let me um, read some of these. Thank you, thank you, Dylan Petal. Who would have better Riz, Desuhiko or Kazuichi? Jesus Christ! <laughs> so like a anti Riz off. Um, I want to say Desuhiko just because I haven't seen him in action yet. Because Kazuichi's was so bad, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so I've never seen negative Riz like I have <laughs> Kazuichi. Thank you, Edison Ping, Yuma, Dezuhiko, I need your help. Dezuhiko, no way. Yuma, it, it's an all-girls school. Dezuhiko runs in the Roadrunner style. At your service, sir. That's about that's about how I'm expecting it to go. <laughs> Basically, it's gonna be about like that. This was the girl I just talked to. So we went through there. I guess maybe the other side? Did she say he went back across the street? Or something? Talk to her. Let's talk to some of these people down here. And that's a little kid. Surely not. Oh, it's actually blocking the way? Okay, so I guess not. Where did it say he went? Let me uh read this. Oh yeah, let's talk to the, the florist. The crossing bridge with the metal the metal on his coat clinking. Crossing bridge. I got him one? to go away. Okay. Maybe there's another one. Okay, there was a shard. Oh, there was a shard in the alley? Okay, let me... I'll go back. I'll go back. Buy a crate. Oh, wait. No, it's cheating on me. No, not that way. Oh, there it is. I mean, that was so obvious, too. Recall memories with Fubuki! Okay, guys, I got it. 
I got it. You can all calm down. Okay. Is there another crosswalk area that I can go to? Besides this one? I'll say not like a helping you here and there if you came running to me once in a while. Okay, it seems like it's over here actually. I guess she might have meant that big crosswalk area. Okay, let's talk to this chick. Excuse me, but did a man <clears throat> talk to you around here by any chance? The one in a red coat? Yes, he asked me what type of men I'm into. Oh my god, he's literally just getting like a poll, basically. Uh-huh, yes, I see. <laughs> I see, I will come back here later. I've been trying to find him. Do you remember any of his features? Hmm, he didn't really leave much of an impression. Wasn't my type. I see. Sorry I couldn't help. Oh, I just remembered something. I told him I like people who can dance. So he said he was going to practice and ran off toward the art gallery. <laughs> what a doofus. He said he was going to practice dancing? I see. Thank you. Sure thing. What a dork. Good luck with your search. Even, she even asked what type of dancing. She's like, I'm on it. Learns tap dancing and comes back. Um, I actually meant like hip hop. Uh, tap dancing doesn't really do it for me that much. <laughs> Okay, this was the art museum, right? I keep wanting to think it's like history just because the dinosaurs, but yeah, it was art because of all the paintings and shit. Okay, come on, move out of the way, kid. Mommy, I want to eat a meat bun. All right, let's buy some for daddy too and head home. God, this is <laughs> triggering a memory for me. I think, I think there was something I was supposed to do. Something. <laughs> Something that I was tasked to do by my higher ups. Hmm. Nah, it wasn't important. It wasn't important. Can I not go through here? Gotta go like another way, maybe? That's weird. Is this the power of Yako uh, <laughs> blocking me? Because I didn't get his uh, meat bun? I think he just ran past you. I need to cross the bridge. I guess I'll go up this way. Oh, you can actually walk up here? I thought this just transported you to another district, actually. He's like, who is this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> no fucking way! Wait, why is there multiple people dancing? <laughs> What a fucking dork! <laughs> oh, that's the beat. <laughs> Is there something on my face? He recruiting a whole army? Yeah, I was just watching BTS dance clips, dance practices. Ugh, the ladies love this shit. <laughs> oh my god. Is that Desuhiko? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's oh think about god. This some more. <laughs> he had a red jacket on with like a white stripe on the back. Why is there multiple of them? I wish this would end soon. <laughs> I think it was uh oh it's one of these guys. They both got the red jacket with the white white the white stripe. Good to do. Break the Roblox dance. <laughs> truly, truly just watched <laughs> Roblox characters this dance. This step is easy. Hmm? What do you want? What do you want? Is that Desuhi? Okay, let me. What was the collected info again? Uh, Talker, the person who appears to be Desert Hiko red has raincoat, a red raincoat, blue jeans, blue jeans, a white line on the back of the coat. He's practicing dancing. Black boots. Okay, yeah, probably this guy then. Accessories on. A black turtleneck. Oh, a black turtleneck too. She got me. You're blocking the way. Clinking metal on his coat. And that's everything. Okay. The investigation's going great. Okay, that's enough legwork. Oh, I, th I think so. Um, Desuhiko? Uh, oh god, this is gonna be so awkward if it's not him. Huh? Oh. Uh, Desuhiko, you say? But you look, you look so similar, come on! Did I get the wrong person? Oh, thank you, Sleep Icky, for becoming a Kenjo cultist! Oh, it is him, Damn. okay. The rookie of all people saw through <laughs> my disguise. And after I recruited two other guys to join my boy band, man. How could Thank this happen? Goodness. 
It was Desuhiko after all. God, I will not get over that. <laughs> the Roblox School of Dance. Thank you, Edison Ping. Same. What do you want from me, rookie? Don't tell me you're dragging me back to the agency. Oh, you can't restrain me. I am the champion of freedom. America. You want to tell me what to do? <laughs> you're on. Just try and make me. That's not why I'm here. I, I mean, there's something I need your help with. Huh? Help? With what? Well... Just say the all-girls school. And that'll be it. End of that. Hmm... So? What do you think? Would it be too... difficult? Was my donation deleted? Uh, let me look. Oh, there it is. I think I just missed it. Thank you, Kirby- Kirby Superstar 44. Once you find Desuhiko, immediately go to the cafe. Okay. Do I get like an extra scene or something if I do that? I will uh, keep it in mind. Oh, thank you, Lucky Cat Luna. Sorry, I think I, did I miss that one too? Weeby, just missed a shard. I got it now, so we're good. <laughs> Let me, um, okay, yeah. Sorry guys, I think I'm just bad at reading donations sometimes. Cause I'm getting a lot of them for these streams, which is always, you know, obviously a good thing, but I just get a little bad sometimes. Great job, rookie. <laughs> That's awesome. He gets the crazy eyes so often, like the, Huh? <laughs> An all girl school, huh? Just hearing that divine phrase can purify my soul, transforming me into a saint. I think it, I think it did the opposite, man. All right, I'll gladly help you out. I, the superstar detective, am at your service. I cannot wait to see him get rejected by every girl. And dude, I saw those dance moves, okay? Unless you can act and sing, you are not. You are not going to be making it to superstardom anytime soon. What? You'll really help? Oh, come on. We're pals, aren't we? <sighs> oh, man. Let's talk like the old buddies we are. Uh-huh. Anyway, there's still time before class is out. All right, let's go eat. My treat? No way. I mean, are you sure? Well, don't be shy. Just follow me, rookie. Somebody actually being nice to Yuma for it for a start. <laughs> for once in his entire life. So, uh, what does the girl's school smell like? <laughs> Come on, tell me, man. Jesus Christ! Not the nose, too! <laughs> I'm just thinking about it right now, man. And can you please can you please stop the slurping noises? Jesus, doesn't we go? Degenerate, male degenerate. We need Tenko here. Thank you, David. I got in line to watch Oppenheimer around lunchtime, but I realized it was three hours long and I was starving. So I went to the Barbie, ah, the barbecue instead. <laughs> got him. Dude, I watched Barbie last night. It was so good. I gotta watch Oppenheimer though. Uh, probably like next weekend or something. I wanna do it like surround sound because I hear that helps. But thank you, David, for the donation. Appreciate ya. This guy's ulterior motives aren't so ulterior. Gross. I wish all humans would just die. Yeah, this, this is a pervert, Shinigami, not Yuma. Now that I've found Desuhiko, all that's left is to head for Etheria Academy. Okay, so now I go to the, uh, the school, we'll be there cafe. For, a while. for like an extra scene or something. Other business I have now. Where's the cafe at? It was on the opposite side, I think. Come on, Desuhiko, time for a date. <laughs> Time for a date. Now, yeah, when Desu Hugo got the guitar out, I was expecting him to play that, uh, what was that song that Ken played? I think it was Push by Matchbox 20. I was like, is that also like a dude bro, like, guitar song? It did, it did really go with the scene, though, so I gotta say that. Where is this stupid, where was it at? The store? Desu Hugo, I'm trying to take you on a date right now. Can you help me out? Looks like it's just an alley on this side. Oh, here it is. I passed right by it. Okay. Cafe menu. Um, can you stop wasting time and go to the academy? <sighs> all right, already. No, I want to have a date. Can I? Can I talk to you here or something? Maybe if we sit down or something? 
Oh, thank you, EDMG7. Terry Terry with Samugi's power. The horror. <laughs> He's too powerful. He's too powerful and perverted. I don't know if there is too much. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay. Oh my god, are they on a date? Tetsuhiko Yuma, do the two of you follow Halara here? No. No, we're on the trail of our own important case. And what brings you here, princess? I'm conducting an investigation with Halara, but at the moment, I'm taking my morning tea. So you're gonna be here for like six hours, it seems like. Huh? Fabuki, you're drinking coffee, not tea, right? Oh, oh. Actually. And it's not even the morning anymore. I think it's like the evening now. Oh, uh, oh dear. Um, then what am I having now? Evening cafe, afternoon brew, electric brandy? Is, is there brandy in there? Just coffee is fine, I think. <laughs> oh, Fabuki, you're so stupid. <laughs> you're so stupid. I like that. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? You have a request for me. No, no, I, I got no money. <laughs> also, this conversation, I will be charging you by the minute. Please stop, Alara. Hmm? Spare me. How much do you have ready? I think you already know, but my services won't come cheap. I know. Why would you think I'm here to hire you? I get Desuhiko and he's free, probably. It doesn't take a detective to figure out that anxious expression. Well. It's true, my man. You gotta work on your poker face. That's not the look of a detective. I'll be more careful. Then, so, what's the request? There's nothing to worry about now that I'm here. I can't have Alara stealing the, stealing the girls from me. Ain't that right, my man? Sure. Yeah. I see. I see, then I'll leave it to you. <laughs> yeah, let me handle it. It might just be my imagination, but I think Alara was looking at me. <laughs> Tezuhiko does seem a lot less, uh, what's the word? What's a nice way? to put it. Qualified? <laughs> to, uh, crap. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Qualified to handle a case versus, like, Alara. Okay, let's just travel by bus. I'm trying to see if I can find some of these other ones. But a weighty investment. Highly advanced educational program, but a weighty investment to club activities. So they do take their clubs very seriously. Does he goes beanie? Oh, it's waterproof. It cost him several months' pay. Confidence is a good word. He doesn't seem very confident. It's like, is he really a master detective? He seems like a trainee. I guess he does have like an actual good ability is the only thing, but he just seems like such a such a doofus. The shard near the school's entrance? Ew. Let me look. Oh, that's just looking up at the school. Huh. Okay, let's get out of that cutscene. Try to see. All these flowers look so uh, shard like. Oh, there it is. Yay! Memory shard, gold. Recall memories with Desuhiko from the notebook. Nice. I guess we can do this at the end, maybe. Okay, by continuing ahead. Oh, not possible to return here for some time. Also, no further requests can be accepted. Oh my god, seriously? Already? Holy crap. Um, I don't know, should I do some other stuff? I, I wanna do the cross-dressing scene though, damn it. I really can't do any more of the quest though. Requests can be accepted. Jesus, I feel like we've only been playing for like an hour and a half. Oh, thank you, Monix. Hi, Weeby. Sorry if the question is out of place right now, but I was wondering if you still plan on continuing the Ace Attorney series. I do. I'm not really sure when. Maybe after this game, but I do definitely plan on continuing it. I honestly do really miss playing it, but um, I just kind of wanted to focus on FNAF a little bit and then like uh, this game for the time being, but yes, definitely I do. Just not really sure when. And thank you, Jean-Philippe Hansens. I mean, if Fubuki can be a master detective, even Hagakure could become one. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay, well, I guess we can do requests. I guess so. Are the requests good? What do you guys think of them? Are they usually pretty good or are they kind of iffy? I feel like the last ones were a little eh. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Okay, well, I guess we go to the church first. Is 
Seems like there's one in kind of each area. The culprit is not among us. Mystery where 15 trap men and women are drawn into a string of murders. What? <laughs> it's like, wait, that sounds like Danganronpa. The requests are very good. I'm going to trust you guys on this. That one we did was like kind of funny with the weird K-drama side plot. <laughs> but oh, I guess we get to meet these people more. That's kind of fun. Oh my god, choir singer. You gonna finally get a name? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Hey. Oh, none. That was her name. Um, you came in a damn good. What? Is I feel like I should give her like a Miu voice, but then I already gave that to Shinigami, so it feels wrong. You need to take some responsibility. Give her a Brooklyn accent too. <laughs> while I'm at it, I don't know. Take responsibility. What are you talking about? Ew. Um, the priest went and died. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a little more nasal or something. So now the church might get closed. You killed Kenji's dad. Don't you remember that part, kid? What? But the priest was the nail man. Huh? <laughs> it was the nail man. Come on. What else was I supposed to do? Let him live? <laughs> Lame. Who gives a damn? The city's isolation means no replacement is coming. Hey. So you're taking over. Go listen to everybody's problems in his place. Huh? Oh, shit. Listen to everyone's pro- yeah. Why do I gotta be the priest? Damn straight. That whack job of a priest used to walk around town and hear out everyone's gripes. Seems like it was pretty well received though. All this rain must make people whiny and depressed. Uh, um. Who would have thought? Um, why don't, why don't you do it then? Hey. Does it look like I know how to do that shit? Do I look very approachable to you? I can't, so it's on you. Huh? But I can't do it either. I've never done anything like that. Don't make me kill Quit your whining. Ass. Just go already. Oh, no. Come on. Okay. We'll do we'll do the All quest. Right. Become the therapist of Con I Ward. Did you guys have therapists? No, just priests. Alright, then just go listen to people's troubles. Hey. Make sure you do it right. Do a crappy job and you'll have to answer to me. <laughs> it's so mean. Poor Yuma man. All he does is get bullied constantly. Lending the church a hand. Okay, so it looks like there's somebody down here. Listen to your gripes. Oh, I'm at my wit's end. Um, um if there's something bothering you, please feel free to tell me about it. I wonder if the priest used uh, learning everybody's like business, like getting the tea from the citizens, as a way to like maybe figure out like who he could target as the mailman. Like. <laughs> While he's like listening to their gripes, he's like, you know what you should do, girl? You should write that and put it in the woods so Nail Man can get to him and kill his cheating ass. Oh my god, that's such a good idea, Prince. <laughs> or Priest Man. Slay! A slay! That's so him. Who the heck are you? Uh... Um, the nun at the church asked me to come and place the priest. You, in place of a priest. Well, whatever. In that case, I do have something to ask. I haven't been able to sleep at night at all lately. Do you have any idea what might be causing it? No. Um, how would I know that? What do you think might be happening? How should I know? Oh god, I'm so tired of it. And this rain is getting on my last nerve too. Maybe I should head to the cafe again. Hmm. Um, what kind of advice should I give? I can actually give advice. Okay, she's sleeping, so exercise, right? Well... Maybe you could try exercising. Oh, a bit less. I was gonna say more to get to make you tired before bed. Exercise. I don't exactly exercise that much in the first place. Oh, oh I see. All right then. Thanks for hearing me no. out. No problem. I hope you're able to sleep well. Mm. You know what you should do, girl? Right, exercise and nail it onto a tree in the woods. Maybe that wasn't the best advice. Oh well, I tried. And that's all I can do. That's all I can do. I guess I got confused. I thought she was asking me what she wanted more of. Those exhibiting... Oh, wait. I wanted to see the... Wait. Gokut? Gokut? <laughs> what? Popular plays. Oh, Go... Oh, wait. It's literally just called Goku? Is this copyright infringement? Friends of someone. Dragon Ball Z, the musical. Always knew that would make a good musical. Wait, are they underneath? Is that it? See, I kind of see it, but looks like, yeah, maybe it's uh, lower. Do 
Okay. Oh, what should I do? Um, Is something bothering you? If you'd like, you can tell me about it. Thanks, but who are you? Uh, oh, I'm kind of the priest now, I think. The nun of the church asked me to go around and listen to people's troubles in place of the priest. Oh, you're doing what the priest did. In that case, I really appreciate having someone to talk to. I'm concerned about my future. I want to become a hero. Huh? Just like Goku. <laughs> not to be, not to be confused with Goku from Dragon Ball Z. We would never <laughs> copyright infringe. A hero? Yes, ever since I was a kid, I've always looked up to the heroes you see on TV and comic books. I see. Oh, literally Goku. I see. I want to become an ally of justice. What should I be doing to make that happen? What kind of work can help fill people with hopes and dreams and inspire them to chase their dreams? Mm. What kind of profession would be best? A uh, pe <laughs> peacekeeper? <laughs> yeah, become a peacekeeper. You can change it from the inside. I believe in you, depressed man. <laughs> I think that was your name. Um, a detective, maybe? Save people that way, kind of? Whatever. Yeah. Maybe a detective? Well? What if you tried becoming a detective? What's a detect- Bro, are you serious? Huh? What? Huh? And that's what happened. Detectives save people by unraveling mysteries and bringing the truth to light. That sounds great, but how exactly do you become one? <laughs> Actually, I've been wondering the same thing. I'm definitely interested, though. I'll look into it. Thank you for hearing me out. Was it creator? Was it really content creator? It was like, I don't know, man. Do I get something if I answer right versus answering wrong? Where is this person at? I'm so confused. So I see it. Are they upstairs? Is that it? Maybe that's it. Oh, it probably is upstairs, isn't it? Because I think I do... Is that what that means? The little thing next to it? That it's like, up the stairs? Okay, we'll try it. Okay, here we go. Okay, maybe I'll actually help somebody this time. Cheerful woman. Hee <laughs> um. Excuse me, is something wrong? You seem concerned about something. Uh, who? Me? Of course not. I'm always happy and upbeat. Oh, you just get more mm. XP? Okay. Really, you looked really worried about something just a moment ago. Thought I'd be kind of <laughs> too self-like... What is it? Too self-indulgent to two's content creator. <laughs> it's like, I feel like detectives help more people anyways. I guess you cheer people up, but you know, still. You want to become a hero. It's like, I don't know. Is reacting to, is reacting to video games really a hero status? Who are you? Anyways. I'm... The nun from the church asked me to be the priest. Oh, just like the priest used to do. But you don't have to worry about me. I don't have any worries at all! <laughs> don't you see my name? What does that mean? Um, she's putting on a brave front, but I think she's afraid of something. I was like, is she about to jump off? Something? Oh, God. The weather, her belongings, something unseen. Unseen, maybe? Uh, thank you, Mannequin. I've been loving streaming this game, and I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. Make sure you help Desuhiko get some good sniffs. Oh, God! <laughs> Of the girl's hair, it's your responsibility as wingman. Jesus. <laughs> that's how I can truly become a hero. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. I like how you said uh, that's the the job of a wingman. It's like there's there's no chance he's gonna actually get with one of those girls. So just help them sniff sniff her hair. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna do something unseen. I don't know. Wait, no, no? I can't tell. No need to be rude. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna choose the wrong thing again. God dang it. Ah, uh, fuck it. 
Maybe. It's likely something I can't see directly. No way. Is someone harming you? Uh, what do you mean? No. You've been protecting yourself, covering up the abuse. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's sad. Abuse you received. Please stop. Oh, God. I don't like how she's looking over the railing. I was like, uh, back, back away, girly. Back away. I'm all right. It'll be over soon if I can just hold out a little longer. Besides, if I told anyone, it only make things yeah. worse. We detectives will help you. Detectives? Yes. The Nocturnal Detective Agency by the Riverbank will help you there. Um. Well? Please, come to us before it's too late. Okay, thank you. Oh, Jesus, was she really, like, contemplating that? That's so sad. I'm grateful for your help, detective. Is that all the quests for now? I guess, I don't know if I should just keep uh, walking around, I guess, until I see more uh, things. Where's the, where's the map? Okay, there's some more in Ginma or Ginma. I don't know if it's Ginma or Ginma. Let's just do this one first. New, new, new. Popular sports, parkour. Popular among the young men. New problems have arisen, however. With all the trespassing and running atop the food stalls. Interesting. Crime isn't bad here unless you venture deeper inside, that is, and go in the subway area. Or what was it? Like the sewers, I guess? That one was really sad. I don't know if I got any points from it, though. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, queen. I know you're depressed and stuff, but where's my detective points? <laughs> it's very important to me. Okay. This person. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. What do I do? What do I do? Um... You seem pretty troubled. What's wrong? Who are you? Uh, I'm Kenji's dad now, apparently. Is that true? Then please hear me out. I work for Amaterasu Corporation. Oh, you just spilled the tea? But there's a problem at work. Hmm? What happened? I was supposed to meet with a shop owner today, but I don't know what shop I'm supposed to go to. My coworker gave me a memo, but it only has the number 6137. Oh, I was like 11037. Written on it. 6137? I can't get a hold of my coworker right now either. What do I do? He wouldn't just write random numbers. 6137. But there's no shop called 6137. What am I supposed to do? Lee. <laughs> Lay. Lane. I'm like, wait, let me, let me try this. <laughs> write this uh, backwards as, as we all do. 6137. Turn it upside down. L E I, would that be like a P? But it would be like a backwards P. <laughs> Leap. Which shop should I go to? In Please that tell me. Case. Based on the information I can decipher from the memo. Oh, Lee. Oh, Lee nine. Lee nine. I think so, right? Why would it be eighteen? Fetch. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a reference to dang it, Grandpa, right? It was 18, like, um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, is that? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, is that what that's supposed to be? We'll do, we're, do, we're doing Leon. Maybe. What if we turn the memo upside down? Now it looks like EI9, LEI9. That's it, I remember now. Thank you so much. I just know my meeting will go well. Hooray! Oh, nice. Yeah, Leon, that shit. Looks like I was able to help him out. Oh, yeah. that's fine. That should be everyone for now. Let's report back to the nine. Okay, cool. Oh, God bless fast travel, dude. A total 17. That's what I kept getting, too. I was like, am I just that bad at math? <laughs> Glad to know I'm not. Um, Amaterasu, what's trending at the academy? Oh, Mono, Mono Michi, what the fuck is that? Oh, baby! It's a combination of Monokuma and Mitch! We just have the eye to make him sound cute! Oh, Mono Michi! Everyone's favorite mascot! Yeah. You're back. It looks like there's no complaints this oh. time. 
Oh, really? I'm glad this is finally over. <laughs> the hell you can relax for? This won't cut it. Huh? What? But you said there were no complaints. Huh? If that doesn't mean they were satisfied. Do you think you can replace the priest with just this little effort? Oh, no. Easier said than done. This is new to me. Hmm. All right, so next time's the real deal. Learn from your mistakes today and be better. Just get good, kid. What do you mean? Next time? No, I've got other things to do. Hey. If you're going to help, if you like it or not. Got it? Right. And get your nails done for God's sake. How do you expect to take his place to walk in his shoes with those decrepit things? Yeah, I got it. Lead, lending the church a hand. Did I? I guess you get more points probably, the better you do. Damn. If only I got good. If only. Can I? How do I do this? Oh, whatever. Okay, let's do Kanai Station or Kamasaki. I guess we can do Kanai Station. I feel like Kanai Station was kind of confusing with the layout, but I think I kind of know how to get through there now. I want to see Mono Michi again. Oh, wait. March the Intersection of Fate. Drama Club featuring an ensemble cast as Crossroads. Eight unique performances from different points of view, depending on the day. It's another play that they do. March. Is it really gonna be like Monokuma, but like Tamagotchi form? Mono Michi! <laughs> oh wait, are they on that side? I can't tell. Oh yeah, looks like they are. Dummy! I wonder if the fandom will just come up with a name for like the nun and the worshiper. I don't know what they were thinking, not giving them names. Like, let's give him a unique design. But no, not a name. That's too much. Oh. Oh, what should I do? Um. Uh, what's the matter? I'm currently facing the biggest crisis of my life. My girlfriend and I are seriously thinking about marriage. And her birthday is right around the corner. The problem is I still don't know what to get her. <sighs> oh, wow. This is truly... You've had a very blessed life, haven't you, man? <laughs> The biggest crossroads. The most important moment in my life ever. Do you have any idea what kind of gift would make her happy? Huh? How the hell am I supposed to know that? You know, don't you please help me out here? Uh, um, let's help. I guess so. All right. All right, but you have to give me a little more to go on. For now. At the very least, could you tell me what kind of person she is? Yeah, how does he expect me to know what to get her? I don't even know what kind of person he is. She is. You want me to tell you about her? No problem. Where to begin? She's cute. She's beautiful. Thoughtful. She's cute. Oh my god, I mentioned she's cute. She is so cute. Is she really your girlfriend? I feel like you might be a stalker or something. Uh, okay, well, I get that she's cute, but could you give me any other information? It's like you don't even know her at all. Right. Oh, did she mention she hates getting wet from the rain? Always back. Oh my god, get her a drone umbrella. Just any time that I can bring up a drone umbrella. It was back when my cutie and I went shopping together. We were holding hands about to cross the street when... <laughs> um, I think that's enough to go on. I'll look for something she might like. You will? I'll leave it to you then. Drone umbrella. Drone umbrella. The greatest gift in the world that you could ever give to anybody. Okay, let's go here. It seems like, man, people are really hyping up this quest. Thank you, Edison Pang. I have to wonder if Kadaka Akin, the DRA, if Kadaka Akin, the DRA, of, of uh, he's acknowledged the Danganronpa in other series. I don't know, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to know. I don't think he's, not to my knowledge, but it'd be nice if he did. I could see, like, I don't know, creators not really, like, wanting to acknowledge, um, fan games. I don't know, just for potentially, like, legal reasons. Wait, no, I think, did Kadaka acknowledge, did he acknowledge that other one, though? Crap, what was that one? The one that got, like, canceled. The creator was, like, an actual game developer, but he just made it, like, for an April Fool's thing. Ah, oh, I don't know why I can't think of it. Okay, Rainwear Shop. Jerome Barella. For we just gotta now. get a cute drone umbrella. If she doesn't like getting wet, then rain gear might be a good idea. 
Get her the grimace shake. I still haven't had that. Should I go with a raincoat or an umbrella? I have no mm. idea. But what about a drone umbrella? You're not even putting it as an option? Seems like you're having trouble deciding. Can I help you find something? Uh. Rebirth, that's what I meant. I'm trying to decide what kind of a rain gear would be would best suit a girl. I feel like, did he say something about rebirth? I feel like Kadaka might have said something like, oh, that's funny. Like a funny April Fool's prank or something, but I could be just delusional. That sounds, that's like me. It's very much like me. I'm trying to decide what kind of rain gear would best suit a girl. Oh, a present for your girlfriend. No. No, she's not my girlfriend. Oh, so you're trying to steal a girlfriend, Mr. Steal Your Girl? And that's what happened. An acquaintance asked me to help find his girlfriend a gift. I see, that's really nice of you. All right, let me be able, allow me to be of assistance. Thank you very much. Really, thank you so much. I have a bit of experience with picking out gifts for friends. So what kind of person will be receiving this gift? Uh, <laughs> she's cute. She's cute. She's also really cute. Um, she hates the rain. She's cute. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Are, she's beautiful, thoughtful, cute, cute, cute. Okay. I feel like he doesn't even know this girl. Uh, well, she's cute, thoughtful. Uh huh. Besides. And she hates getting wet from the rain. Um. Uh, and she's apparently very cute. That about sums up everything I know. Um. Hmm? Is something wrong? That sounds like my girlfriend! Oh, wait a second here! My girlfriend also doesn't have a personality besides being cute. <laughs> ah, shit! Was it a guy near the station? That's true. Yeah, but how did you know? Is he a friend of yours? He, his girlfriend, and I were friends for a long time. Oh, God. Huh? Then do you know what kind of gift she'd like? She had a hobby of collecting umbrellas, though it seems he didn't know that. Had. Thank you very much. Is she dead? I see, thank you. If I tell him that, he should be able to get, find her a gift so himself. No, that's impossible. She's dead. Huh? Yeah. I uh, had a feeling once he started using the past tense uh, descriptors. It happened a little while back. Oh man. Oh, is it really? Oh, dang. Oh, is that story he was about to tell, too? They were crossing the street holding hands when a car flew through the intersection. She pushed him out of the way. Oh, my God. Pushed him out of the way and the car hit her. Now I feel bad. I feel bad. I was being such a dick to him. Like, oh, man, you haven't gone through any troubles in your life. Oh, that's rough. Oh, no. Oh, God. So that's what happened. Then he... I think he's still having a hard time dealing with what happened. Oh, man. Since the accident, he's been waiting for her at that station. It was the last place they met. Oh, Jesus. I've tried talking to him several times, but he never seems to accept it. I think he's just delusional. Sorry for telling you all this. I should go... No. Sorry for trauma dumping all that on you. Right. Thank you. For now. I'm not really sure what to do next, but I guess I should return to that guy. Oh, God. That sucks, dude. Poor dude. Yeah, I feel like he just really doesn't want to accept it. You know what I mean? Damn. That sucks. <sighs> Man. Oh, yeah. One popular play is performed by a mystery where 15 trapped men and women are drawn into a string of murders. Oh, my God. They're doing Dong and Rampa the musical, too? Unique in that the culprit lurks within the audience? That's going to parallel the case somehow, isn't it? Isn't it? Interesting. Oh, wait. Is it down this way? Yeah, yeah. I think he's on this side. I really did think he was a stalker just because he was like, he couldn't say anything about, you know, descriptions. Hey, man. <laughs> I didn't say to him. Hey, man. Sorry, you're to Lulu. Um, <clears throat> so actually, change of plans. We found out your girlfriend's dead. <laughs> We're going to give you the gift of therapy. <laughs> Or you can talk to a priest. Oh, no, shit, I killed him. Um, yeah, hang in there. Hang in there, sport. Hang in there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you're back. Did you find a person? A present? Uh, well, it seemed like she had. <laughs> Yuma doesn't want to break it to him. Seems like she had it. A hobby of collecting umbrellas? Umbrellas, of course. Umbrellas. It never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to it, man. Yet another lovely side of her that I wasn't aware of. How lovely. What a lovely day this is. Umbrellas. <laughs> Umbrellas. 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 A cute hobby like that suits her perfectly. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. I believe I'll be able to find the perfect present. Sh sure. I wish therapy existed in this city. Uh, should I tell him? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no! No, hell no! No! Don't tell him! <laughs> oh, shit. I kind of want to tell him, though, just for the drama. <laughs> just, for the, just for the spice of it all. Thank you, Yoshiden. Have you seen the V3 crossover with Identity V? Yeah, I have. I don't really play Identity V too much. I think I played it like a little bit when they announced like the Trigger Happy Havoc one, but uh, the design looks cool. It was uh, pretty cool that they did that. Oh god. You know, if we die, we die. <laughs> How about that? I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him, guys. Uh <laughs> I'm kind of. No, guys, we're, we're gonna tell him. It's gonna be good. Hasn't your girlfriend... I think she kind of died or something. <laughs> Passed away? Who who has? And that's what happened. Um, I heard it from your friend. She died after being struck by a car. <laughs> what a strange thing to say, but that's impossible. <laughs> but she's a dead... We'll be spending another lovely day together today, in fact. <laughs> we'll be together forever. Oh, Jesus Christ. You about to jump off the bridge? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, um. Wait, now back, back away from that bridge. Oh, God. <laughs> um, God, did I kill him? Did I just kill him? Maybe it would have been better for him if I just kept quiet. Wait, was that really the right thing to do? I don't know the answer to that question. Ah, uh, shit. Do I still get detective points? Oh, Jesus. That one was kind of a rough one. A hundred points. Hey, man. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> well, I think I just indirectly murdered somebody. So good progress today. <laughs> progress. <laughs> we can do the Kamasaki District one. Security at her corpse or something? Oh shit. Corpse factory, yet again. Perhaps because of the daily rainfall, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. The Danganronpa play, Dragon place. Oh, that's the meat bun place. Weeby's making him sound like a yandere. He, he's, making, he's giving those vibes though. I do love me a good yandere though, so I am uh, biased. I am quite biased. What was the map again? Was it, um... Oh, wait. View map area. Zio. Okay, there we go. Wait, I thought it said that there was a quest here. Oh, it's in the sewers, it looks like. I think. And thank you, Sereza DL, for the donation. Appreciate ya. He was given some... I mean, like, I guess not really a yandere. He's just chronically depressed and delusional. You know? But... Yeah, wait, where is the... So wait, I'm in this one? Oh, Jesus, where is this? Main story objective... Where is this? Wait, is this a different area? Than the one that I'm in? I'm so confused. Man, I should've done Kamasaki last. <laughs> I always get lost here, dude. Is there... Where's the other one, then? It's not here. Can at least tell me which one... Okay, so I think the red ones go up, right? Is it upstairs? Which is last time one was upstairs at, uh, you know. Had like a little note there still. Okay. Here it is. Oh, hey, it's this guy! Servant! Hmm? Um, isn't that the servant from the church? 
fiery youngster. It looks like you're pretty loaded there. <laughs> Care to share the wealth? Oh god, Kokiji's here. I can't. This money is very important. I'm not telling you to give me all of it. <laughs> Can you spare me? Spare a bit for little old me. Don't make me, uh... Don't make me beat you up with my big, big muscles. Yeah, I lift uh, two pound weights. No big deal. Wow. But, uh, dude, come on, you can take him. Just shut up and give me the money. No way. Hey. Hold it. Who the hell? Oh, <laughs> okay, I thought I was a little kid. He actually looks kind of older. <laughs> I think I want to keep giving him the Kepchi Chi voice, though. It's not my fault I never went through pu pu puberty, Yuma. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Maybe you should mind your own business. Oh, I do. What's the best way to handle this? Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Handle the situation. Make friends. Say it was a mistake. Make an accusation. Oh, too many choices, dude. I don't think he wants to make friends. But I don't think we can take him either. Fuck! Say it was a mistake, but then we're ditching servant. I don't like that. Let's make an accusation. That's it. This is extortion. If the peacekeeper saw this, they would probably do nothing about it. <laughs> are you threatening me? I guess that makes you a tough guy. Ooh, little tough guy. It's what are you, three it. feet tall? It's not a threat. I already reported you. And what? Then. You hear those sirens? They're gonna be here any minute now. Damn it, you're gonna regret this. Okay, cool. I think that actually worked. You alright? I was thinking, do the peacekeepers even care about that kind of stuff? <laughs> I feel like they, I don't know, they kind of seem like they suck pretty bad. Are you alright? Thanks. Well, thank you for your help. You, you saved me. Oh, he's so cute. I love Servant. No. Don't mention it, but why did he go after you? Well, he must have seen my money. I need this money in order to become the strongest. Hmm? The strongest? I... That's I'm... right, if I was the strongest, people like him wouldn't walk all over me. What do you mean? Hey, what do you mean by the strongest? Just just get a gym membership, dude. I don't know. Uh, you don't um... know? Well, there's... Wait, what? <laughs> there, there's this wizard who helps out weaklings like me. I, I'm pretty sure that's called a scam. The Wizard of Oz? And... If the wizard casts a spell on me, I can get the strength to never lose to anyone. Well, I can become the strongest. Uh, <laughs> but I need to pay for it. I see. Uh, hence the money and the guy... Yuma, should you, shouldn't you tell him that this is a scam? Hence the money and the guy bothering you earlier. Is there really magic that can make a person strong? It sounds expensive, too. Oh, kind of like bullshit. Could this be a scam? Uh, hey. I'm gonna meet the wizard right now. Do you want to come with me? We can become strong together. Ah, oh, you're so innocent. Let's go meet the wizard. Um, I guess we can go meet the wizard with him and then call out the wizard, right? I knew it. It sounds pretty fishy. I'd better go with him. Yeah. Okay, I'll join you. I, <laughs> Damn, I'm... servant Nagito looks different today. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was just thinking about Nagito. I was like, you're the second person in Danganronpa to be named Servant. Then I'll head there first and wait for you. The wizard is in the mansion. Meet me there, Mr. Detective. He just decided to take up the abandoned mansion. That's not weird. <laughs> that didn't make you question this guy's, um, this guy's credibility, Servant? Oh, wait. I went to the wrong place. Wrong place. Thank you, mannequin. Wizard after paying. You had the... <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, I can totally see that. You had the strength in you all along. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the $10,000. <laughs> Thank you so much. But it was worth it, wasn't it? To discover that. That, that is priceless. Don't you say? <laughs> Don't you think so? Oh, Jesus. That's so funny. Benny. Maybe the real wizard was a friends we made along the way. Like, is it cool for him to just take up this mansion where somebody died in? 
Like, yeah, now he's put it on the market yet. <laughs> so it's whatever. I guess nobody's really gonna wanna buy a mansion where somebody died. Away, oh, we're travelers! She gave the Mikado voice. Away, oh, we're travelers! You have arrived at a long last! Maybe. Oh my god, it's Mikado! That voice! Well, well. Yes, it's the wizard! Oh, verily! You stand before the wizard! The feeble shall find salvation within my works! So, what brings you before me this day? I. Please make me the strongest! I see. You have suffered much, my friend. So where's the money? Where's the fucking money? <laughs> After all, this is actually just Alara. There, it's like, wait, no, pay no attention to the detective behind the mirror. Seeking metamorphosis, you sought me out. Very well. Allow me to bestow upon you that earnest desire. Hey. Uh, wait a minute. Hey. Mr. Detective. And, uh, um, excuse you, and you are, you smell poor. You smell like somebody in debt. I'm Yuma, a detective. I have something I want to ask you. I see. You have doubts of my magic. Very well. I shall answer your questions to the best of my ability. <laughs> like, I want him to, like, throw glitter above the... <laughs> throw, like, glitter from, like, the... What is it? Like, the um, balcony or whatever. If I wasn't a magician, could I do this? <laughs> glitter! <laughs> oh, damn. That is very convincing, Mikado. <laughs> Does this magic really exist? I find it kind of hard to believe. I assure you it does. I can view magic into medicine. Some think it's just water. Oh, what the hell? This contains the power to make one stronger. Partake of it, and you shall find your body without equal. But a simple swallow will not suffice. I don't know if we should be drinking this. What should I do? It's just like an edible or something. Thank you, Edison Pang. Servant, how does it work? Himiko, it's magic! Yeah, it's definitely giving Himiko vibes. You must form a contract with me. If not, uh, if, uh... if not, the magic within the medicine shall consume you. In other words, you will get really, really, really high. So what do you say? Will you contract with me and transform into your strongest self? Or will you continue to wallow in endless oppress I, oppression? I'm... I... Aw, oh, poor servant dude. He's so naive and cute. It's just... Somebody say roids in the chat. It's just steroids. <laughs> Honestly, I could see a fake wizard doing that. This is a bad idea. There's something off about this person. I... But I want to become stronger. Uh, uh, I'll make a contract. Please make me the strongest. Very well, our deal is complete. Take this. Now I may I make my leave. I pray the weak find happiness. Ah, uh, you're so selfless. Wait a second. You shouldn't take it if you don't know what's inside I, of it. Um, I want to become strong. I'll do whatever it takes. We like think it's like cute that servant wants to become strong, but then he like mumbles under his breath to show those bitches who's boss to kill every single one of those church members who made fun of me. What was that? Nothing. No. Can't you see this drug could be dangerous? You could die. I, I... You don't understand, Mr. Detective. I thought for sure you would be on my side. If I was strong, no one would bully me. I wouldn't have to put up with guys like that one from earlier. I mean, you already got like a pretty good build, dude. Just like lift some weights and gain some muscle. I think you'll be fine. Take like a kickboxing class or something. <laughs> he doesn't seem convinced, but I have to stop him somehow. Oh shit. Say the medicine's dangerous. I don't believe that wizard. Will you really be, oh shit. I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh God. Um, he already said the medicine was dangerous. Uh, what else did we say? It's roids! Um, dangerous. You don't know what's inside. I don't believe the wizard. Is that it? <laughs> How dare you question the great Mikado! Oh god. Will you really become the strongest? I feel like that seems like a deeper answer. Like, is that, is that it? Will you really become stronger? 
I feel like that's the deep answer. One where he's gonna be like, man, the strength was was within me all the time. Okay, I think I see. This is truly people saying the last one. Do you really think that taking that will make you stronger? Whoa. The wizard said so, so it must be true. No. That's not what I mean. I'm talking about your heart. Whoa. My, my heart? I'm sure. Even if our bodies get stronger. If our hearts don't change, then we'll always be weak. No way. But... Besides... Things might have been different if you stood up to that guy earlier. Uh, That's why... And you were way bigger than that guy. It's a weak heart that relies on magic or other people, so let's strengthen it. Do you mind? I'll do the same. Um... Uh, you're right. <laughs> I can't rely on magic to make myself stronger. Thanks. Thank you for your help, Mr. You Detective. You saved me. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Open my eyes. It's okay if you want to kill everybody at the church. Um, unfortunately, it appears the contract cannot be completed. Um, regrettable. So now it's not going to work if you drink it. But you still have to pay me! And so I shall take my leave. I doubt we will meet again. No, Mikado! What? Hold on! Uh, um... Um, what about the wizard? Uh... uh it looks like she's vanished. Oh, she was a girl? I have no idea how she got away. Yeah. Let's head back. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I gave her the Mikado voice. You'll always be Mikado to me. <laughs> always. <laughs> Thank you, Jean-Philippe Hansens. Yuma, who sold his memories for magic powers. Do not trust random strangers <laughs> who claim to have magic powers. Yeah, he's the he's definitely the person you should be listening to. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that too. I was like, the contract kind of reminds me of Shinigami. Hypocritical much, Yuma? He endured a brutal regiment and became the strongest around. Slay. Don't slay. He turned himself into an ally of the weak and stood up for anyone being bullied. Now that's a serve. Or a loat, maybe? Saving the servant. Oh yeah, could have been a good, a good chance to do a Himiko voice. I don't think I've really done that voice for any character besides Himiko, to be honest. I guess kind of Morgana, but not as lazy, you know? Dry Queen Mikado. Oh. Anytime I get a opportunity to do the opportunity to do the Mikado voice, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Uh, he's looking kind of dead. <laughs> you okay, bro? Uh, right? Are you all right? Who are you? What's a hurry? I'm Yuma from the Nocturnal Detective Agency. You need medical attention! No, forget about me. I have something much more important to ask of you, Mr. Detective. In order to expose the corruption in Kanai Ward, I was looking into Amaterasu Corporation. Can we just ask this guy for the tea instead of Chiaki? Or not Chiaki, what was her name? I think it was... Crap. It was another character from a Danganronpa game. Not Kamaru. God dang it. Why is it escaping me? Before I could publish my article, they caught wind of what I was doing. The peacekeepers took my wife. Oh, shit. And daughter and killed them. Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is all I have left. This is... What is this? It's a memory card with records of illicit activities committed by Amaterasu executives. Karumi. That's what it was. It's like, I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Please, I need to take you to this reporter friend of mine. The peacekeepers still have their eyes on me, so I can't do anything that might draw attention to myself. Are you gonna live, dude? We'll publish this information and bring Amaterasu's crimes to light. <laughs> I'm busy right now. <laughs> you imagine saying that to a fucking dying person? Um, actually, um, sorry. I gotta, like, cross-dress to save the girls' academy, so bye. Okay, I just need to deliver this to him, right? Yeah, it should be by the clock tower. Yeah. Just wait here. I'll deliver this and be right back. Shouldn't we be getting you, like, some medical attention or something? Oh, I can't fast travel? No! Oh, is it because I'm not next to the bus station? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's an interesting little detail. So you have to be next to the bus station. Or at least, like, close to one, it seems like. Kanai, Flora, Academy, Peacekeepers. What's trending? Oh yeah, game. Oh, it is a bear cub. Oh my God, is it really gonna be Monokuma? Oh my God. 
Wait, no, wrong way. It is kind of cool that these side quests now help you uh, get to learn more about the characters from the previous chapters. It's like, that's nice. Excuse me. Have you seen a reporter around here? I have something to give him. Yeah, I just saw him. I think he was writing an article about that one incident that just happened. He had wrapped up his business here and said he was going to Montclair Street in Ginma, Ginma District. Hmm? Montclair Street. It's Ginma's high-class residential area. The mansion connects the mail thing, man. Mail, mail, man. The mail, mail, the hash slinging, the bash bringing. Nailman thing is there. Oh. Ah, that's street. I know Thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll go check it out. Oh my god, I want to visit the wizard! The wizard yet again! God, it would take so long to travel by foot everywhere. Do, do, do. Wait, come on. I want to find it again. It's always so far. Indoor pets. Come on, where is it? Where's the mono Michi? No! Damn it. Whatever. Wait, where is it? Oh, shit, her? Okay. Um. Excuse me, have you seen a reporter around? I have something to give to him. A reporter? I just met him, actually. He was looking into the incident from the other day. After our conversation, he said he was going to the Ginma District Art Gallery. Jesus thank Christ. Thank you very much. I guess they are writing it about the nail man. I see, thank you. It's like, man, for a second I thought there was other people... Revealing their crimes, but of course it's the thing we already did. Makes sense. <laughs> Imagine if Mikado's wrapped up in all the side quests. I think that's gonna be a thing I do. I just try to try to make Mik Mikado appear at some point. <laughs> Although the wizard one's probably gonna be the best uh, time to incorporate him. Oh wait, a game which a bear cub is raised. It can turn to a variety of different bears depending on its upbringing. Can you raise a Monokuma? Oh my god, can we talk again to the art gallery staff man? Please give me a mission <laughs> with your sexy voice. I should have teamed up with him for this, uh, for this mission. Um, Did a reporter pass through here? I have something to give him. Is this guy dead? Oh my gosh, we're looking all over for this guy. Indeed, he was present just recently, but departed after I answered a number of his queries. Evidently, he intends to visit the secret club next. He left but a moment ago. You might still find him Thank there. Jesus much. Christ. <laughs> Wild goose chase this is. Beow. Maybe do you like tractors? Uh, they're okay. <laughs> they're I. Did you guys see that movie? What's that movie called? Oh man, there was like a movie that always comes to mind when I think of a tractor. Oh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. That's what it is. That's such a funny movie. It's pretty dark though. <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen it. It's kind of an older movie. But I watched it actually as like a kid, weirdly enough. Oh, is this in the... Oh, yeah, it's in the secret club. So I gotta find... Oh, Jesus. I gotta find the secret club. Um, which one leads to the secret club? <laughs> okay. Time to wander around aimlessly. I think it was in one of these, like, little alleyways, kind of. There was, like, I think a girl who, like, died on a tractor in that movie. So I always think of tractor tractors when I think of that movie or vice versa maybe will you continue the Undertale series I think so I was thinking about honestly just like let's playing the rest of it um, maybe instead of streaming it excuse me oh here he is he's not dead uh, I'm looking for a reporter would that be you but yeah I want to play Delta Rune too so I really got to finish that up that's right and you are uh... a reporter a friend of yours asked me to give you this um uh what is it? And that's what happened. The Turia voice. He said it contains information about Amaterasu Corporation's misdeeds. He was badly wounded. Huh? Hey, what the fuck? This is exactly why I told him to call it quits. Why? Why did you destroy the memory card? That man risked his life to get... He was literally bleeding out. 
So what? Uh, you're evil, Teruya. There's no future in this town for anybody that defies Amaterasu. Everybody knows that. And now he's trying to get me involved. He's always causing trouble. Well, I guess I can understand oh, why he doesn't no. want his wife and daughter to be murdered, too. And... For now. Guess I should report back. Damn, that sucks. Hey, man, I know you died for your work. <laughs> but actually, it was worth nothing at all. You got jack shit <laughs> in place of it. At the same time, there's increasing concern of many dogs and cats becoming feral after being abandoned by irresponsible... Okay, pet owners. Not the dogs and the cats. Really does seem like everyone in the city is kind of messed up, man. All these side quests have been like really depressing so far. Besides um, the wizard one. <laughs> that was the only one that was kind of more cheerful. Oh yeah, uh, riverbank. <laughs> Waiting for Goku. For Goku, popular play. I didn't get to read any more of it. Oh shit. <laughs> Somebody came and finished the job, I guess. This is Oh man, that's depressing. <laughs> it looks recent. Did the peacekeepers find him? Yeah. Damn. It's a letter in money. Thanks for listening to the strange man's request. I didn't think there were any kind souls left. Uh, did he just like jump into the river or something? I'm sure he refused to take the data. I had you deliver or he destroyed it. It's the sad reality of Kanai Ward. Amaterasu Corporation is just a big and terrifying presence for the people living here. So please don't blame him. He has people he wants to protect, too. That said, I haven't given up. I won't stop fighting until the darkness with Amaterasu Corporation is exposed. As long as people like you are around to help, Mr. Detective. It's too soon to give in to despair! Thank you again, and farewell. <laughs> oh, it's good he's alive, I think. He didn't give in to despair, so... You know, he's, he's out there, hopefully. The people of Kanai Ward must really be afraid of Amaterasu Corporation. But it seems there are still some people with the courage to oppose them. I feel bad for his family, though. I'm not sure what I can do as a detective in training, but I'll do what I can to help. Damn. That's sad, dude. 100 points. So I guess I just got like negative 20 for those other ones. Oh, hey, it's a doggy. Are you a pharaoh, little guy? Who's got rabies? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's gonna bite into my flesh and give me rabies? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's just a little guy? Oh yeah, is there any shards I missed actually now that I think about it? I think I got like three so far. Do those carry over? I don't think they carry over in this chapter, right? Fuck! I guess um, I'll save and then come back to it in case later maybe. I think three sounds okay. I think so. Okay, let me uh, save too, now that I think about it. It's been a while. School time! One in Kanai... Kanai Station? The carryover? Okay. That's good. Shard in the Lion Statue in Kanai Station. Should I go get that one then, right now? Maybe. I don't think I got... Isn't the lion statue? I don't think I got that one. Big mystical shard. This chapter is mid-investigation. It's super annoying because you have to play through a bunch of other stuff to get back to it. Oh. Thank you, Bless Bane, Desuhiko, Yuma. This is fascinating, but you're really forgetting about the girls at this point. <laughs> I mean, like, all this trauma dumping and all these people dying and shit. I mean, it's cool, but, like, hey, what about the girls, man? <laughs> what about the girls, man? Okay, we can just do this. I think uh, we'll be able to investigate anyway, so. 
We can always get some uh, shards or whatever later. I should probably just look up a guide for this. I keep forgetting for the shards because I feel like, yeah, it's so easily missable, you know? I'm sure, like, just one gamer or somebody's, like, posted the free time events or the equivalent of it. Oh, wow, look! In case I miss I'm them. everywhere. High school girls so young and cute! <laughs> this is heaven. Jesus! <laughs> Pull it together, man! Oh, he's got a nosebleed, too! <sighs> Should I really have brought him here? Oh, Yuma! Oh, Karumi. Don't make eye contact with him. <laughs> don't, don't even look his way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yuma, you really came. He's gonna start, like, trying to sniff her hair and shit. It's a cover for me, man. I was thinking you might have stood me up. I wouldn't ditch you like that. I'll see the job you requested of me to the very end. I know, I was like, how old is he? I was like, he looks like he's, like, 15, Desuhiko. But yeah, that line was, uh... Pretty weird. <laughs> Pretty sus. I knew I could count on a master detective. Um, about that. Listen, the truth is... I was like, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and think that he means... By young, he means, like, my age. <laughs> I don't know, though. Yuma, something's wrong. There's a suspicious person <laughs> there. <laughs> he looks like such a fucking weirdo. What are you doing? Groping the air? Oh, that's my senior. Or a friend, I guess. Acquaintance, friend, mortal enemy, same thing. Huh? Is he also a master detective? Oh, He's God. He's not what I expected. <laughs> Why is he staring at the other students? Um, he's preparing to use his forte, <laughs> I think. Good cover. Huh? Oh, what's up? Are you yeah, talking about me? Who is that? Are you talking about how sexy I look? Huh, it's whatever. You I'm must chilling. be Karumi. I heard all about you from Yuma. Have not mentioned her once. I'm the superstar detective, Desihiko <laughs> Thunderbolt. Woo! <laughs> nice to meet you. The dab. <laughs> yeah, babe, I know how to dab. It's whatever, man. S sure. <laughs> about the details of the job. Just like, I don't think I like, um, I don't think I like the detective. I don't think I like detectives anymore. I think I'm over it. If possible, I'd like to see where it happened in person. Do you think we can get inside? So you're starting the investigation. It may be hard for an outsider to get in the school. Even family members can't enter without a teacher's permission. Wow. Looks like you're in trouble already. But I've come oh, fully prepared to spray. save my lost little kittens. <coughs> Just watch. I want to say something, but it's so mean. It's so mean. I was gonna say, giving him the Mitch voice was appropriate. <laughs> With the debaucher, just like the general douchiness he's exuding right now. But I do find him funny. That's the difference. Mitch was not funny. Desuhiko's funny, so I still like him. So don't don't take that to heart. Don't take it to heart. <laughs> but it do be some Mitch vibes. <laughs> Okay, transformation time. <laughs> you come too. Me too. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, she has cross dress time. Don't worry about it. Just let me it. Oh, no. Here we go. I want Yuma to still look like Yuma though. It'll be cute. I want to be a little bow, a little dress, uh -huh. some flowers. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're so pretty, Yuma! <laughs> Serve! Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, you dress up as a teacher. He was like, I guess Tetsuhiko, he's not gonna look anything like himself. But like a little Yuma! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's me, Superstar Detective Tetsuhiko. Who's a pretty princess? Huh? So the cute girl next to you is. Yuma? It's like, hey, come on, I'm cuter, right? Oh, why me? <laughs> so pretty. Are you really the same people? <gasps> oh, he does look like Kyoko. Oh my god, I swear he truly is like the child of like Nagi and Kirigiri. He looks so much like Kyoko. Yeah, with the long hair, dude. Holy crap. Kurumi, 
If someone talks to you on your way home, don't follow them, okay? <laughs> it looks like a little baby Kiri Giri. Oh, you're so pretty. So cute. Let me uh, go back to this donation. Thank you, Lucky Cat Luna. Yuma is so cute as a girl. The creator's developers probably wanted to make a gender reverse before the fan base internet does <laughs> it. Basically, they're like, one step ahead, one step ahead. Thank you, Jean-Philippe Johnson's. Yuma is literally dressed as his mom. <laughs> I swear, he really is. He really is Kirigiri's son. That better be the reveal once he get his, once he gets his memories back, dude. Just kidding. This is my forte, disguise. I'll be I waiting. Seared the image of this lady teacher into my mind as I passed her by earlier. And when I was when I was groping the ears and sniffing, <laughs> and like I don't even know. That's amazing. So this is the forte of a master detective. I know, right? Isn't my voice just irresistible? <laughs> I'll let you be my fan. If you join the after party, <laughs> I'll even whisper in your ear if you want. <laughs> oh, the negative riz. I'm starting to think Kazuichi does have more riz. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I love that she's just ignoring him, though. Yuma, you're so cute. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I think I'm gay now. Now we'll just look <laughs> Thank like you, Yuma. When together. <laughs> Thank you for revealing this within me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Wait for me. I don't want some flat-chested uggo as a friend. Oh god, we're back to this. Now. Let's go inside. Yeah, like an undercover investigation. Oh, Desihiko, it's sure kind of interesting. Her, uh, the fake teacher, uh, Desuhiko as a teacher, does have, like, a different art style. Kind of weird. I guess it's all that, all that makeup. Okay! <laughs> With the freaking backpack, dude! <laughs> does he just lug that thing around him everywhere? Aiko jumped off the roof of this school building. Why don't we go up there to look? How about we visit the theater club first? We're about to do a rehearsal on the school stage right now. Okay, she's in the theater club too. I can't remember if she said that or not. This school even has its own theater, huh? That's right. If we go there, you can see what it's like at the club I go attended. Let's take a look while we still can. You take care of that. I'll go check another spot. Hey, <laughs> you're just gonna be just probably gonna go to like the freaking like uh like the cheerleading club or something. Yeah, it's very important that I uh, investigate over here. Another spot? You're not coming with us? I stand out when I carry the backpack. I need to hide it someplace safe first. Oh yeah, that's true. Don't worry about me and uh, do what you gotta do. <laughs> I've set up your shot, so you better not miss. Okay, wingman. See you later, my man. I think he's misunderstanding something. Is it really okay for him to go off on his own? At least he realized he had no chance. Let's go, Yuma. Oh, wait. Do you have a girl name now? Y Yuma's fine. <sighs> Freaking shady got me. I feel like Yuma's kind of gender neutral. The theater hall is this way. Follow me, Yuma. So pretty. I feel like all the buildings here look kind of like... I don't know, old, almost? Like, I guess, like, they look kind of like, you know, buildings... I guess, like, if you go to, like, L.A. or something, a lot of the buildings are kind of, like, older, but they're, like, refurbished and stuff like that. It's kind of what it reminds me of. Oh, he's totally gonna get the teacher fired. <laughs> oh, 100%. 110 pit million percent, dude. <laughs> that poor teacher. Oh, God. Her only mistake was being attractive. <laughs> Thank you, another professional. Desuhiko must be the luckiest pervert in fiction. His ability to remember girls like a flipping through a photo album makes it easy to copy them, for real. It's definitely a, a good talent for him and his uh, wow, it's personality. Wow, proper. Like a real theater. Yeah, even this, like, the theater looks so, like, classic, you know? Right? Classical, I the guess. The whole school gives a lot of attention to the theater club. Like, vintage might be the correct word? I don't know. There are four performances throughout mm. the year, and people outside of the school sometimes come to watch. Kane Ward doesn't have many options for entertainment, so our school's theater is very popular. Okay. That's why the battle to be the main lead is so intense. The star of the theater club becomes the star of Kane Ward. Okay. So that makes so more sense. So it's seen as much more than a club activity. 
Okay, starting to make more sense now. Yes, this isn't just a single page of our youth. Everyone's competing as if their lives depend on it. A lot of them come from affluent or powerful families and take pride in being members of the elite. Makes sense. Sounds like everyone's always on edge. They're very graceful and don't show their true feelings while on stage, though. Shall we go in? I'm curious to meet the girls. Let's see who's the sketchiest one. I feel like one of them is just gonna be like so obviously like a Kazuna. Like, I fucking hate these bitches. <laughs> I'm not here to make friends. Be like, it was you, Kazuna. You did it. You are not a girl's girl. Thank you, Dylan Petal. Does he go is gonna play Smash or Pass with everybody? Basically. <laughs> Oh, fucking Desuhiko, dude. He is too much. Costumes are pretty. Everyone's so busy, they didn't even notice us coming in without permission. It is kind of weird to think that the city is so invested in watching, like, high school girls' plays. Like, can't they just build, like, a professional theater? This is the stage rehearsal, after all. It's treated like the main performance itself. They leave the curtains open and allow people to watch. More students should show up to watch shortly. I'm not used to this atmosphere. It makes me nervous. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous when you won't even be on stage? We're only here to find out the truth behind Aiko's death. Let's search carefully. Oh, thank you, Ither. If you imagine all of Tezuhiko's lines as Albedo, oh, Jesus. <laughs> it makes them way funnier. Oh, my God. I bet there is going to be an edit where it's like a... Albedo, but they like just put over uh, Desuhiko's voice lines. Oh my god. That's amazing. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Wait, that's no way to talk to a master detective. Sorry, I'm starting to talk to you like any other friend. It's alright. It helps me blend in. Huh? So it's alright to be friendlier? I'll go all out if you don't mind. Cute. Sure. Aw. <sighs> I wish you were dead. <laughs> I wish you die in a lake with your feet sticking out. Cool, cool, cool. Ignoring that. Oh, Yuma. All four of them <laughs> Yuma are just staring right now. <laughs> what the fuck, Shinigami? All four? What do you mean? The, the four, four members suspects. of the theater club that I think have something to do with Aiko's death. See, they're on stage right now. The two in costumes go. are the main leads this time. The blonde, high-class looking girl on the right Karen! is Karen! <laughs> oh, Karen. The impish looking one on the left is the other protagonist, impish. Waruna. Waruna. Below the stage is the honor student, Yoshiko. Yoshiko. The one keeping a low profile in the Windbreaker is Kurene. Kurene. It's fucking Karen! You think those four are suspicious? Why? I mean, one of them is literally I named Karen. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the Look return of Karen. Karen. The classy one. Her beauty is unbelievable for a high schooler. <laughs> oh my god, I have to give her the Karen voice, right? <laughs> I don't care if it's pronounced Karen. She's still a Karen in my eyes. The moment Aiko was gone, she had no problem climbing to the top. She even looks mean. She has a strong fervor for acting and seems to have no interest in making friends with others. Oh yeah, she's the Kazuna, I the Karen. Say she's the uncooperative type who only thinks about herself. Her father has a lot of influence in real estate, so he applies lots of pressure too. Okay. So you think that's why she took down Aiko to become the main lead? I hate to say it, but I think it's possible. It's true that this Karen does have an extraordinary grace to her. She does look like a Karen. She looks like she's about to ask for the manager any moment, just like a perpetual, like, frown. <laughs> but I think that dour look on her face reveals her inner thoughts. She always looked like that? Am I really walking down the right path? Did I wind up somewhere I'm not meant to be? Should I have really killed that bitch? I can almost hear her thinking that. In some ways, she's a lot like me. Yeah, no, that was kind of a slay. Never mind. I totally should have killed her. I'd do it again. I would do it again. Thank you, Mario MP98. Karen is just Rachel Amber from LIS in anime form. Oh, yeah, I still haven't. I haven't really played that series too much. I really need to. Thank you for the donate. donation, though. Life is Strange, too. I was like, I don't know why I can think of the name for a second. And thank you, Mannequin. As a former TA at an all girls school, 
All girls schools have more backstabbing than Assassin's Creed. <laughs> the killer could be literally anyone. I always wondered what it would be like to go to like an all girls school. I don't think we really had any like uh, in my area. But yeah, I'm expecting some drama. I mean, literally there was some death involved, so I guess there's already drama. I kind of feel like some more people might die. Like we might get like a main suspect and they're gonna die somehow or something. I guess either being a twist like that, but we'll see. Huh? How are you alike? You sure don't look classy yourself. I'll ignore that. He literally looks like Kirigiri. The other lead, Waruna, is the kind that only does what she wants on her own terms. But she can play any role like she's a true genius. She's still rough around the edges according to critics, but she doesn't seem to care about what others think of her. I haven't seen any of the girls like cross-dressing. I would assume that like some of the girls would have to play male characters too, right? Why do you suspect her? She's the kind who doesn't hold back when it comes to getting what she wants, and doesn't care what anyone thinks. As you can imagine, she's always butting heads with someone. Laruna would never admit defeat, ever. That's why everyone else is afraid of her. And she only talks to a few girls who follow her around. Okay, she's like a Regina George type. Got her little click. If someone with that kind of pushy personality got into an argument with Aiko... You're saying it's not out of character for her to take more drastic measures. All these girls seem really intense so far. Yes. It's a bit of a stretch, but considering how she did become one of the main leads, she could be considered suspicious. That's Yoshiko This girl seems stage. nice. She's an actress, but she's managing the stagehands as production assistant this time. I feel like she looks so nice that almost makes me suspicious of her. The other two girls, she's like, that's Regina George. She's the biggest bitch in the whole school. And then there's Maruna. She's the other second biggest bitch in the whole school. Then she's like, oh, and then there's Yoshiko. Oh my God, she looks so cute today. <laughs> she looks like she looks so nice and cute. And it's like, are you just being production assistant on this one so you're not suspected of killing her for the lead role? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Yoshiko. Everyone is talking about how Kaden will be the next big star. But within the theater club, Yoshiko is more popular by an overwhelming degree. I don't know. Actually, I think I kind of suspect her the most. She prioritizes the team over the individual. She's a kind, mild-mannered honor student. It's interesting that Kurumi suspects her even though she's literally perfect. The only reason the theater club is able to function is thanks to her leadership. And you think someone like her could have killed Aiko? I don't personally suspect her that much, but Aiko used to be the club's leader. Mm. Took her spot. After she died, Yoshiko picked up right where she left off. Mm. I believe she's the only one who could ever take over Aiko's role. So Yoshiko maybe felt Aiko had what she thought was rightfully hers. Okay. But would she resort to murder to change that? You do not understand the importance of theater club, Yuma. I don't want to believe she would. But I can't say it's impossible. This is literally life or death. Man, this really is reminding me of Drop Dead Gorgeous. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. It's so good. It's like a dark comedy, kind of like Heather's. It's not a musical. But I guess the 80s movie for Heather's isn't a musical either. But anyways, it's like a, there are a bunch of pageant queens and they're like... <laughs> some of the girls like kill each other in order to like win the pageant. But it really is kind of reminding me of that. <laughs> it's like you don't understand how important it is to be on top, Yuma. You don't get it. It means everything. Purine, the one in the wings wearing the windbreaker, manages the light since she wasn't chosen for a lead role. They're all killing each other to become like Miss Missouri or something like some like a random for like a title for some random ass state. But when it comes to pure acting ability, she's one of the best. I guess you could say her acting method is distinct. Hmm. Like she's the only one who can do what she does. She's like a true theater person. She's kind of gloomy. Or it's more like no one really knows what she's thinking. She's often alone in class too. A method actress or something. Do you think she's also a suspect? She always aims for the lead role. Besides, who knows what she's thinking? So you're saying maybe she actually despised Aiko and tried to take out her competition? Maybe. It's why I consider her another suspect. I see. All right then. 
Who are these random the people in the audience? The are Kaden and Waruna. Parents or something? There's also Yoshiko, the group leader, and Kurane, the distinctive one. This is kind of feeling like Heather's though, too. <laughs> there's Heather, then there's Heather, then there's Heather. And in your eyes, Kurumi, you find them all suspicious? I'm sure they'd be mad if they heard me, but yes, I do. Though the four of them are rivals, they weren't particularly hostile to each other before. Hmm. However, after Aiko passed away, they started fighting for the main role. Okay. They all rarely speak to each other now. I bet they all got different opinions, too, on who did it. That's intense. It's true that it does seem suspicious. Because just the fact that they're butting heads after her death makes me think that at least some of them might be suspicious that, you know, another girl did it. So, did you gather all that information yourself, Kurumi? To tell you the truth, I joined the theater club after Aiko's death in hopes of finding out what really happened. You're really determined, huh? I am. I won't give up until I discover the truth behind Aiko's death. She must have been devastated by the loss of her friend. But she still found a way to push herself forward. All this to find the truth. I see. Sometimes the truth can be a goal that helps you press onward. Then I need to do what I can to help her. I have to find the truth behind this case. On the other hand, some truths make you want to die when you discover them. Be quiet. Yeah, for real. Besides, even if that were the case... Just, can I just shut up? Just for this case, Shinigami. I think we've heard enough for you. If I let the truth be buried like this, more bad things could happen. That's why I'm going to help her find the truth. It's my duty as a detective. Will you stop confusing detectives with heroes? Regardless, I have nothing to do with this, so whatever. For someone who has nothing to do with it, you sure have some strong opinions. Huh. Hey, Kurumi! You came at the right time! Okay. Oh, is this? Oh, wait, no. Okay, I thought it was that one girl. The nice girl. The nice girl. We're short-handed right now. We could use some help in the wings. You mind lending a hand? I just noticed, too, she has uh, pigtails in the back. I was like, I guess that makes her uh, hair a bit different than Chiaki's. I huh? just thought it was short. But I'm... Oh, don't mind me. I'll watch the stage from here. Then I'll go help. Let's meet back here once I'm done. Who's the cutie? A <laughs> classmate? We, yeah, something like that. Where have you been hiding such a cute girl? <laughs> Why don't you invite her to the theater club? <laughs> I think I just realized that I'm gay too. Right. Oh my god, it's late. <laughs> oh, good times. <laughs> he is very cute though. Look at him. He looks just like his mother. <laughs> just like his mother. Yo, Shiko's bag. The waste bag used in the theater club belongs to Yoshiko. It's designed by a brand from the outside. Kane word that Puki or Pucci also adores. Interesting. Oh, we're okay, we got a new uh new loading screen things. We're ruin a secret. I wanna know that one. Looks like it's about to begin. Interesting. She said this would be just like the actual performance. Get dressed I wonder rehearsal? what it's like. Let's get ready to slay. Oh, what the Hello, fuck? Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming <laughs> What is he doing here? When everything's so busy. <laughs> what the what hell? Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Before the theater club starts their performance, there's something oh I goodness. want everyone to hear. Oh, God. It's my debut song. I've practiced so much for this big day. Jesus. Here it goes! Oh god. The, the cringe, I can already feel it. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> no! It was this big break! So dumb. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And thank you to uh Demon30 for the donation. Appreciate ya. Why would you do that, Desuhiko? <laughs> what if they see through your disguise? It was my big moment, man. I was about to become famous, performing in front of you and those other two people in the crowd. Oh, come on, man. What's wrong with a little fun? 
A star always wants to stand on stage. Oh my god. You're kidding me. <laughs> Even if your disguise is perfect, that was reckless of you. That poor, poor teacher. Oh, it's fine to be reckless and my disguise is perfect. Damn, I ruined my chance for an amazing debut. Anyway, the performance is about to start. Okay, I get to actually watch the show. I knew I would find you here, Natasha. I feel like their art style looks a little different too. Interesting. Like Desuhiko's teacher and then these girls too. It's like a little more anime. I don't know how to describe it. I knew you would come, Anatoly. You oh have my God. not changed at all in the past 10 years. Nay, you have become even more beautiful. What the hell is going on here, Anatoly, Karen? Is this Cooking Companions the musical? <laughs> And wait, is this gay? Is this... You've become even more beautiful? You, however, have changed. Your face is scarred and... You look stern. I've longed for the days we spent here together. Back then, the world shone bright in the colors of the rainbow. Okay, this is looking... This is looking very... The rainbow, as she said! As she said, she said what she said and that is what is going on. In this parade, this is gay as hell. But no, the only world I see is colored with crimson, draped in the blood of my. Don't even tell comrades. me she's playing a man. They, this is not something a man would wear. <laughs> not even trying to cover it up. Thank you, Bree. Let Desuhiko sing the Heather soundtrack, Dad. <laughs> oh my God, that would be beautiful. Thank you for the dono. Behold, even my own hands are stained red. Yet. You are still pure, unchanged from that day. You really believe I have not changed? In truth, I had no choice in the matter. But because I did change, I chose to remain as I once was. Oh wait, they're sisters? I see. These ten years were long for us both indeed. Well my bad, she was talking about rainbows and how beautiful and stuff, guys. <laughs> Within the tall, white walls, a clear fountain and colorful flowers decorated the garden. This garden was the world to these two young girls. They held hands and ran through the sunflower field. Wait, are these sisters in the play or in real life? I'm confused. They sang to the blue sky and wore white clover crowns they had given one another. The sunset was ever golden. Even the rare rain glittered brightly. The world was perfect. Everything shone like the shimmer in a rainbow. At the very least, that was how it was within these walls. That's pretty The two art. sisters, Anatoly and Natasha, were princesses of a 300-year-old kingdom to the far okay, west. Okay, so it was in the play they were sisters. Man, they were just talking about rainbows too much, okay guys? I was blinded by the rainbows. Since birth, they had never gone beyond the castle walls. Their youths were spent together alone. Sisters by birth, they had a happy life together. My bad. But one day, their peace abruptly ended. A rebellion struck. What song is this? It's like a famous song, right? The military took the castle and declared the start of a new nation. Royal family members who resisted were executed and their corpses hung in the garden. Lovely. The castle walls were destroyed and the flowers trampled. Anatoly and Natasha escaped the castle at night thanks to their servants. But amidst the chaos, the two sisters were separated. They still like to be in pretty decent condition. Their hands all this brushed happened. against each other. It would be the final time they ever touched. Natasha was hidden in a neighboring small nation, an ally of old. The princess was welcomed with the highest honor. Okay, no wonder. However, Anatoly continued her journey of escape with the remaining members of the royal family. Okay, they didn't really do her makeup to make her look like she was burned or something, because I remember like, Natasha, I think she mentioned that. They traveled the frontier to avoid pursuers as they searched for a land of peace. As they continued down this path, their comrades fell one after another. Ten years have passed since. 
15 minutes in. Their performance is so intense in person, I can't take my eyes off the stage. Oh. Oh. Is she sleeping? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Shit's boring, man. Liked better when I thought it was a romance. <laughs> Who was is that? that? Yoshiko? Oh. Maybe she went to the restroom. Homegirl's gonna cut a light. It's gonna fall on one of these girls. I just know it. I took up the sword Sneak for the around. first time after I left the castle. It was also the first time I killed. Sneak it around backstage. Uh, I feel like she is gonna drop a light on one of these girls. Have you ever witnessed a soldier's dying moments? As blood flows from open wounds, all you'll hear is a death rattle. Men speak proudly of honor and pride, but those vanish when you're on the battlefield. Over the span of ten years, oh, wow, they're really Natasha give us the whole was play. welcomed as the new head of state for a small neighboring nation. She knew full well that her lineage was being taken advantage of for the nation's development. However, she had no choice but to allow this to happen. Honestly, this sounds like a lot of the novels that I read in my free time. Meanwhile, Anatoly traveled the land. She had grown to become a leader. I love historical fiction. Of the wandering warrior tribes in the region. Granted, it's the mostly sword like she had mastered to survive. A Tobi Isekai for many. historical fiction. <laughs> the pride kind of de defeats the purpose. Thank you, Demon Thirty. First, technically second. I messed up. LOL. My donation on YouTube stream. Oh, it's okay. Cries came back from the games in and forgot you, cross dressed. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the donation. And yes, he looks beautiful. Beautiful. The fight to regain their homeland had begun for these two princesses. It all began when the former kingdom, now a military dictatorship, invaded the nation protecting Natasha. Natasha declared war, promising to regain control of her former castle. I was like, is this gonna be important to the plot, like the mystery or something? They're just going a lot more in depth than I thought they would. Seeing an opportunity, Anatoly rallied the people of the land to mount an invasion. They rode for the kingdom. At first, Natasha was disadvantaged, but the balance shifted upon uniting with Anatoly's forces. The enemy commanders saw the forces surrounding the castle. They knew there was no way to escape and quickly surrendered. The war ended in a single day. And yet, people do not know of the 10 years of strife these two girls endured. Like the royal real family photo. was rebuilt, but the peace they had once known was not immediately restored. Natasha's forces desired control over the conquered kingdom. However, Anatoly's camp also sought control, having achieved many merits in battle. Though the two girls reached out to one another, their hands would never touch again. So sad. They were fated to strike each other down. 30 minutes. <laughs> There's knocked out. If we continue to fight, more blood will be spilled, weakening our nation. Hence why only one of us shall be queen and end this war. There is no path before us where we can walk hand in hand as we did back then. Drama. I know. I am prepared for what we must do. It's like That's a... why I've waited here for you. It's like a... A historical fiction tragedy, kind of. I was like, they end up like both taking poison or something. Draw your sword. We shall now decide who is fit to become queen. Oh shit! Drop the facade, Natasha. Y'all really gonna be fighting in dresses and heels? For these past ten years, you sat on the throne as a princess. I know you know not how to wield a sword. Homegirl's really shaking. I refuse to stain <laughs> my hands with your blood. I could never will myself to kill you. No, no, I'm a professional. But at this rate, the nation will perish. Draw your sword, Anatoly. Natasha. Two hours later. Okay, yeah, Natasha is definitely gonna get her ass beat. <laughs> She's shaking, girl. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll have a happy ending. Whoa, oh, what the? Who turned out the light? Here we go. I was asleep the whole time, so it was already dark anyway. I know that one girl. What was that girl's name? Yoshiko? Watch you do, Yoshiko. Somebody's totally about to die. Is she talking in her sleep? That was weird. Wait, why am I wasting time thinking about it? The uh -oh. lights are on again. Back to the show. No. Oh, really? Have a seat. Okay, I was totally expecting one of them to be dead. Yes. Allow me to pass the plate. I guess it was just a scene change. Thank you, Anatoly. Got all hyped up for nothing, man. The two okay, spent back to time the together again for the first time in years. However, they could not run through the garden like they used to. Together, they carried the lives of tens of thousands on their shoulders. What was expected of the girls was no longer a crown of flowers, but a real crown instead. If I could simply defer the throne to you and end it all, I would have done so in the beginning. A queen's crown would fit you better, Natasha. However, the war would not simply end there. How did it end up this way? What are we supposed to do? Natasha wept in anguish as Anatoly gently embraced her. How wonderful it would be if we could flee somewhere together. But both knew full well that could not be. After a long silence and much internal strife, Natasha rose. Oh, is this the poison? She knew this could not go on forever. For the nation, and for themselves. The drink looks kind of sussy. Why is there green at the bottom of it? She invoked her nation's ancient tradition. A new queen would be chosen through a duel of cups oh. and poison. Hmm. <laughs> kind of a messed up tradition, but okay, they are pretty barbaric back then. 45 minutes in, and they're still sleeping. Let us end this, Anatoly. Kind of interesting if one had real poison in what it. What do you intend to do? I guess we'll see. I leave it for the heavens to decide who will survive. They both drink the poison? That's kind of unfair if you're the one pouring it out. <laughs> no, I mixed him up, I promise. <laughs> I have no clue which one's not poisoned. No idea. On the day we were separated, I was given this poison by our family in order to commit suicide. Gasp. Is that right? Did anything come out? I guess just to play, so. Switch the glasses around until I cannot tell which one has the poison in it. You're just gonna sewer slide yourself? Once you are finished, I will reorder the glasses as well. Oh, okay. That makes sense. The duel of poisoned cups. Very well. We shall ask God which of us deserves to survive. So dramatic. Though perhaps it will be the god of death that answers. Oh, <laughs> she's like, wait, is that I call my name? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm swear. <laughs> I'm awake. I do feel like one of these is going to actually have poison in it. And that one girl, Kyoka or whatever, is going to be like, Finished. Oh my god, I can't believe someone just died. Turn, That's crazy. Or what was her name? Kiyoshi? Not Kiyoshi. Or was it? I can't remember. Yoshiko, that's what it was. I am ready. Well, who knows? Maybe the play will go smoothly. Maybe I'm just being sussy for no reason. I 
I grant you the right to select a glass. I shall take the remaining one. Very well. So tall. Natasha, promise me. If you survive, promise you will bring peace to this kingdom. And be a bit more selfish in your personal life. That would balance things out, I think. Really convinced that she's gonna be the one to die. I also have something to say, Anatoly. If you survive, wear a dress fit for a queen, no matter how much you hate it. It's weird because I'm trying to be invested in this scene, but I'm also waiting for, like, something in real life to happen, you know? Well then, to the new queen. Cheers. Oh no, <laughs> not Natasha. <laughs> Is it good acting? We'll see. Oh shit! But <laughs> yeah, I was like, that seems pretty real. No, not Karen! Damn it! She was my prime suspect! God dang it, it should have been you, Winona! Or whatever your name is. But <laughs> now it's just like, damn. Slow Karen, great acting girl. That's crazy. Feeling. She was the one who poured it out, I think, too, right? <laughs> right? The grimace shake! <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen at some point. <laughs> we got a fucked up you have there, like, wow, Karen. That's a wow, you really killed it. <laughs> you really killed it. That's crazy. Thank you to Ither. Hey, Weeby, have you ever played the game Bad in Theater? I think you'd like it if you checked it out. I haven't. I haven't even heard of it. I'll uh, look into it for sure. Thank you. And thank you to Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Karen, I need to speak to the manager. There is poison in my drink. <laughs> no, rest in peace, Karen. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, girl. What do I do? Is Desuhiko still asleep? Oh, and thank you. Uh, another professional. Karen, you fool. That was Grimace Shake, not wine. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's so tragic. Thank you, Spanish Fly, 120. What acting? Give her the Oscar. Man, she truly died for the role, too. Oh, what a queen. She really took it seriously, dude. And for the rehearsal, too. That's dedication. Dedication, man. Somebody call for a teacher. Please report it to the peacekeeper. We just gotta hope that, you know, she's in heaven now. Asking for the manager of heaven. Rest in peace, my girl. Rest in peace, queen. Our theater club With the manager in the sky. Huh? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> I should have been here for this part. Is this part of the show? No, I don't think so. I think this is real. Yeah, it wouldn't really make sense for the other girl to be the culprit either. I really, I don't know. I think it's that Yoshiko girl. She was, she was acting sus before the play too. <laughs> That's a real corpse on the stage. And her and then like the somber girl, they're the only ones that like weren't also on stage. So it seems like they would have more like a reason to want to kill another star. Desuhiko, this is where master detectives come in. We have to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't <laughs> deal right. with corpses. What the hell? I thought you were a detective. Huh? <laughs> Dead people's faces terrify me. I can't handle looking at them. Oh my god. And the blood? What's with the blood? Just a little baby. It's a way too horrifying. To... I can't deal with gory stuff. You're joking, <laughs> right? You're a master detective. Man, I'm not even a master detective, man. I just, I just kind of walked into the submarine. I thought there'd be free food, so I just lied, man. But I'm not assigned to murders. 
I mainly handle undercover uh, investigations and stuff like that. Okay, I guess that makes so, sense. Yeah, I'll leave this to you. What I the grant hell? you the right to investigate the crime scene, rookie. God dang it. What? Always left on our own. I, I, I'll use my uh, disguise ability and try to leave the panicking students out of here. I'll leave the rest to you. Stay calm! Even though one of your friends just fucking died. Yuma, That's brave. What do I do? This is awful! Stay calm, Karumi. That wasn't an act just now, right? That's not in the script. Hodding really coughed up blood. She she's really dead. Who could have thought Jesus, a real she looks murder rough. Would happen during a play? First Ico and now Cotton? Is this school cursed? Yuma, it's a murder case. But if the peacekeepers come, they'll just cover it up again. Please, I need your help. Please investigate this case, Yuma. You want me to do it? Uh, got it. You're just doing what she says again? Oh my oh, god. You want to get on the flat chested Uggo's good side that badly? Girl, you love mysteries. You love death. Come on. Hey, you also want to peek at the crime scene for your own reasons. Uh, own fucked up degenerate busted. reasons. Anyway, it'll be trouble when the peacekeepers arrive. Let's search the crime scene before they get here. Oh yeah, let me uh, read some of these donos. There's quite a few of them. Okay, got that one. Uh, thank you, Dylan Petal. Gray Man is at it again. Someone needs to lock Gray Man up in a maximum security prison. Ugh. If only they would just arrest him for once. He could stop his evil crimes. And thank you, Jean-Philippe Hansens. Poison duels always remind me of Princess Bride. I was thinking about that too. God, it's been forever since I've seen Princess Bride. That's such a good movie. And thank you, Demon30. She vomited lots of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> God, bad stomach. <laughs> Cause of death, bad stomach. Hey, she just spit up Pepto Bismol. She's really committed. Very committed to the bit. And thank you. Um, I, don't, I can't actually see who that is anymore. Who don't, who, who's the member. But thank you to whoever was a member for nine months. And guys, remember, no hints and stuff in uh, chat or donor messages, please. Appreciate you guys. Okay, let's go investigate Karen. No, Karen! <laughs> Not again. All right. Investigation. I s will we investigate the other um, one too? I'm not sure if it will help, but can I tell you what I saw? Yes, please. During the performance, I was doing odd jobs in the wings. Oh yeah, I was thinking maybe they did make the play so long to try to like catch us off guard with the death. I still feel like, uh, I don't know, just like with the poison scene, it was like, uh, it would make sense if somebody died here. Aside from the, theater the way they're setting members, it up. There wasn't anyone wondering about like an outsider. Especially the fact that it was like a real cutscene and not like these little text box ones, you know? I mean, other than when Desuhiko jumped in right at the beginning of the play. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Well, that's part of the investigation, right? You can't see everyone from the stage after all. Okay. He helped! See, that, that was the reason he went up there, to help see all the suspects. Isn't that why he went up there? So he could memorize all the faces that were there? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> right. I doubt I that severely. I think he just wanted attention. But setting that aside, since she didn't see any outsiders, the only persons of interest are those within the theater club. I'll keep that in mind while taking a look around. I've done a few investigations already. I should be able to handle this now. Yet you were hopelessly reliant on yours truly until now. I see it's not your brain making the decisions anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you the just mute her, Yuma? Open from agony. The body is completely motionless. I can immediately tell she's dead. Though she displays nah, she's many good. expressions while acting, her face is frozen in death in the end. This isn't an act. She was struck by an abrupt and unscripted death. Uh, um, was it poison? Definitely seems like it. I guess. I'm trying to think too. Sorry, I got a little yawn. 
But I was trying to think too, like I wonder if they even got the right target, the person who planned this. Cause you know, like uh, the two girls did like mix it around and all that before they like ended up drinking from it. So it kinda, it'd be kinda interesting if, uh, I don't know, the actual criminal wanted to kill the other girl or something, you know? But yeah, I love it when he's like, I can tell she's dead. <laughs> can you? I don't know, it's just so difficult to tell. I really, I really wasn't sure until you brought That's that up, most Yuma. likely the case. There are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, she must have ingested poison. This will be tough to solve if that's the case. I know nothing about poison. I don't think we have anybody who does. What? A detective who doesn't know his poisons? Don't tell me you're a poison virgin! Ew, gross! Oh, bye, Jean-Philippe. Thanks for coming by the stream. Well, you perverted little detective. Get on your knees and apologize, and maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. How about something like, I'm sorry, I should know my place, I can't live without you, Shinigami. If she was murdered with poison <laughs> on stage, her. the poison must have been prepared somewhere else. Get on you, Yuma. I need to look for that while checking out anywhere else that seems suspicious. Hey, don't ignore me, jerk. New key, there are no external injuries, and given the circumstances, it's likely she died from drinking the poison. Karen's corpse. Yep, Did I say her name right? <laughs> yep, it's definitely a corpse. I'm like 99% sure. Wait, 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 no. No, yeah, I'm sure. No, yeah, no, I'm sure. Wait, no, no. I'm thinking about it again. No, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, bottle. There wasn't even There's anything, anything that came TV. out of the poison bottle. It was just like air, you know what I mean? I figured it was just like, oh, imagination for the play, but I don't know. Seems like the poison was probably already mixed in the wine bottle then. Karin poured the liquid from this bottle and started to suffer after drinking it. Then that means there's a chance the poison then... was mixed into this bottle. But then why did the other girl survive if that's the case? That's weird. This isn't wine in here, right? Of course not. It's just grape juice. I poured out the bottle and replaced what was inside. You're the one who did it, girl? You're just gonna admit that so easily? Huh? You, Kurumi? Sussy. After class, I was asked to help out before I went to get you. Damn. I'm still a theater club member, after all. What if they were trying to frame her? Were both the wine and grape juice sealed before you swapped them out? Yes. I received the unopened wine bottle from a club member. I uncorked the bottle and poured the wine down the sink. It's a waste, but we can't drink it anyway. After that, I went to the cafeteria and bought a can of grape juice. Of course, this was also unopened. I poured the juice into the bottle, then put the cork back. I passed the bottle to a club member, and my job was done. Which club member, though? That bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf before the performance. I feel like it's too like obvious to be her, but it is very suspicious, of I course, see. that she did that. He's like, damn it, <laughs> already suspecting my new girlfriend. There's so many people around. Poison couldn't be added to the bottle after it was placed on stage. If poison was mixed in, it'd be before it was brought on stage. We'll see. Grape juice was inside the wine bottle. Karumi switched out the wine for juice. The bottle was then placed with the glasses on the shelf. It's like there is some other people that should have got could have gotten to it, I guess. So it's like I don't want to immediately jump to conclusions, this especially since it's like too to obvious. This have poison in it, according to the script. But it's empty now. It's dry and shows no signs of ever being wet. She was conveniently uh, absent during the play. We'll see, we'll see. To be sure, the poison in this vial wasn't real, and it was just another prop, right? Absolutely. It was always empty. The contents spill easily because of the loose lid, so we don't even keep colored water in it. Cotton just pretended to pour poison from the vial into the glass on stage. Then it's hard to imagine there being any poison inside it. Okay, wait, just, there was water? But it's really easily because of the loose lid, so we didn't even keep colored. No, we didn't even. Just pretended, yeah, so it was just air like uh, what I was thinking. Empty from the beginning. It is dry and shows no sign of ever being wet. So weird. I wonder how... I guess like if the glass was lined with poison, I think that might make the most sense. They just kind of like line one of these. That way it only kills one of the girls. There are two glasses on the table. The props used for the duel of poisoned cups. 
I think this glass was supposed to be stored upside down on the shelf in the back. Okay, so that poison can stay to the bottom of it. Cotton was the victim, but she's also the one who set it on the table. Maybe poison was already applied to the glass beforehand. I think like hey, that makes the most do sense. Do you know who prepared these glasses? Oh, it's the girls on prop duty. The freshmen are handling them this time. I mean, like, oh, with that freaking girl, Yoshiko, like, she's literally in charge of everything, so she could just, like, I don't know, I feel like she could do anything she wanted to, you know what I mean? In order to, like, set this up. Do you know where this glass was before it was placed on stage? Props are kept in the theater club storage. This glass should have been in there, too. The theater club storage? In that case, any club member would have access. It's like Yoshiko, she could have, like, access to everything. And basically decide who she wants to, like, frame anything onto. Um, was real poison applied to the glass? I just thought it could be possible. But there's the risk of being caught by applying the poison after it was moved to the set. If poison was applied, it would have been before being brought to the set. But on days like this, when there's an open rehearsal, props are brought out of storage right after school. The glass should have stayed on that shelf the whole time. After school... Which means it'd be even harder to apply poison before then. Yes. At the very least, the props in the set were fully prepared at least one hour before the performance. Okay, the glasses are placed upside down on the shelf. The stage shelf at least one hour prior to the performance. It'd be harder, so it'd just be very difficult to apply it, so... The trying to imply that wasn't the case, it kind of seems like... At least that it would be very tough to do so. I mean, I just realized how Danganronpa, like, uh, investigation this music sounds. I should have noticed that earlier, but I'm like, ooh, wow, this really does sound like, uh... Was it? Ir Ir Irokoshia, I think was one of them? I think I never really see people say those titles out loud. Not only is Aiko gone, but now Cotton too. Could this also be a fight for the lead role? If so, those most suspicious are Cotton's rivals. Yeah. Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. Kurane, that was the other girl. Yeah, definitely Yoshiko and Kurane, the most suspicious. I guess it could be Waru Waruna too, and she's like just trying to make it seem like, oh, I should have died too, but like, you know, I got lucky kind of thing. Is the culprit one of those three? Could it be allergies? Cause like, uh, I don't know, I was like, do people have that bad of reactions to allergies? Hmm. I need to find out if there was anything suspicious about them during the performance. Cause that could be a potential thing if they add it to the juice and then it's like, of course, one of them has a really bad allergic reaction, the other doesn't. But I don't know, um, if I've really heard of, yeah, making people cough up blood and like die immediately, but yeah. Kurumi was in the wings the whole time, so perhaps she knows something about the others. Oh yeah, Yoshiko. Before the I don't incident trust occurred. her at all. Do you the know flower where eyes was and what she was doing? I didn't see Yoshiko in the wings. She may have been watching from the audience. Oh right. Speaking of which, saw her crouching around, During being all sus. I noticed Yoshiko walking down the aisle. I thought she was coming back from the restroom, but I didn't see her take her seat. What if she wasn't part of the audience? Where could she have been? Uh, you may notice Yoko show walk Yoshiko walking down the aisle between audience seating during the performance. Okay, Waruna. Kurumi, that eyeshadow did you is so notice bad, anything girl. suspicious about Waruna while so you were much. watching from the wings? Hmm. As far as I can tell, Waruna was just her usual self. They didn't really emphasize her when she was like mixing up the glasses or whatever either. She was listening to music right up to the start of the play. I think that's how she concentrates. Did she go near the glasses or bottle before the performance? I wasn't watching her the entire time, but if she did go near the set, I think I would have noticed. Hmm, I see. Warana was the closest to the victim. That's ample opportunity to commit the crime. But still, how did she add the poison? It couldn't have been during the performance, right? I'm like, I don't know, I feel like it would be the most complicated if it was her, so it's just kind of making me think maybe it would be her. Just cause, you know, I feel like Kadaka likes to do Wait, that kind of thing. now that I think about it, right after the lights went dark in that one scene, she went near the shelf to pick up a plate. 
Her back was toward the audience, so I couldn't see her hands. Mm. But she only had two or three seconds left. Ah, oh, damn! That'd be quick if she did it then. Could she have poured hidden poison in the glass in that time? Did she have any other opportunities after? The next time she touched the glasses was during the shuffling scene. Mm. I guess she could have marked it so she knows which one has the poison, which one doesn't, maybe? But it was Cotton who maybe. moved the glasses and bottle. She also prepared the poison vial. And plus, after shuffling, Cotton was the one who chose the first glass. Given the situation, it'd be difficult for Waruna to poison Cotton <laughs> specifically. Waruna was acting during the performance. Of course, it would have been difficult for her to have purposely poisoned Karen or Karen. Kurane! What about Kurane? Did she seem strange before the incident occurred? Hmm. I haven't seen Kurane. She was working up above the whole time. Above? Oh, she was managing the lights okay. then. Okay. She have like, I guess, people to vouch for her basically, like witnesses. There's a catwalk above to adjust she the, the bathroom lights, at any point? And that's where Kurane was supposed to be. That's what I want to know. So I didn't see her in the wings. There's another girl handling the lights, so it would be helpful to speak to her. <clears throat> Karane was a member of the lighting crew during the performance. Okay, Karin. Before the performance, did you notice anything off about Karin? Well, I think she was more on edge than usual. She yelled at underclassmen who were late in preparing for the show. She also paced around restlessly. That's not just today. She's been that way since mm. Aiko's death. Oh. I wonder if she could have killed Aiko, but then... Unless she was on to the killer, that could be another reason why she's, like, so restless. But I was thinking it'd be interesting if she killed Aiko, then somebody killed her. It's, like, revenge or something. But I guess there's always the idea that maybe she's just, like, on to who killed Aiko, and that's why she's, like, so restless, and then somebody killed her because she knew, or they thought she knew, or whatever. Maybe the whole battle for the lead role had stressed her out. But since she was murdered after Aiko, she should be considered another victim, right? Not always! If she knew someone was out to get her, and it's not strange for her to be mentally unstable. Yeah. Karin was more tense than usual prior to the start of the performance. The ones fighting for the lead role are Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurane. None of them seem particularly suspicious so far. Hey, how long are you gonna keep this up? I'm so over playing 20 questions with this oh ugly God. chick. And also, <laughs> Yoshiko is right there, Yuma. She's obviously the most suspicious. That reminds me, the lights went dark during the performance, right? The entire hall was blacked out. Yeah, that was pretty weird. Oh, that would be a perfect time to add in the poison to one of the glasses, right? Was that after? God, that play was so long. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to remember when exactly that happened at. I'm like, was that before or after she poured out the glasses? I think it was before she poured out the glasses. Wouldn't it be possible for someone to sneak up on stage and place the poison then? Oh, I hadn't thought of that, but I don't think it's possible. Oh, damn, and that makes that one girl kind of suspicious. Um, crap, what's her name? Karune? Kar Karune? I can't remember. But the girl who was working for the lights, uh, the, like, somber girl, because she, uh, yeah, was, like, she could have been working with somebody, you know, in cahoots, so, like, she turns off the lights and the other person, like, switches out the glasses or puts the poison in or whatever. Why not? The blackout lasted for only five seconds. We measure it each time to ensure there are no mistakes. So someone would have to move through the dark, get on stage, apply the poison, and get away, all in five seconds. Unless they were already on stage. That sounds impossible to me. If they were in a hurry, their footsteps would have been heard by everyone too. Or what if Karin was trying to poison... What? I keep wanting to call her Winona. What's her name? Warna? It's not Winona. That's, uh, that's Eden's Garden. Whatever, the other girl. I'm just gonna call her Winona until somebody corrects me. But she wanted to, like, she wanted to kill her. But then she was onto it, so then she switched the glasses, then ended up killing Karen. Big brain. <laughs> from the audience, it may be impossible, but so convoluted. from the wings? No, there were multiple club members, including Waruna, me, that's what it was. 
Thank you, mannequin. This would have never happened if Natasha and Anatoly had just used a pop <laughs> a popular vote. Have you ever heard of a, what was it? Have you ever heard of a majority vote? Thank you for the donation, appreciate you. While the lights are out, we are always on standby to support the actors. <laughs> it's Prime Magalore again, <laughs> I'm dead. If someone went on stage, the other members and I would have noticed. I guess it's not possible then. <laughs> Even an amateur has more logic than you. I guess you're useless without a certain someone. <laughs> oh, just ignore her, Yuma. Man, she is really on her annoying arc this chapter. Stage went dark for five seconds during the performance. Oh, there's something else I can investigate? Oh, I guess I can also look at these. Misplaced there's a script. script on the floor. That's a script of the play. Someone must have dropped it in all the chaos. The okay. script describes the duel of poisoned cup scene. The character Natasha, played by Cotton, is supposed to take the wine and glasses from the shelf. After that, the glasses are shuffled on stage. According to the script... It seems like what happened, right? Anatoly shuffles glasses. No, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Who was the script writer? Anatoly finished. Natasha, it is my turn then. Natasha also shuffles in a similar way. Was it mixed up though? Was it swapped? Was it Natasha who did it first though in the actual play? Let me um check something uh, really quickly. It's like, I don't think I missed any donos, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just wanna make sure since I missed one earlier. Natasha, I am ready. Anatoly and Natasha stand on the opposite sides of the table facing one another. After that, Cotton takes the first glass and they both drink at the same time. Unfortunately, Cotton's glass turned out to actually be poisoned. I guess, yeah, whoever did it could be using this trope to their advantage to predict, like, the people's actions, Kurumi, you know? I was wondering about this script. It says, make sure the audience cannot see the glasses. Why is that? It's to make the result feel unpredictable to the audience. If the glasses are visible, no matter how fast they are shuffled, the audience can see which one has the poison. The script doesn't say anything about how many times to shuffle the glasses, or which one will have the poison in it. They can just not shuffle at all, <laughs> just cover it up, you know? Exactly. I guess there's that. There's no poison to begin with, so it doesn't matter which one's picked. Well, <laughs> you say that, but, um... You just pick any glass and act out your death after drinking. In the script, Hodden was to die. But, I didn't think she'd actually die. I see. Since the instructions aren't precise, both actresses don't know the results from shuffling either. I mean, they could just literally sit there and not do anything, though, if they wanted to. Just kind of, like, move their hands, you know? During the scene with the shuffling of the glasses, the result was unpredictable, even for the two on stage. But I guess they're not going to go in that direction for whatever reason. They want it to be different. Nice I don't think there's area. anything on this side. Okay, well, I guess so. Try the other side. Oh, it's like the little break room. That's cute. Hmm. Donuts. Among the gentry, so these don't suit my palate. What about this? There's Water. no point in going that way. Okay, girl. She mentioned that the catwalk for adjusting the lights is up above. Okay, Are that's what that one girl was. To reach them? think so. Would you like to go check up there? Yeah, I would. The yeah, spotlights for the there. stage are set over there. It's a lot narrower than I thought. It's pretty high up. Yeah, these are always really scary to walk on. Yeah. It'd be hard on anyone with the fear of heights. So you can move the lights as needed for the play. The table is directly below, which means you can't see the glasses getting shuffled from the audience seats. But they could have been visible from up here. Interesting. You could use the lights to signal like which one is um, poison or not too, because they shine the light. They shine the light on both the glasses, so it could have been like, oh, we have an agreement. Shine the light on like the first glass on which glass is poisoned or whatever. Maybe. I could find out for sure if I could talk to someone that was up here. What's your face? Karune or something. There are multiple spotlights for the catwalk. The stage on the catwalk. The walkway itself is narrow and high enough that it's not easily accessible. Hmm. 
Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. Seems like it. Okay. Finished. Nice. Well, I think I've checked all that I can for now. I have a good idea of how things work around here. It seems certain Cotton died from drinking poison, but I couldn't find any clues that point to how it was done. Oh, stuck already, Mr. Pervert Detective? If you need my adorable angel's whisper to help, maybe you should get on your knees and beg. Oh my gosh. What angel? You're a death god. Literally the opposite of an angel. <sighs> I shouldn't even pay attention to her. <laughs> she's right. Beefing. I'm stuck. What should I do? Yuma, if you're done with the crime scene investigation, are you conducting questioning? Oh yeah. Aren't you going to talk to Yoshiko, Maruna, Kurane, and the others? <laughs> oh yes, yes, I I knew that because I am a detective. Oh. Who does oh, detective things? Right. Let's go and talk to them. <laughs> She's That's me. such a loud mouth. But how do we talk to them? I doubt they'll be too willing to share anything with me. I joined the club only recently, so they don't trust me. And you're a complete outsider, Yuma. Okay. Even though you're disguised recently. as a cute girl right now. That's it! A disguise! <laughs> I'm just gonna use my cute girl charm! <laughs> to, to do it! Maybe Give them this a talk. work if we use Desuhiko's disguise. It's like everybody's in love with Yuma already, so it might work out. He could disguise as any of the girls and start questioning them. Be kind of fucked up if he dressed up. If we dressed up as Karen. <laughs> that would be so fucked up. I'm back from the dead, girls. <laughs> now tell me how you bitches killed me. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yes! Yes, yes, yes! The hot lady! Oh, slay! Yes, I've been waiting for you! That woman, she was the one with that Yomi guy. Oh, hell yeah. My wife! Ah, oh, Queen. I am the Amaterasu Peacekeeper's Vice Director. The trusted right hand, showered with love by Director Yuma. You guys gonna flex about that, huh? Martina Electra. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Goodness me. You've surely done something reckless this time around. <laughs> it wasn't me who did it! Whoops. Looks like she found out you snuck into a girl's school. <sighs> I think this deserves the death penalty, don't you? She is such a queen, that hair flip. Oh, queen! Um, there's a reason why I'm dressed this way. Oh my god, step on me is right. What I are wish. You doing? Hurry up and make the arrest. Oh shit. Wait, I can explain. It's not me. Oh, you're really already gonna go into the labyrinth? What? Man, that was so quick. Oh you have shit, no oh right her? To remain silent. You have no right to talk to a lawyer either. She's like, oh, you kind of look like Chiaki, so why not? <laughs> Let's just go for it. Arrest her, or whatever. You just gonna choose somebody. Confess the truth <laughs> and beg Amaterasu Corporation for mercy. I forgot they have that. They're like, you have no rights. <laughs> you do not have the right to remain silent. You do not have the right Take to seek an away. attorney. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mario MP98. Oh no, it's Evil Weeby. Weevil, you guys are so nice comparing her to me. God, that's the biggest compliment I've ever gotten in my life. She's also way taller than me, but oh, she's so pretty. Um, thank you, God. Please, my self esteem wait. has been raised today. Are you sure you want to try and stop Amaterasu Peacekeeper Vice Director Martina? Yeah, tell me, why are you taking Kurumi? To arrest her, naturally. On the suspicion of murdering Karen. Huh? I feel like they just like choose a random ass person. It's like, uh, that one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like her outfit. What? Why would I do that? We have reached this conclusion following an interrogation of the person of interest. Dude, it literally happened five minutes ago. According to them, you were responsible for handling the contents of the wine bottle prior to the start of the play. It's clear you took the opportunity to pour poison inside it. It was only grape juice. I didn't oh, have any yeah. poison. I forgot. Yeah, she was pretty suspicious for uh, pouring the grape juice. I can't really cover for you there, girl. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Ms. Martina, this was discovered in the chemistry oh, lab. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, it appears my deduction was correct. The poison was right under our noses. Hmm. 
It seems to have been a particularly potent one. The label warns that even a small amount ingested can result in death. Damn. The bottle is unsealed and some of the liquid is missing. There's no mistake. And solved. Done, done, done. You secretly stole this from the chemistry lab and used it for murder, didn't you? I don't know anything about it. That bottle is way too big to be stolen without anyone noticing. That's a huge ass bottle, dude. What a worthless it's not clear comment. at all. I was kind of thinking it would be clear, especially if they lined the glasses, but I guess they were kind of. It seemed like they were implying that they didn't line the glasses, you know, or they were kind of like. Trying to imply it'd be really difficult to do so, but especially with that poison, it's like super dark and like purple, you know? I think it'd be really noticeable. I guess, except if it's in wine. So I guess it did get mixed in the wine? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. Hey, Weeby, can't, uh, can st can't stay work. Can't wait to see your reaction to Karen, as well as the Labyrinth. Though probably not the stream, in the VOD. Okay, bye. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by, and yeah. R rest in peace to my girl Karen, or Karen. She deserved a better fate, even though she had terrible eyebrows. One could simply unseal it in the chemistry lab and put the substance in a smaller container to take wherever desired. <laughs> Grimace is so sealed the bottle. Which could then Poor be Grimace. directly poured into the wine bottle. Into <gasps> the wine bottle. If you're gonna pick a fight, you better have some logic backing you up. This is the last time I'll do this for you. Hmm, there's a warning on the bottle. Mm. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless Ooh. 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. Oh, dang. That's... Ooh, that's going to be important. Okay, so they could not have lined the glasses with that since it literally is uh, pointless after being exposed to air. I guess if you sealed it in the bottle with the wine, it would still be... But then, it, yeah, it's like they couldn't have prepared it too far in advance either. If that's the case, too. I don't think. Interesting. Interesting! Huh? After 30 minutes, it becomes harmless? If you think that's important, go for broke and try pointing it out. Okay. Ah, uh, queen. You're so right, girl. <laughs> Those have in the chat, they were like, uh, she, it must be the truth, because she's hot, and hot people don't lie. That is so true. That's what I've always said, and I stand by that logic. I stand by it. What's her name again? Martina? A uh, queen. What a queen. She can slay me any day. Okay, Martina. Um, I'm curious about what's written on the bottle's warning label. Warning <laughs> He's so label. pathetic. I'm curious about what was written. Oh, sorry. A voice crack for a second. This chemical will react to oxygen in open air rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. It has been 30 minutes since the murder occurred. If this chemical was unsealed at the time of the crime, it will have already lost its potency. It just has to be unsealed too, so... Even if like you took it out, put it in the wine bottle, I think it still would be like null, right? Let us check. Kinda seems like it. Oh shit, you're gonna really dr Oh my god, okay! Okay, Tagami Kenny. Nothing. Really? It seems likely that this poison was used as the murder weapon. Huh. Okay, to check, I guess, how... Uh, that it's, like, expired already? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a boss. A poison with special properties. Which means the crime was possible only for someone at the school with access to the chemistry lab. However, this fact does not contradict her being the killer. Wait, no! I am well aware that many of Etheria Academy's students are children of those affiliated with Amaterasu Corporation. However, that cannot be used as an excuse to bend the truth. Criminals must be punished as criminals. <laughs> For that is justice. <sighs> now be gone. Any additional <laughs> interference and you'll be arrested as well. Be gone, thought. Take her away. And dispose of the corpse on stage before it rots. Jesus, do corpses really rot that quickly here? Corpses spoil so quickly due to the rain and humidity in this town. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally inside. Why? There must be a mistake. It wasn't me. That's right. She's not the killer. Please, listen to me. I warned you not to interfere any further. She swapped out the contents of the bottle before the play began. 
And the incident occurred more than 30 minutes into the play. Okay. Yeah, so she couldn't have done it because it would have expired by that point. So it had to have been done like during the play. Oh, that was why it set the timer when we were watching it too. That makes sense. If the chemical use in the crime becomes harmless after 30 minutes, then it's impossible for her to be the culprit. I see. How logical <laughs> and beautiful. And beautiful. There is beauty in being logical with all things, much like the golden ratio. Uh, but I don't really like doing that shit, so I get lost, be gone. Like gazing upon a flawless art piece, and the more delicate it appears... The droll, girl? The more excited I become envisioning the moment I fall for <laughs> What the fuck?! What was the change?! Huh? <laughs> what now? Oh my god, I thought there was one normal character in this game! Logic is meaningless in the face of ultimate power. Okay, power trip, cool. It is nothing but a glass ornament beneath an iron hammer. Is <laughs> she okay? Uh, no. I, I'm so excited. I feel like this is about to be like a blat room moment. What's with her? <laughs> what the hell? I guess all the peacekeeper higher ups are perverts <laughs> without exception. Jesus Christ, she seemed like the only normal one. No. My soft and fragile looking student. You're play acting as a detective. <laughs> she just goes back to normal. And now, yes, I've gotten out of it now. I'm back to surfing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl. Play acting? Oh, God, you know that makes me dislike her even more. If you intend to continue interfering with our justice, then you will be pulverized. This is definitely like a Toko moment for a second. I'm gonna look at some of those sprites again. <laughs> They came out of fucking nowhere. Oh no, it doesn't reshow the sprites. It's just her generic one. That's sad. Help me, Yuma! <laughs> this y'all swing. Guys, she can't. Guys, no, stop it. It's a lot of pressure being that hot. So, like, she she lets it get to her head sometimes. And sometimes she loses it. But she's fine. She's she's sound. She's stable. Love her. Stan her. Hmm? Yuma? Oh shit. Oh I've god. I've heard that name somewhere. Oh fuck. No. Never mind. I don't know a little girl like you. Just a little boy who looks exactly Play like you. Acting as a detective. With the same name. She's right. What am I doing? I've mistaken detectives for superheroes. I wonder if she even loves Yomi, the guy she's with. It kind of seems like, well, just based off of that, like a little outburst, she's like mostly in love with power, you know what I mean? So it'd be kind of interesting if, yeah, she's not even really like into Yomi. She's just like using him for power. We'll see. Justice is a matter of opinion. With enough conviction, anything can be considered justice. It's only an assumption, completely worthless and completely powerless. I know this is a really dramatic scene, but he looks so cute in that sprite. Oh, look at him tearing up. Hey, I told you all students must wait on the lower level. Stop wandering around and go join the others. <sighs> oh. Kurumi was taken away. What should I do? Do I just walk away as if nothing happened? He's so cute, man. No, oh, I can't do that. Kurumi believed in me. She said that detectives are heroes. Aww. I'm no hero, but I'm the only one who can save her right now. Oh my god, Mannequin, that is so generous, wow. I only discovered this channel today, but I had a great time. Just wanted to show appreciation for a fellow YouTuber. An amazingly fun streamer. Hope to see you again. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll definitely check out your channel too. That's so cool. Thank you so much for stopping by. And my, you've been so generous too. I appreciate that. I hope you uh, enjoyed the game too. I know you mentioned that you were streaming it too. I wonder, uh, yeah, how your let's play is going or uh, your streams are going. But thank you so much. Have a good uh, rest of your day. I have to do something. <laughs> Oh my god, girl. This is not the time to bitch. The truth is still hidden. To discover the truth behind this case, and to find out who the real killer is... Somebody say I can't fix her? I... Guys, I have fixed so many characters previously. Look at Kenjo. Don't look at Kenjo. <laughs> But I have, I have previously fixed so many characters. I believe, I believe that I can fix my girl. My girl, what was her name again? Martha? No, no, it wasn't Martha. Martina, Martina. I can fix her. Oh my God, she's an Electro user too. I love Electro users. I need Desuhiko's help. 
I need his disguise ability to get information from the club members. By the end of this game, fixed. On, on God. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. I believe in myself. She will be a normal, hardworking citizen by the end of this game. I, I will bet. <laughs> I will bet on it. I won't bet on it, but it'll probably happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're that cutie who was with Kurumi. What are you doing here? If you don't go underground, they'll be mad at you. It, yeah. I was called for questioning, but now I'm heading back. Let's go together. I just got shorts underneath her skirt. I just noticed that. That is not the look that you think it is, girl. Oh, it's fine. I'll be right there, so go on ahead without me. Oh, is he trying to be like a little girl voice? I'll go on ahead without me. You sure? Talk a little higher. Well, I was curious. Are all the other theater club members also underground? Like Yoshiko, Waruna, and Kurone too? Yeah, we gotta use uh, Desuhiko's power soon. Yeah, that's right. Yoshiko is feeling pretty shocked right now. She's in the rest area because she wants to be alone. Waruna is with her usual friend group in the makeup room. Okay. As for Kurene, maybe she's in the staff room with the other club members. Here's okay, so a staff room, makeup room, and rest area. Oh, oh, she's probably full of shit. I'm so, I'm so anti Yoshiko. I don't know, man. She gives me bad vibes. You know, she just gives me like fake vibes. I don't, I don't trust her. Ah, oh, got it. Thanks. I'm just so heartbroken that my bestie Karen died. I'll be going now. Gotta cry it out. Um, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. My student is distressed. So please excuse us for a moment. Even like fake crying too. Kind of looks like a tear almost. And does he go? You okay? You. I guess he might actually be crying too. He was kind of traumatized. I'm fine, but Kurumi got caught by the peacekeepers. Are you serious? What are you gonna do? Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand investigating this case? Don't tell me you want to keep investigating behind the peacekeepers' backs. I know it's reckless. The chief even told me not to, but this is something I have to do. <laughs> Poor Yaku, dude. He's still waiting on the meat buns. <laughs> you gotta save the woman so you love, right? I totally get it. Oh, yes, I've done it once, too, a long time ago. It was my hamster, surely. No, it's not like I love my man. Usually, I'd help you out of sheer respect alone. But those bastards questioned me already, so uh, I can't move from this spot. Couldn't you make up an excuse to leave? Aren't yeah. you good at that? They're not gonna open up to me. Yeah, I probably could, but I couldn't stay away for too long. Maybe I could slip out in disguise, but... That'd put them on high alert and make the investigation tougher. And that would just make them arrest the teacher. <laughs> the poor teacher. <laughs> then what should I do? There's another solution. I'll disguise you, so you can keep on investigating. Yeah, you have a good... Would he have a good enough disguise for me, though? I don't know if I can really copy uh, his ability. You want oh, actually, me to keep investigating in disguise? Yuma can share an ability, so he can totally transform. Yeah, I'll give you a voice changer, too. I'll leave this to you. But if this goes on for much longer, we'll both be in trouble. My disguises can't last forever. Oh, uh, yeah, it does take a lot out of him. What? Really? It puts a huge strain on my body. I'm already starting to feel dizzy. Are, are you okay? Not really. But I gotta do this. It's all to save the love of your life. Ah, uh, yes, the love of my life. W what was her name again? I mean, this saying I love her is a bit extreme, but... <laughs> Besides... I'm a master detective of the WDO. I've seen plenty of dangerous situations. We're basically like that guy we helped earlier. I mean, I know that she's cute, and she's cute, and she's funny, and she's cute. Did I mention she was cute? So, I don't really know much else. Who do you want to disguise as? Tell me. Oh, can I choose? Oh, seriously? Oh, interesting. Huh. I want to question Yoshiko. I kind of want to disguise as Waruna, I think. I feel like, I guess we might be able to change later too, but I feel like she, I could see her working with one of these other girls to murder her. I feel like that's the most likely scenario. I want to disguise as Waruna. 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 
the other lead actress on stage. I kind of dig chicks who seem hard to get. You dig every chick. Alrighty, time to turn you into just the kind of girl I like. You like so every girl. Creepy. Perverts of a feather flock together. I like how he's just standing there. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach's starting to hurt. I'm sorry, but may I go to the restroom? I'll be right back. Oh man, well yeah, I guess it is a uh, kind of uh, what you call it, payback for Yako for being so lazy. <laughs> uh. Peacekeeper's just chilling. All right, that was perfect. I slipped a voice changer under your clothes, so be sure to use it. Oh, also, just a heads up, uh, uh, touching your own boobs won't feel good or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Was not even thinking about that a little bit, but thank you. Thank you for putting the thought in my head. I'm not gonna touch them. We'll see about that. Oh my god. Perverted detective. I'm heading back now. Get going. Oh, Jesus. Warren is supposed to be feared by the other members. I hope I can still get some information from them. Try to intimidate them? I guess it might be kind of hard for Yuma to... I don't know. Emulate that personality. We'll see. We'll see. Honestly, Sumi just wants to go over to like one of the girls and be like, oh, what is that, my fellow murderers? That was crazy. <laughs> when I like switched the glass and you like did that little light thing, Karune, that was crazy. But I better make sure I don't run into the real Waruna. <laughs> We're so silly. We're so silly for doing that, for pulling that off. Uh, just girly Yoshiko's things, right? In the rest area, Waruna, the makeup room. And Kurene, the staff room, right? Okay, I want to go to the rest area first. Investigation. A perverted cross-dressing detective appears. How do I know which room is which, though? I'll talk to you. Please, wait. We've been directed to keep the students here until further notice. If you wander around, you'll look suspicious, so it's best to wait patiently and quietly. See. I guess there are friendly peacekeepers, too. He's just a jolly old guy. I can't. The theater go there. hall is currently closed off by Vice Director Martina of the Peacekeepers. All students okay. who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. You are to stay there as well. Okay, we're supposed to like just sneak in, I guess. To, like a back room or something, maybe. The back rooms. The pervert detectives roaming around. It's like one of these. I know theater hall. Okay, there's uh, stairs down here. Do you... Oh wait. What is up, my fellow woman? Oh, Maruna, did they let you go? So... Um, no, not yet. Oh, Sai, well, I hope they clear you soon. God, so many Kazuna voices in this... In this game so far. It's gonna be a new record, man. I kind of like pretending to be somebody. How much longer is this going to take? I'm so hungry, I'm, I'm about to faint. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have had a meat bun before coming. Oh, meat bun, oh, that, that brings up a memory of mine somehow, but I can't, I can't quite think about it. Nah, that's probably not important. I can't believe something like this would happen in the middle of a performance. I hope it's all solved quickly, but I don't even want to consider that Karumi might be responsible. Yeah. Karumi isn't the culprit, I just have to find evidence to prove it. Oh, thank you, someone unknown. Kadaka process of elimination, OC pervert detective. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like that, it'd be like that. Thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. Also, I don't think I missed anything else, right? Okay, good. I'm good, that's good. Okay, what's this right here? Seems important. Oh, hey, it's you, sussy girl. My hey. prime suspect. <laughs> mm? Mm. Yeah. Sad, hey. I bet. <sighs> she hears me, but Ew. she's ignoring me. We got beef. I knew they weren't on good terms, but I didn't expect the seemingly friendly Yoshiko to act this way toward her. Still, I need to get her to talk, or I won't find any clues. <sighs> I feel like it's like easiest to disguise as Yoshiko because she's so friendly and stuff, you know, that people would be willing to spill, but... Also, she's my prime suspect! Hey, Yoshiko. Why are you ignoring me? <sighs> <laughs> You're the one who told me not to speak to you. Mm. Huh? I did? <laughs> Come on, Yuma. It's unlike you Let's to act like real. this. 
Are you nervous? Mm. Anyway, stop talking to me. Go away. Oh, damn. It's no use. Oh, well. Ah, damn it. Do I need to disguise myself as the other girl? Hey, Waruna. Oh, shit. You handled that poisoning scene with Cotton really well. I fucking knew it! I fucking, ah! I fucking knew you guys were collaborating together. Huh? Or wait, is she accusing me? She might be accusing me. I don't want to see you around here again. Was that a compliment about Warren's acting? Maybe, actually, she might have just been accusing her of poisoning. But for a second, I was thinking that they were working together. You, you sly, sly dog, you. You sly dog. I, can't, I could see it meaning that, like, oh, wow, you did a really good job. <laughs> you did so good, sweetie. But I could also see it being like, you know, oh, you said not to talk to me because we work together and we don't want to be suspicious kind of thing. And then she's like, oh, you being genuine, like, oh, you actually did handle it really well. But I don't know. I feel like it's probably the first one, but we'll see. We'll see. No, there was probably just accusing me, but yeah. She indirectly accused Waruna of murdering Cotton. Damn. So Yoshiko believes Waruna killed Cotton during the duel. Oh, yeah, they all are going to have different opinions, aren't they? I thought you were gonna go in the room. Why else are you even dressed up like that? Yikes. Okay. Where is, um, what's this? Staff room? No, not the makeup room. No. And then the other one was this other, wait, 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 is this one? Okay, theater hall, underground storage. Somebody else in there. What's the, what was the other one? This is the makeup. And then this one was the staff room. I can't remember who was in the staff room again. You're so oblivious, Master. And a creeper, too. Oh, yeah, here she is. What do you want? Mm. Can't you tell I'm trying to blend into the wall as best I can right now? Oh, Jesus. Don't talk to me. Well, yeah, I was thinking she probably is working with whoever killed her. You know what I mean? Was it these two working together? I don't know. Um, it's about what happened. I didn't expect you to bring it up. Fine. There is something bothering me about it anyway. What's that? I watched the glasses get shuffled while I was above set. Ooh. Wasn't it slower than usual? W was it? Why did you go so slowly? Fucking size of the hell, girl! Um, I was just doing what I usually do. <laughs> you were so bad at acting. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Damn, everybody thinks I did it. Doing it like that makes it super obvious what you were trying to do, you know. Damn. Huh? <sighs> Whatever. They all think I did it? Jesus. Does she suspect something? Kurni thinks Waruna took advantage of the duel of poisoned cups to kill Cotton? Yikers! Kurni's locker. Club locker. Kurni's name tag is on it. Is she really just gonna let me look through her locker when she's like right there? Excuse me. That isn't your locker, is it, Waruna? Huh? Oh, you're right. We talked about this during our last meeting. Using someone else's makeup will lead to fights, so we aren't allowed to open other people's lockers. Okay, I'm gonna have to change into her later. Waruna, even someone like you has to follow the rules. I guess we'll probably end up being able to change into Sorry. every single person. Interesting. Man, I can't believe everybody thinks Don't I did talk it. To me. <laughs> I have nothing more to say to you. No. Guess that's about it from her, damn. Oh. What's going on? After this, I don't know if I'll be able to go on stage again. I'm so scared. That sounds about right. Sorry for the trauma, girl. Is there more back here too? Dang. So much stuff going on. Okay, there was like another room too. That was that was the makeup. This is the storage. Anything important in here? Oh, Waruna, what brings you here? Gonna intimidate them. Come on, Yuma. Sorry, I I'm busy cleaning up right now. Look at her. She sounds terrified of me. She's obviously afraid. Just be like, yeah. So it was me who killed <laughs> who killed her. I do wonder, yo, know, what happens if we talk to Lorna as her. I'm not telling you. Probably 
have like a game over or something. Um. <laughs> you look beautiful, girl. You look beautiful. Okay, that was funny. The first thing you've done that's been cute this chapter. <laughs> She's ignoring me. Looks like they're not on good terms. <laughs> oh my god, what a lovely dress. Oh, uh, you missed stuff in the locker room? I guess I can go back. I don't think I... Oh, wait. Water gun prop. Oh, Waruna. I'm cleaning that right now. You'll get... Um, I'd appreciate it if you could leave that alone. Oh, got it. Ooh. See, it looks very gun-like to be a water gun. She did eat. She did. I gotta say, that was the one time that I was very impressed with Shinigami. Um, oh, Karen's locker. It's a club locker. Cotton's name tag is on it. Man, they all got such nicer, such, so much nicer lockers than everybody else. I probably shouldn't open the lockers of people I'm not disguised as. I guess we can open up our locker at least. Waruna. And this locker has Waruna's oh, name on it. Danger! It, music it for seem life. To be Everyday music. She really loves music, doesn't she? Going through a high school girl's locker while claiming it's for an investigation is what a criminal would do. Oh my god, girl. I'm not a criminal. I'm a detective. Well, a trainee. It's crammed hey, with kinda. music and theater magazines. Huh? Is this a diary? Oh. But it's locked. I can't oh. open it. Can't imagine what kind of secrets are in there. I the don't tea. see a key. Then again, I don't really want to peek into a diary. Let's put it back for now. I don't think there are any other clues. Okay. Okay, you guys are seeing to talk to the people in the staff room? Hey, could we talk for a bit? <gasps> Warana! What's wrong? Um, well... She's really nervous around Warana. Maybe I can push her a little to talk. Oh, here we go. You should tell me if you notice something. Otherwise, I might get upset. Oh, Yuma, look at you! S sorry. Um, there was one thing I noticed. What was it? It's about Yoshiko. I wonder if she wasn't feeling well. Huh? Why do you say that? I watch from the audience and noticed Yoshiko arrived to the theater hall late. Yeah, I saw that yep. too. Yoshiko always watches from beginning to end, even for the rehearsal performances. Sussy. I wonder what could have changed that. What did she do after arriving late? Well, she sat near the right edge of the front row before the blackout. Mm. She was still there after the lights came on. I guess she got like kind of closer to the stage, so maybe she could have done something when the blackout happened. She didn't leave her seat once. She looked rather restless throughout the play. Right edge in the front row, and she looked restless. She definitely knows something. Yoshiko always watches plays beginning to end, but for this performance, she arrived late to the theater hall. Hey, can you talk right now? Oh, Warina. I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. She won't talk to me. She seems really afraid of Waruna. Okay. I don't know if it matters if I click on this locker or not, but just in case. Uh, um. Aww. There it is. It's a club locker. Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I probably shouldn't open- Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I'm not disguised as them. Okay, let's talk to these girls. Something the important, maybe? Oh! You know, whispering what y'all whispering about. Wait, it's Aruna. <laughs> oh, we gotta stop talking shit. <sighs> Sorry, I'll clean it up immediately. I haven't said anything yet. Waruna must be terrifying. At this rate, I doubt I can talk to them. Man, really? Dang. Everybody's so scared of me, Jesus. Um, do I still have to go into the other room? I don't know, I'm kinda confused because I thought I wasn't supposed to go into the makeup room at all. But, I don't know, I'm just gonna save in case, in case it gets mad at me. Cause I'm pretty sure, you know, she's in there. Unless I can just go back to Desuhiko and change again. 
but I'm kind of also curious to see what happens. Probably just like a game over, oh. but... Orno is in this room. I should probably stay away while I have this disguise on. Okay, I'll probably have to go back then. Let's go back! I wonder who should I do next? Maybe... Karune? Just because Yoshiko is kind of like in the hallway, so... I don't know if it'll be a big deal. A big deal to like be, you know, in front of her. Where are you, Dezu? Hmm. I feel like there's more to be discovered. Oh. Okay. Cool. I guess so. Interesting. I guess I'll maybe talk to some more people. I just didn't see any more, um... Like, you know, explanation marks besides that one room. I guess maybe I'll try to go behind and see if there's like another entrance or something. Oh, it looks like there is. I guess there's that big hallway too. I haven't gone there yet. Okay. Sussy. Oh, there she goes. It's the real Waruna. Fuck. It'd be trouble if we ran into each other. I should hide. Okay, there she goes. Yay! Is she heading to the restroom? Ahem. This is just me talking aloud. But this may be an opportunity to slip into that makeup room. Yep. You might be right, but it'd be terrible if I'm caught. I'm just talking to myself again, but if you don't grow a pair, you'll never become a full-fledged detective. J shut up! I'm just considering my options. <laughs> That's kind of funny to see Yuma as this girl. Okay, let's get in here. Dumb luck for the win, hey, yeah! Back already? Yeah. The quickest PA I've, I've ever seen something. in my life. Uh... Okay. I'm grooming my tail. Cleanliness is next people. to godliness. I'm scared. I can't believe I watched someone die. Ah, uh, you get used to it. <laughs> Where did Cut and Soul go? To the big, the big Walmart in the sky. The true culprit's soul is deep inside the mystery labyrinth. I don't know if we decided where the people in this game go yet. Only Kurane could do something this scary. Ooh. Kurane? I think it's Kurane. What makes you think it's her? Because I saw it. Kurane stole Karen's script oh. when it was left in the wings. Was she the one who dropped the script then? Huh? She ran off somewhere with the script. Isn't that suspicious? Kurine to Karen's script? Hmm. What does it mean? Is there a secret involving her script? Interesting. Lana, please stay by my <laughs> side today. I'm so scared I could die. Oh, uh, I'll think about it. Was it Seattle? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I think it was Seattle because it always rains. That was such a shock, right? Who would have thought Cotton would die on stage? Even though I hated her, seeing her die right in front of me makes me regret badmouthing her. Yoshiko has to be the one who did it, don't you think? Okay, she thinks it's Yoshiko. Yoshiko? What makes you think that? I thought you'd agree, Warna. Yoshiko is the only one who could do this. Cause she's a bitch! <laughs> she's fanatical about Aiko, though mm. she thinks nobody noticed. Okay, so she was like really close with Aiko, I guess? Aiko? That was Kurumi's close friends who committed suicide six months ago. So she could have been doing it for like revenge. Which reminds potentially. me, potentially, we snuck allegedly. into the school to seek out the truth behind Aiko's death to begin with. Maybe this incident has something to do with her death as well. Yoshiko never shows her feelings, so who knows what she's thinking? But I'm sure Yoshiko hated Karen. Karen got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died. After all, okay. Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. Well, I see. How's that for some expert reasoning? I see. Um, so, is it true that Yoshiko adored Aiko? Are you kidding me? Everyone could tell. It was that obvious. Warna, you're really dense when it comes to these things. But that's what makes you likable. <laughs> also, didn't you need to go to the restroom? Uh, uh, yeah, I already did. I better get out of here. It the real Warna might come back any second. Yeah. Thanks for talking so to awkward. Me. We're like bumping her anyway, on the way out. I need to go to the restroom <laughs> again. Oh Jesus! I'm like waiting for it. Open the door and see her right there. 
Oh my god. That was super quick, Warna. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, we almost ran into each other. That was close. That should be enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. Okay. So I guess, yeah, we swap out and do all the different girls. I think that's all the info I can get is Warana. People are afraid of her, so they don't really talk to her. But Yoshiko and Kurene both seem to suspect Warana. On the other hand, Warana's group of friends suspect Yoshiko and Kurene. Everyone suspects each other. Maybe everyone was on edge even before today's incident. But there's still no information that could lead me to the culprit yet. I should disguise myself as another student to get more information. Yeah. I'll head back to Desuhiko for now. Okay, cool. Uh, um, teacher? I need to go potty for the 15th time. Oh, what's wrong? You look pale. I'm sorry, but my student <laughs> appears to be feeling rather anxious. Say the same thing, same thing every time. How's the investigation going? Who do you want to disguise as next? Okay, um, I guess we can do Yoshiko. I want to disguise as Yoshiko. So, you want to be the star candidate of the theater club. She's known for being an honor student, right? So, you know all about her. Why do you think I wanted her on the school? Once I've oh. seen her face, I never forget it. Just leave it to me. We're playing as the backstabber. Oh, the waste bag? Oh, yeah. It was um it was her bag that I was talking about before. Author Academy World Detective. I guess not too much uh ones. Alright, that's perfect. In fact, I totally oh bang you right now. Oh if you're okay what with the that. Fuck? No, of course I'm not fucking okay with that! Hey, hold on! That's cool out of line. Holy shit! I'm a superstar detective. Social norms don't apply to me. I refuse to hold myself back. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, well, you can save the fun for later. What? Go investigate. <laughs> later? Helen, I'm getting a restraining order after this. Jesus Christ! Yoshiko is supposedly well respected. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope I can extract information from different theater members. Okay, yeah, choosing the bitch voice was definitely appropriate for Desuhiko, dude. Jesus! Be careful and avoid the real Yoshiko. Oh god. I miss you, Soda. <laughs> I miss you, Kazuichi. I think Yoshiko was in the rest area. We didn't know how good we had it. The makeup room. We just Kurene didn't know. Should be in the staff room. Oh my god. Dear God. Okay, I might run to the bathroom really quickly. I think I kinda wanna try to at least finish this part, but. It's been a very long time since, since I've gone to the bathroom, so I think I'm gonna do that really quickly. And I will be right back. Just uh, give me a second, and then yeah, we can finish it up. I don't know if I have anything, any characters I can prop up. Maybe Kaya? Whoa, Kaya, look at how cute you are. No, you're not really, you're not really staying, are you? <laughs> you're not gonna stay, are you? Dang. Um, there he goes. Talk to them, Kaya. Keep them entertained. Okay, I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Thanks, guys. Okay, <laughs> he's still simping for Cherokin. One day I'll replace him. Oh, he's so busted, dude. Oh, Kaya, you look so cute, too. Maybe I'll just leave him there. I leave Kaya for you guys, and all you care about is the chair. The disrespect. The disrespect to my best boy. <laughs> that was quick, Weeby. <laughs> That's so weird. You were just here, like, two seconds ago. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't trust the Weeby who comes back from the bathroom. She's Yuma in disguise. That was a kind of a really funny timing of going to the bathroom, wasn't it? <laughs> oh man, thank you, Wally. Sorry, I'm drop kicking Desuhiko now. I do not blame you for that one one bit. Thank you for being a member. Appreciate ya. That's kind of a funny time. You had to go to the bathroom, wasn't it? <laughs> that was fast. Oh yeah, I do need to play the Years to Die mini game. I um, I've heard of it. I just haven't really gotten around to uh, trying it out yet. But I'm not really sure. Man, when are they gonna release the last part though? I don't wanna be impatient, but I'm like, man, more minigames. <laughs> what about the last part? What about the last part? <laughs> okay, let's talk to her now. It's me. You managed it well. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? They all just accusing each other for no good reason? You're getting good at playing dumb too. Oh. <laughs> Are you practicing for the peacekeepers? What the hell? Does your family work for the peacekeepers or something? You really are the top actress after all. Jesus, there is so much drama between these. <laughs> Didn't you just accuse me disguised as somebody else a second ago? Are you talking about what just happened? You really want to say that so loudly? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry. I know how to keep a secret. I think y'all all did it. <laughs> she seems to believe Yoshiko is the culprit from the oh way she's god. talking. Oh my god. Is there something about Yoshiko that makes her think that? Jesus Christ. What the hell, dude? <laughs> they all think it's all of us. I'm so confused. Okay, let's get my little pink locker. It's a club I'm locker. So Yoshiko's name tag is on it. I'm just not like other girls. I should open it and search inside. Oh You're my god, I'm loving this chapter, young though. Girl's locker? What so you much drama. Totally psycho. I was stopping with it's the for the investigation. Give me a break. Yeah, whatever. Happy birthday. I hope it doesn't turn into a hobby. Wait, what say? Violence is no good or something. The script and makeup items are neatly placed. Huh? There's a glass in the back. It's Violence the same kind blank. that was used for the play. Okay, glass, same kind. Ooh, that's sussy. That's pretty suspicious. The violence of feelings even destroys the force as well as feeling? Huh. The hell is that supposed to mean? What is this doing here? Uh, same kind of glass that was used on stage in Yoshiko's locker. What else is there? Oh, there's a photo on the back of the door. Man, she seems a lot more suspicious than the other girl. We actually got some evidence. <laughs> it's a two-shot photo oh. of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the school's oh, uniform. Oh, probably is Aiko. Cause, oh yeah, she has the Ahoge and the same hairdo too. Who is she? Photo cutout of Yoshiko and another girl wearing the same uniform. That's about it for the things of note in this law. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we can talk to some of these girls who wouldn't talk before. Hey, do you have a moment? I want to talk about what happened. Oh, thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Boy, they will have a very kinky roleplay tonight. I'm not really sure who you're referring to. Are you, oh, God, are you talking about Desuhiko and Yuma? <laughs> Jesus. That was a lot. That, that was a lot from Desuhiko. Um, Yoshiko? Hmm? What's wrong? I don't know. I think they're still pretty young. I don't know Desuhiko or Yuma's age. I feel like I see everything. Some people say in 16, some people say in 19, some people say in 20. I don't know. I don't want to make any comments like that, though, on that. Uh, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> You're not going to talk to me either? She no. suddenly fell quiet. I guess I shouldn't question her You're anymore. Just in the gang. She looked like she wanted to say something, but maybe it's something she can't say to Yoshiko. Maybe she'll talk if I'm disguised as someone else. Aww. Oh, did the music? Oh, it did get louder. Ha! Huh, Lamau. I chose the wrong music. <laughs> My bad. Thanks for pointing that out. Yoshiko! Uh, what's wrong? 
Oh, it's not. Are y'all not gonna talk to me either? Really? Is there something they don't want you? I guess they're all just in the this girl's gang. Gang, gang. Somebody said, is it? I don't think their ages are in the profiles. I guess we can check, but. Nah, it's just birthday. Nah. Let's talk to this girl. Yoshiko! Why'd you leave me back there? Oh, here we go. Yes, finally a bestie. I was so scared. Those peacekeepers kept harassing me. They're the worst. Um, you're... <laughs> I watched from above the whole time. Oh. I saw Cotton die. Oh my god, lighting staff. I love you, girl. How are you handling this? Oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this. I'm so scared. Can we walk home together today? Please. Is she in love with me? <laughs> hey, if you were watching from above, does that mean you were with Kurene on the lights? I was. Why are you asking me this now? Um. Then tell me. Did Kurne do anything strange during the performance? Did she carry anything suspicious or do anything out of the ordinary? No. She was the same old unfriendly Kurne. Okay, same as usual. She came to the catwalk before the performance and was there the whole time until the incident occurred. Okay, dang. So she probably couldn't have done it. If well, she did anything out of the ordinary, yeah. I would have immediately noticed. Lighting requires perfect teamwork. Yeah, I feel like the only thing that really she could have done was like, just like, kind of do signals for the killer. Though to be honest, it feels really suffocating to be around her. Oh, I wish you were on the lights instead, Yoshiko. She is so in love with Yoshiko. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so traumatized right now. I really need to go on a date with you. Oh, uh, no reason. So Karine was just her usual self, huh? Yep. I never lie to you. Ah, uh, thank you, best friend lighting staff. There was nothing unusual about Karane during the performance. She went up the catwalk before the plane stayed there for the duration. Remember the duel of poisoned cups part, where they shuffled the cups? Could you see that part from above? Hmm? Yes, of course. Although the audience couldn't, I could see their hands moving from above. Okay. As part of the lighting crew, that was my important. most important scene, so it would have been a problem if I couldn't. Most important? Yoshko! You complimented me during the meeting about this, remember? How could you forget? I, th I really took that to heart. I thought you were in love with me. It's the scene where we shine the spotlight on the glasses after shuffling. Yeah, I was like, that. I feel like that is going to be important, uh, too. Oh, right. <laughs> that. Uh, how is it supposed to go again? It's the presentation where we use two spotlights. Kurene puts the spotlight on one of the glasses first, then I immediately put another spotlight down. Were you not watching? Uh, I was. I just remembered. You did an excellent job with the lights. Wow! <laughs> you complimented <laughs> oh my god! Me. I'm so <laughs> excited. I doubt I'll sleep at all tonight. Oh my god! This is the gayest shit I've ever seen. May we finally have that sleepover? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> She really is going full force with that. I need this sleepover tonight. I need it right now. Tonight. What if we just, you know, we just we're just hanging out. Maybe we just like kiss, you know? Just just girly things. It's just we're just girl, we're just friends, you know? Just, just friends. Trying out new things together. There's nothing. Nothing gay about that. There's something I need to do right now. Maybe another time. Oh my god. I love her. Both members of lighting crew could see how the glasses were being shuffled. Lighting crew is so gay. <laughs> Holy shit, that was so funny. <laughs> They're just really good friends, guys. Really, Aww. really, really good friends. Thank you, Demon30. A reminder, Shinigami and Desuhiko will pay for their comments. When they deal with each other in the mystery labyrinth, that is gonna be, oh god. <laughs> that is gonna be quite something to see, isn't it? Thank you, Nova CD, for Yuma the Crossdresser. Ugh, oh, thank you. He does look very excellent, doesn't he? He does. Thank you for the dono. Thank you, another professional. Damn, Yoshiko has more game than most of us. <laughs> it's literally Yuma as Yoshiko, too. Who would have thought? 
<laughs> she has got all the girls, man. All the girls falling for her. And thank you, Aether. Here's why Yoshiko might sound familiar. Her and uh, Hu Tao share a voice actor. Wow, lots of Genshin VAs and raincoats. Seriously, man. What is that, like the third or fourth character that uh, has a that shares a voice actor with Genshin? That's wild. Thank you, Dylan Petal. They could do an anime based on this chapter. It is really, it's really interesting so far. I do think I like this one a good bit better than the other ones so far. I don't know, I think it does take away from the experience when your main suspects don't have actual names. <laughs> it's like, oh no, is it priest or is it nun? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just so attached to both of them. Oh shit, ooh, here we go, here we go. It's about to go down. Can we have some time alone for a bit? Uh, she's probably pissed because I stole her girlfriend. I'm sorry, that lighting technician is my girl now. <laughs> you you wasted your chance, Haruna. Um, about what happened. Oh, uh, you know, I do hear it now that you pointed it out. How could you show your face here after murdering Kata? Oh, damn. Huh? You're not supposed to be here. Listen, the peacekeepers are everywhere. Hmm. So she thinks, so she thinks that Yoshiko did it. She's just like me for real. So stay away from me, got it? Murderers should just... Wait, who are you calling a murderer? You're the one who did it, bitch! Enough! Let's go for it. I have nothing to say to you. Shut up and get out of here! Damn. That was intense. I heard they were on bad terms, but maybe she's more on edge because of what happened? Yeah. On top of that, Warana thinks Yoshiko is the killer. Maybe there's a reason why she thinks that. So yeah, they both seem to think that the other is the killer. Interesting. Interesting! Uh, I love you, lighting technician. You will always be famous. Oh, My new favorite I NPC! <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and talk to some people, or try to. Oh, what should I do? I'm gonna get yelled at. What's wrong? Oh, Yoshiko, I'm so glad you're here. Is there a problem? Yes, well, we're missing a prop glass. Oh, oh it's in my locker! It's in this girl's locker! Mm. You mean for the stage? Okay. Yes, Sus. you're the one who prepared it for our play today. Oh, um, did I do that? Oh, maybe War Waruna thinks the poison was meant for her. I could definitely see that being the case. I know Waruna's voice. Oh, is she Eula's voice actress? Oh, wow, dang, there really is so much Genshin crossover, huh? wow. Did you forget? We originally planned to use wine glasses, but their thin stems break so easily. God, there's just so many characters in Genshin, too, that I feel like there's bound to be some crossover. <laughs> like, I was like, man, I feel like Genshin's, like, Infinity War for, like, voice actors. <laughs> like, I feel like it's just so many different characters, and, like, you know, I feel like it's just so many uh, popular voice actors that have been in it. So last time you bought four others, including the backups. Mm. Uh, oh! Right. That's so crazy. Two backups were on the prop shelf, oh. but there's only one of them now. Okay, now it's just the one that I took. Gone. There might have been more for a second. Updated. Could the glass in Yoshiko's locker be the missing one? Oh, uh, for sure. Speaking of, I want to ask if you're the one who set the glasses up on the stage. Yes, I was. Okay. Did you notice anything strange with the glasses at the time? No, they were spotless. We can't let anything happen to the glasses our actors use. I see. Thanks. Okay, the student in charge of props placed the wine glasses. They were spotless at the time. Okay. Seems good so far. <laughs> Shinigami. Um, no, get back in the dress! In that was so cute! Of... No, Shinigami, do it again! <laughs> you look so adorable in it. The costumes? You're acting like this is the first time we've met. Uh, no, no, I can never forget you, costume staff. Do you not remember me? Well, people call me the ghost member all the time. I'm here every Dang. day, but no one notices me. Well, at least I'm not as bad as Kurine. Kurine. But she stands out a lot when she's on stage. Could it be she acts a certain way so she doesn't stand out on purpose? What do you think, Yoshiko? Uh, 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 <laughs> not so 
Oh, sure. I love you, but he's, try he's trying his best. I don't know. That's so crazy. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Bye. She's quiet. Maybe she's not on good uh, terms with Yoshiko. We need a Kurene, I guess. A fellow loner. Is there something else I gotta click in here? Maybe this again? A gun? Oh, it's just a water gun. There's a hole on top for adding I was water. like, we already looked at this. That's the prop we used in our previous performance. You did a wonderful job. Oh, she used it. Thanks. Hmm. She shot the poison into, into the glass with the water. Oh my, is it really gonna be something that fucking stupid? Oh my god, okay. Wait a second, I'm thinking about it. Maybe Kurene, who was on the catwalk, she used the water gun and sprayed it. <laughs> she has perfect aim. She sprayed it into the wine glass that she wanted to poison while she was up there. Uh, perfect aim. <laughs> I don't know. That, be enough. <laughs> that is stupid, but I could see it being the case. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do. <laughs> Think about it, guys. Think about it. <laughs> I guess it would be pitch black dark. I think that's about all but the what else I can would the water gun be Yoshiko. used for? What else? What else? <laughs> People treat Yoshiko exactly like it was reputed. Everyone around her seems to trust her. <laughs> you guys are doubting me once again. That being said, this is just like Warren the drone umbrella. and Kurene seem to think Yoshiko is the culprit. Do they think she poisoned a rival to eliminate the competition? I guess they just all suspect each other. But I don't see her as someone who could kill. There was no info tying her to the murder either. <laughs> the ultimate markswoman. <laughs> I think I need to disguise myself as another club member and gather more information. Getting addicted to drag, are you? I don't think you're <laughs> about to win any races. Hey, fuck you! I look great! <laughs> you should have seen Desuhiko, man! <laughs> okay. Um, teacher. Oh god, I don't oh, want to know what comedy he's going to make this time. Are you feel Excuse me for a minute. This I do not How's want to know what comedy going? he's going to make. Who do you want to disguise as next? Okay, Kurane. I want to disguise as Kurane. Or Kurane. Hey, Kurane. Uh Hold on. I'm reviewing my mental high school girl album right now. Oh, found her. She's the one everyone calls distinctive. I don't know how society sees her, but she's right on the border of my strike zone. Dude, you have the broadest strike zone in existence. I think Yuma's on there. I bet he'd be happy with just about anyone. He'd probably enjoy getting hit by a dead ball if the pitcher was a girl. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, let's start. Yuma and Drag in Drag Race canon. Grane's Kurene's favorite tune. She recently got into heavy metal choir. Heavy metal choir? Looking forward to an upcoming death metal choir. What? Never even heard of that before. It probably is a thing, though. All the screamo, like, harmonizing with each other. Be interesting. Hurry up with the investigation. I'm getting way more tired than I expected. If I stop concentrating, my disguise will wear off. All right, I'll make it quick, so please hold down the fort for just a bit longer. I'm counting on you. Kurene is often alone. I wonder if I can get any information from the others. She does seem anyway, to have her little squad, I'd though. I better make sure I don't run into the real Kurene. Uh, Yoshiko is in the rest area. Waruna the main staff room. <laughs> Investigation start. Okay, so it seems like this is gonna be the last bit of investigation. God, her bow is so big. Oh my god, you're looking like a Minnie Mouse out here, girl. Quite the look. Quite the look you got going on there. Who am I to judge? Okay, I wonder what Yoshiko is gonna say. I know she has beef with the other girl, but is she gonna be nice to us dress as this girl too, maybe? Um. Uh, oh god. No, sorry if I scared you. I want to talk about what happened. <laughs> Desuiko, please continue suffering! <laughs> Y'all are savage in chat. Yoshiko? <laughs> oh. Uh, you really just gonna accuse every girl you see? She won't even look at me. Okay, maybe she just believes that... 
I don't know, I still feel like Yoshiko is the most like prime suspect for this case. Besides the water gun theory with Kurene. <laughs> Which I do love. I do love and stand by it. <laughs> Probably not. It's so stupid that it can't be true. I hope it's not true because that would be really, really stupid. But um, I was going to say, oh yeah, I feel like she is the most likely suspect. Just because, yeah, it kind of seems like she wants to get revenge. And maybe she thinks that like... All of us other girls had to do with Aiko's death, which is why she's so, like, standoffish and stuff towards us. Maybe she's still in shock from the incident? Or does she treat Kurune like this all the time? Hey, Yoshiko. Can we talk? Absolutely not. I will not speak to you. I told you it'd be this way. Huh? As I've said before, I refuse to even look at you. Okay. I guess, actually, it could be she thinks that... Um, the other girl, I keep wanting to call her Winona. Oh my god. <laughs> but, we're in a, ah, oh crap. Not Winona. <laughs> I, ah, why can't I think it? why can I, oh, why do I always get her name wrong? We're in a, or something. She thinks she killed, um, Karen, but she thinks this girl killed Aiko, is what I think I'm picking up on. Please, go away. She really hates Kurene. Is there a reason why? I better leave for now. I feel like that's probably the case. Waruna, why I always my brain just always goes to Winona. Wario. You're still not done. Surprise I haven't said that yet. Honestly. Do you want something? I'm just oh, yeah. so cold. I think I do. I feel like it probably isn't gonna be the girls that I've already talked to. So probably this girl. She's gonna be besties. Oh, hello, Kurene. Is something the matter? Huh, she's actually willing to talk. Maybe she's on good terms with Kurene. Loner weirdo, just like me for real. Oh, great timing. I was investigating what just happened. You mean to practice for a role? You did say you wish to play a detective someday. That's amazing, Kurene. Oh my god, another gay. You truly are a thespian. Are you gonna be gay for Kurene? Oh my gosh, just like, just gay vibes for every investigation. Right. So, there's something that's bothering me. What is it? I just handle the costumes, but is there something you want to know about them? Maybe you think the actors on stage could have hidden poison in their costumes. Mm, maybe. No, sorry. That'd be impossible. Why do you say that? No pockets. Because I reviewed both costumes in the wings right before the performance started. <laughs> These girls, they they became thespians, but they thought they thought the word was lesbians. <laughs> that was definitely how Lighting Girl became a theater kid. She was like, oh my god, lesbians? Sign me up. That is so me. Oh wait, what do you mean it's thespians? <laughs> what do you mean thespians is the actual word? <laughs> if they were carrying anything, I would have noticed then. But what about after you checked? Like if they'd gone to the restroom or somewhere else. Then I would check again. Besides, both of them were in the wings the whole time. Okay. Oh, so really? nothing hidden. Though they were performing the whole time, so I haven't checked their hmm. costumes since the play began. Well, if they were here the whole time, they couldn't go grab the poison. If that's the case, it would have been difficult for Warana or Cotton to bring poison on stage. Water gun theory, baby! It's pointing more and more towards it every second. Oh man, it's gonna be like a new trend. I just come up with a really stupid theory <laughs> every investigation. The costumes were given a final check in the wings right before the performance. It would have been impossible to hide something under them. By the way, Kurene, I still need to organize the costumes here. If you're free, could you help me out? It's hard to do it alone. Okay. Sorry. I'm a little busy right now, so I'll come back after I'm free. I guess you don't want to talk to me. Aw. I'm sorry so for sad. bothering you while you're busy. And she's so timid. I'll be waiting. I want costume staffs, trauma dump. What happened to her? <laughs> Lesbians, where do I sign up? <laughs> Why didn't she tell me sooner? Now maybe I get more information from the gun again? Um, I'm still in the middle of cleaning up. Can you not touch anything? Oh my god, she hates me. Oh, s sorry. Okay, that was it? Cool. Oh my god, let's talk to lighting staff again. <laughs> my fave girl. My best girl. Oh no! Oh, actually, yeah, Kurene's in there. Damn it. 
<laughs> that was close. Oh, that looks so funny. Kune, but I need to check inside. <laughs> she got me I'll laughing. Just wait for her to leave. And me too. <laughs> wow, dumbass. That was a close one. Okay, fine. I'll go in here first. <laughs> I totally forgot she was in there. Damn it. I want to talk to lighting staff. What are you doing here? Go away. Uh, hold on. I just want to Oh my to... gosh. She's just really hot-headed, isn't she? Just by being here, you're a nuisance. Damn. Don't you get that? F fine. She really hates Corinne. Corinne she hates everybody. Right. These two really don't get along. It's draining just pretending to be Corinne. I wonder if she's not affected by all this. I thought okay. you were gonna go in the room. Why else are you even dressed up like that? Is that the only entrance to this room? Dang. I think that's the only way. Do I just, is he just gonna do that again though? Corinne should be here. I have to wait for her to leave before going in. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna walk around some. Trigger the cutscene maybe. Do 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 So much drama, so much pain, so much drama going in the high the school theater hall game. is currently closed off by vice director. All students who are at the scene are to remain in the lower level. Okay. Really? I wonder where else I go. Maybe I just need to talk to some of these other girls. Whisper, whisper, whisper. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sussy bakas. The dress area? The dressing room? That was kind of the storage room. This is legit the Spider-Man meme anime edition. <laughs> Basically is. Basically. Okay, go back and talk to the designer girl. Corine, you help me organize the uh, okay. costumes? We just gotta waste time, I guess. Help organize the costumes? Wait, if I can use her to my advantage. Ah, <sighs> taking advantage of a high school girl. You've really hit rock bottom. Oh no, Jello. I was stuck on this for 30 minutes. I can see why. It's not very intuitive. Well, will you help me? I wanted to have a little chat with you, too. Dang. Costume staff is like, she is going through it. I'm busy. Come get me from the staff room later. Oh, smart, smart. Well, I'll help out later. So can you grab me from the staff room? Just grab me in like five minutes. Later? Count to 100 in your head. I'll be done with what I need to do by then. Smart, right. Yuma. Well, I'll start counting now. I mean, here I thought we were about to get like a free time event with costume staff. I was like, One, yes, the trauma dump. Two. Oh, God. Three. <laughs> Oh I god, these right girls now. are so down bad. They are so down bad, man. It's time for a date night! I counted to 100, Karen. <laughs> Sounds so lame! Huh? What? What's going on? Ah, <laughs> uh, young love. So beautiful. Alright, good. I'd better check the staff room while I can. Okay. Yay! Nice. I think this other lesbian hates me, though. As much as I love her, Let's I love you, lighting staff. Hey, do you have a minute? No! It's okay, fine. I already have another girlfriend anyways. It's fine. You can hear me, can't you? <laughs> Damn. I saw what you did with that water gun! She's ignoring me. I guess she's not gonna talk. Okay. Who did I? Was it these girls that I haven't talked to yet? Two theater club members are whispering to each other. They haven't noticed me. Oh, we can actually listen because uh, we blend in. Maybe this Corinne disguise has made me less conspicuous. So, who do you think killed Cotton? It has to be Warana, right? Totally. It's gotta be her. She can never read the room, you know? Like, she doesn't see the other members as people. Mm, everybody does seem to hate her. We're all just stepping stones to her. She thinks she's the main protagonist or something. Oh my god, stepping stones of hope? She basically treats everyone like side characters. Oh my god, Nagito Kenny? Oh, slay. I know what you mean. She wouldn't think twice about killing people. 
They're talking about Warna behind her back. The theater club really is on edge all the time. Yeah, they're talking about it like it's some hot gossip. Oh my god, do you know who killed her? But even if Waruna was the Spill culprit, queen. how did she get cut in to drink the poison? Well, it's gotta be at that one part. The part in the script where Warna gets mm. closer to the shelf? Oh, right after the blackout. It's the scene where she gets the plate, right? She could have secretly snuck in some real poison and added it to the glass or wine bottle. That's it. Waruna mm. is totally the culprit. Look at this investigation. The scene where Waruna approaches the shelf. I guess it is pretty suspicious. I like how nobody like trusts uh, Martina's investigation whatsoever. They're like, yeah, so that girl definitely, that def that girl definitely knew jack shit. Although she was very hot. <laughs> Could she have added the poison then? In the upside down glass on the shelf? Okay. There is one scene in the story where Aruna approaches the shelf. Huh? You don't get it? Okay. Let's go to her. God, her locker looks like shit. <laughs> All the little stickers are ripped off. Somebody bullying you, Kurene? It's a club locker. Kurene's name tag is on <laughs> it. Yeah, they're literally talking like, Oh my god, I heard she barfed up blood until she died. Oh my god, T, girl! <laughs> it doesn't seem to be tea. locked. This Kurene gal seems the type who'd booby trap her locker. I heard of Warren, I was the one who did it. Oh my god, spill. <laughs> okay. Hmm? What's this? Ooh. It looks like eye drops. There are so many of them, though. Well, I feel that my eyes are dry, too. Some but could there actually be like a dry poison eyes. in one of those? Is this something Kurene usually uses? Doesn't seem like there's anything else of interest. Weird. Sussy eye drops added. Nah. <laughs> Guess not. Oh, Kurene. When did you get here? This reminds me. Thank you oh. for what you did. Okay. Uh, for what again? <laughs> I saw you shoot the water again. <laughs> okay, I'll drop it. You know, how you inspired me with the presentation on stage. Uh, oh, for that one scene, right? You are such a good amnesiac. You have a knack for playing along with no memory. Yeah, the part with Lots the overlapping practice. spotlights after oh. the glasses get shuffled. It expresses how the two characters' fates are intertwined. It was Smart. all thanks to you that we decided to go with this presentation. Mm, I bet it does mean something. I think so. Karine. Why don't you take over stage direction for our next performance? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Just to confirm, I was the one who suggested the lighting presentation on the glasses? Yeah? <laughs> I'm... What's wrong? Yeah. You're acting kind of strange today. <laughs> you don't remember literally doing that? <laughs> no, I'm not. It was Kurene's idea to shine the spotlight in the wine glass after the shuffling scene. I guess there's not much else we can find in the staff room. We better leave before Kurene comes back. Yep, yep, yep. Just waiting to bump into one of them right when I leave. That okay, be cool. Dee 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 dee. Spotlights. What did Kurene do? You know what she did. <laughs> Okay. That's all the information I can gather while disguised as Kurene. She put tea into the water gun. Kurene seems a bit and she eccentric, spilled it. But she doesn't draw a lot of attention to herself. I was able to get some information thanks to that. Kurene was focused on production this time. She was thinking about the lights presentation. The lights were managed properly during the play. It doesn't seem like she had a chance to use any poison. I was able to gather more intel by disguising myself as those three, but I still don't have any definitive evidence that proves who the culprit is. I won't get much further just thinking about it, so I should go to Desuhiko for now. Okay. We will see. <laughs> There's really that emote, though. <laughs> I'm drinking tea right now. I mean, I kind of do want some tea right now. After listening to all this tea, all this Karen tea. Um, excuse me. Where's the teacher oh. who was here earlier? What happened to him? Oh, she wasn't feeling well and went to the administrative office. 
The same teacher keeps going back to the restroom, too. Maybe uh, it's food poisoning. I see. Thank you. The office? Why at a time like this? Yikers! Okay, let's see. What are you doing, you sussy baka? Okay, yeah, he's just feeling sick. D D Desuhiko? What happened? I wanna lock the door, dude. Oh, it's you, Yuma. Sorry. I need a break. I started getting dizzy, so, uh, I ran in here to get away from everyone. I try to retrieve my disguise tools, but I can't. I'm at my limit. I can't move. You're that fatigued? Yeah. Now that I think about it, oh, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Did I get kind of trapped here? Sorry for making you go through so much trouble. I feel like it might be better to wait in like a restroom stall though, but I don't know. I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder on the way here, so really, I should be thanking you. <laughs> That's the farthest I've ever made it. That's like third base, right? <laughs> I got plenty of good sniffs in. You're so gross, Desuiko! The more he talks, the less likable he gets. <laughs> oh, God. So, how'd it go? Any trouble investigating? Jesus, Desuiko. About that, I gathered some information, but I'm lacking something more definitive. What is it? What is up with him and this sniffing thing? Everyone has something suspicious about them, so I don't know who the culprit is yet. Speaking of which, the peacekeepers mentioned a past incident that happened at this school. A past incident? You know, the one with Kurumi's best friend six months ago? The girl who fell from the school's roof and died. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said, okay, Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. That's so good. The peacekeepers want to pin Kurumi with a murder motive for that incident. They're going to twist oh, the wow. truth into something that's convenient for them. Yikes. We're going to blame that on her, too? Jesus. That's pretty wild. Oh, my God. I thought they already, you know, labeled as a sewer slide, but I don't know. I guess just they want to make sure nobody nobody thinks anything else otherwise. You'll save her, won't you? Hero. I'm no hero. But if they want to distort the truth, then as a detective, I can't let it slide. <laughs> And that's how you see it, and you're already a hero, Yuma. There's still time if you hurry. Go and seek the truth that hasn't reared its head yet. But how? The guy snooping around about the first incident is a chubby peacekeeper. Mm. Get information out of him and figure out what they're trying to suppress. Okay. They won't tell me so easily. Hold on. There is one way it could be possible. Can I change again to a peacekeeper? Disguise. Oh, yes! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I don't even care if it's the right answer, baby! <laughs> I want to be my queen! My queen! If I disguise myself as Martina, he'll talk to me, okay? Come on, come on, let's slay together, chat. Let's it's slay it. together! I can get that information if I'm disguised as Martina, Hell yeah. the vice director of the Peacekeepers. Yes, I get to be hot! Looks like you now understand the power of disguises. Well then, oh my God. let's get started. I am so ready. On second thought. Wait, no. Sorry. I don't cannot. have any energy left to disguise you. You cannot dangle Martina in front of me like that. Huh? I think I'll recover if I take a nap. What do I do? There's no time to wait for Desuhiko. I need to find Kurumi immediately. It'll be too late if I wait until the peacekeepers end their investigation. But I can't force Desuhiko to do a half-hearted disguise. It'd be way too dangerous with the peacekeepers. What am I supposed to do? Uh, aren't you forgetting about a certain ability? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We get to hold... Okay, that's he go. Hold my hand. God, he might start getting the wrong idea, actually, since I'm dressed like this. Oh, that's right. What? what? Don't yell out of nowhere. The peacekeepers will find us. Hey, Desuhiko, can you lend me a hand for a little while? Uh, lend a hand? <laughs> yeah, I just need you to hold my hand for a bit. So like, oh, my God, is this, is this fourth base? Are you serious? But... Right now, you're disguised like a girl. I knew his What if I start to have feelings? <laughs> Jesus. Then that means you're gay. Now's not the time for jokes. Hurry, please. 
Jeez, what's going on? Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> what is this weird feeling? Oh, Jesus. Is this? <laughs> am I am I in love? Oh my god, this is the first time I've ever held somebody's hand before. Oh god, it smells just like I thought it would. Love? Oh god. No. It's a long story, Jesus. but it's the forte I gained in exchange for my memories. Just holding hands will allow me to use another person's forte. Are you serious? You actually have a forte? Let me borrow your disguise tools. Ah, uh, how does yes. it look? Oh my god. Wow. I'm in love. That's the perfect disguise. Did you really do this, Yuma? You never told me you had such an amazing power. I'm surprised there was a peacekeeper uniform in your bag. You're so well prepared, Desuhiko. Wait, but <laughs> we're holding hands. <laughs> How'd you put your arm through the sleeve? Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> I just figured it out. Anyway, the disguise is over, so we can let go now. You said a chubby peacekeeper was investigating the past incident? I'm going to go talk to him. And with that perfect disguise, there's so much more you can do. <laughs> right. You stay here. You're right. Watch. I'll resume the investigation. Weirdo. Oh man, that's so cool! Oh, I get to play as my queen. My queen who's done nothing wrong. Oh, there was something about Ico. Dang, I missed it. Oh my god, I gotta save this so I can come back to it whenever. <laughs> whenever I need to, baby. Oh yes, slay, slay, slay. We're about to slay. Oh my god, is her picture gonna come up too? We're the last one that'll be the easiest, easiest one to remember. No, Desert Hiko, leave! I need I need my queen there. Not you. Oh gosh, it's fine. What other spots are suspicious? Oh, no reason to go this way. I'll check elsewhere. Okay, I was just trying to. Ethereum Academy. Ugh. Oh. Karen's weakness. Dislike sounds and flashes of thunder and lightning. Quick to hide in her room at the mere hint of rumbling. Interesting. Cheerful, full of energy, had many friends. Enjoy transforming into a completely different person through acting. And wanted to try many different roles. Okay, those seem to be the new ones. I don't know if they really utilized Karen's or... <laughs> I'm totally butchering her name. Butchering her name at this point. Like, I'm not even trying anymore. Man, I actually was gonna quit just because I'm like starving. But I get to play as Martina, are you kidding me? This is so epic. I cannot, I cannot not continue playing. Yes, it is I. Allow me to step on you, peasants. Oh, you must be the peacekeeper's vice director. What are you doing at this, what are you doing at the school? Mm -hmm. There could be trouble if someone gets too close to the investigation. I should try to keep her yeah. out of it. I'm inspecting the school as a precaution. Keep quiet and stay out of the way. Right, my my apologies. I might have gone a little too overboard there. God, she is so tall. Look at those legs. Putting Tagami to shame, man. To shame. I wonder, I guess, do I need to investigate outside, actually? Or is it um the roof that I need to investigate? Not actually sure. I guess he'll tell me. I know that one spot. You know, where she sure fell is probably important, right? Well, I don't know. I thought I was supposed to go this way. Fine, we can go upstairs. I can still talk to people, too. Aww. Oh. Oh, hey, he kind of looks like a uh, what's his face? He's yelling, too. He's got that uh, seaweed head thing going on. Oh, whoa, wait. Is there something on there? For now. First, I have to get the whole story from someone who would know the details of the incident. Where'd they say the chubby peacekeeper was? Uh, Y'all are not roasting my queen for the way she walks, are you? She walks perfectly. She's literally amazing. She's never done anything wrong in her entire life. Let me borrow your disguise. Oh, wait, I didn't tools. mean to play that. Moving power. Did they say where he was? Or they just say he was a chubby peacekeeper. I think that was all they really said. Was he was investigating the other one. And that was basically it. I think so. Now yeah, whatever. It's like, is there a, what is that in there? Is that a drone umbrella? 
Oh my god, the drone brill is back, baby! Chemistry lab. Mm. Chemistry prep room. It's possible something was taken out of here. Pardon me, Miss Martina. Do you still have business in the chemistry prep room? Mm. Still. Seems she's already checked this place out, so I better not arouse suspicion. <laughs> No, I was just checking the lock. We don't want students getting in and making a mess. Keep an eye out and ensure there are no suspicious students. Yes, of course! Okay, well, I guess I can't go in there, but it's like, it kind of looks like I could talk to somebody in there. I guess I'll just keep going upstairs. She walks fine! Nothing wrong with her at all. How dare you? How dare you? The drone brill is the culprit. I always knew it. I really can't go in here. That sucks. For now. Okay, I guess I'll just have to do that later. Who can I talk to? I don't know if I can really talk to anybody up here. Maybe I should go back downstairs. Well, oh hey, there's something here. Look down. I see. The entrance has been designed to resemble a stairwell. Since the incident, nobody has been able to come in or out. The students around the entrance look uneasy. Yeah. I have to solve this case quickly and save Karumi. Okay, there's somebody down here, it seems like, at least. Try to talk to you. What's up, man? Are you chubby? Hey. No. Do you have a moment? I'm looking for someone. Vice Director Martina! Who are you searching oh. for? Crap, I don't know his name. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta try to be as careful as I can while saying this. I need to phrase this carefully. <laughs> the chubby one. You know, the, the chubby chubster. <laughs> the chubby, the chub chub. Um, uh, um, Martina? <laughs> you know, the one who investigated the incident here a while back. Ah, oh, him. He said he was heading to the gym. Um, I'm aware he's something of a handful, but could you at least remember his name? <laughs> Alright, I'll think about it. <sighs> Maybe not be so rude. Okay, do we know where the gym is? What is this? Random place. She does kind of walk. Okay, now I'm kind of, I'm kind of with y'all. She does kind of walk weird. It's like... She reminds me of like those memes where like <laughs> I don't know, like there's like the schoolgirls like walking all dainty, you know? It's <laughs> kinda what she reminds me of. Does it say where the gym is? I don't know. The chunk, the big chunk, you know? Okay, broadcast room. Is this the theater? What other spots okay, are- Okay, no, yes, the theater. It's gotta be like a big room, probably on the first floor. Pretty sure he's outside. They said he was in the gym, though. Then she got me got mad at me when I went outside. Let me just check over here first. Actually, can I talk? No, I already talked to you. The attack on time? Yes! No, it is! Oh god, I think that's what I'm thinking of actually more so. Is the attack on Titan run. That is it, like some of those Titans that walk that way. Oh, man. Um, where is the gym? Is it outside? That's what one of y'all said. Well, I'll try it. We'll just tighten run over there. As we should. As we should. I guess it could be, like, in a different building or something, too. Oh, wait, there's a person over here. Do you know where the gym is, man? Vice Director Martino, what are you doing here? No. I'm in need of the files for that past incident. Do you know who has them? No, I'm afraid I don't. I see, I'll ask someone else. Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Anything this way? The pervert detectives wrong. This guy looks so suspicious. Oh, wait! The chubbers! The chubsters! The chunk! The chonk! You there. Do you have a moment? Vice Director Martina! Oh, it is, is it him. Time for my punishment? <laughs> oh no, are you gonna step on me? No, stop it! Let me just let me just lay down on the floor here. No, stop it! Don't step on me. I would hate that so much. <laughs> punishment? He is just like me for real. Anyway, were you the one investigating the Ico case half a year ago? Yes, that's correct. Is it time for my punishment? <laughs> I need to confirm a few things. Um, <laughs> Can you tell me what you've discovered so far? He keeps bringing that up! Gladly! <laughs> but is it time for my punishment? 
Aiko's body was discovered behind the school building in the flower bed after class. She was bleeding from an injury to her head. This is believed to be the cause of death. The body was not wearing shoes on either foot. I like his voice. The shoes were then discovered on the roof of the school building, set together neatly. Neatly? This is why it was deemed this a suicide via jumping off the roof. But now we got somebody to blame for it. So is it time for my punishment now? Please, please, Mommy Martina. <laughs> Oh god. Thank you, Dylan Petal. It's it's punishment time! He wishes. <laughs> oh Here's man. Here's a photo from the scene. He wishes. Okay. Cool. Oh, and the shoes too. Who They're already kinda discovered dirty. The body? Let's see. It was a student named Colin. Oh. Another theater club member. Of course it was Karen. Of course. Makes sense. Sounds about right. Huh? Cotton? She heard something fall and went to check the flower bed. There she discovered Aiko on the ground. I was gonna say the boots being dirty too does make me think that like they killed her, then they just took her shoes and put it up on the roof. That like why are they already covered she in testified. dirt? Aiko was considered the star of the theater club, but apparently she worried about her future goals. And don't worry, I got all the tea. And by the way, this is the last photo of Aiko prior to her oh, death. Okay, that was the one that uh, Yoshiko had. So this is Aiko. New key, after school, Aiko's body was found in the flower bed behind the school. Peacekeepers deemed it was a, su a sewer slide. Fia jumping off the roof. Not anymore. Last photo of Aiko before her death. Oh yeah, updated. Photo of Yoshiko and Aiko. Appears to be the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. Mm, okay, they were all besties before, weren't they? So they can kind of see like the red bow off the side a little bit, but not anymore. I see. Not anymore. Thank you for the report. Continue your investigation. It does seem like Karin would be like the most likely to kill her, so I could see um, Yoshiko killing Karin because she thinks she killed Aiko or something. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. But... <laughs> What about my punishment? I kind of want to know, what's the punishment? I, I need to know. <laughs> I need to know, what is this punishment you keep bringing up? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone. No, that's not the punishment, Miss Martina. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, that, that was it. Okay. Thought she was going to, like, kick him in the balls what's or something. What's the punishment for <laughs> Anyway, I got what oh, I came God. for. Oh, God. I should keep investigating. But where to go? <sighs> Hey, uh, what are you doing? Okay, finally doing something. Try it out. Lab. Why are you getting in the way of my investigation? Oh wait, the chemistry lab. Besides, where would she even get poison from? Man, his wig was so stiff, man. It is just constantly in that position. That Ms. was Martina, me crazy. This was discovered in the chemistry lab. Look at it. Just like That's completely right. like that the whole the time. The bottle of poison used in the murder was found there. <laughs> well, I'm here anyway. Might as well check it out. Okay. Might as well. Oh wait, I still can't go in here. Oh no, I can't. Okay, cool. Please, this. Oh, is it um? Yay! A memory shard. I was like, it's either a drone umbrella, a drone or a memory shard. I didn't see who it was for though. Eyedropper. Their eyedroppers oh. used in the lab, hmm. but they still look new. Oh man, that's connected to Kurene's weird eyedrop obsession. Weird. How is that connected? Eyedropper typically used in scientific experiments. It doesn't appear to have been used. She could have put the poison in there and then dripped it in there with it. I don't know. Weird. But why would she do that when she has a perfectly good water gun? I just don't understand. It doesn't make sense. Wait. There's a paintbrush near the chemical shelf. The tip of the brush is wet. What is this? Oh, it was for Halara. Nice. Paintbrush found next to the chemistry shelf in the chemistry lab. Detective points, plus 10. Okay, medicine bottle. This is the bottle of poison discovered by the peacekeepers that was used for the murder. They'd taken it out for the investigation. Did they put it back because they were done? I guess so. The report mentioned I mean, the bottle's lid yeah, was sealed. Isn't it uh kind of useless now? Why do they the have poison just straight up in here anyway? 
Taking this to the theater hall would attract attention. If that's the case, maybe its contents were poured into another container. Okay. According to the label on this bottle, this chemical will react to oxygen in open air, rendering it harmless 30 minutes after the bottle is unsealed. What if they could put it in something and then reseal it? I don't know if that would be... Eh, probably not. Oh, there's a too more detailed description about it here. It's probably just yeah, trying to say that the murder happened within like 30 minutes. Once opened, oxidation cannot be stopped. Uh, okay. Transferring to another sealed container will not prevent this well, process. Well, <laughs> that answers that, I guess. I was like, some people have like those little, you know, sealers or whatever. The poison from the chemistry lab. The bottle's lid was unsealed. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I not talk to you? I guess not. Medicine. Bo oh wait, no, I already this did that. Is... Okay. Anything else in here? Oh wait, there's this guy I can talk to, right? What's up, peacekeeper? You also Vice want director. a punishment? Was there something insufficient about our investigation? Had you told me, I would have verified myself. I, I, am I gonna get a punishment? Thank you for your diligence. Tell me, do you have the results from testing for poison? Yes, as I've reported to you already. The poison was only found on the victim's glass. Only the victims? What about the bottle or the other glass? None. No traces have been found on those. And as you've instructed, this information is currently being kept from the official report. I see. Good work. The uh, poison wait. was only on Cotton's glass? How was that possible? Okay, interesting. Only on Karin's glass, but I don't think they could have. This was like right before they put. I don't know, because I feel like there was something with the glasses to where like it couldn't really make sense. The bottle of the other glass. Huh, that's weird. I guess it would make the most sense to just lace the glass. It just felt like they were like kind of going so far against it, being like, well, they couldn't have done it because blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But I did kind of originally think that would be the most likely case. Poison was detected in the glass held by the victim, but the other glass had no such traces. Poison was detected in or on the wine. No poison was detected in or on the wine bottle. There's probably not much else that can be checked in the- But it sure is convenient being disguised as Martina. <laughs> the peacekeepers keep telling me everything. They keep wanting me to step on them, too. I should have so taken strange. this disguise from the start. Maybe I should keep investigating in this form. Hmm. What else should I look at? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Drag. <laughs> Nobody asking why Martina looks so weird there? Like, yeah, whatever. We just, we're not gonna, we're not gonna ask. They're too scared. Too scared of the brilliant, beautiful, perfect Martina. Man, we've been going for almost an hour and a half. That's wild. The staff room? I think I already checked everything in there. No, I didn't check everything. There oh, are lockers yeah. I haven't searched yet. Would the staff have done anything? I guess there might like try to cover up for one of the students if they're related to like uh, the peacekeepers or something. It kind of seemed like Yoshiko maybe was. Now that I'm disguised as Martina, I could look through everything. <laughs> so salty, Shinigami. So salty. <laughs> yes, it is I, Martina. Okay, you got a simp for me, light technician girl. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I know you're gay as hell. Look at Mart. Look at her. Look at her. Simp. Simp before me. <laughs> Can I have a word? I'd like you to tell me what you saw during the play. Um, sure. All I know is this. Mm. I think I haven't already heard, huh? Thank you. Stay in this room until instructed otherwise. Understood. Ah, oh, yes. Simp before Don't my very presence. Like Presence. Okay. Probably no. nothing really from these girls. To the moment, I'd like to tell you. I'd like you to tell me what you know about the incident. All right. And that's all. Mm. Nothing seems. Okay. I don't think these girls are going to be very helpful. Karani's locker. Uh. Yeah, it's Karani's. Karani's locker. Seems like there's nothing noteworthy in there. I guess I can talk to her, maybe? I've already looked through all the lockers, Do so. you have a moment? Does anything stand out about what happened? N nothing in particular. <laughs> hmm. 
She's so quiet. <laughs> really? That was it? Oh my god. That was so pointless. Oh, Karin's locker. We can look in here now. It's a club locker. Karin's name tag is on it. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? I yes. Oh. Oh, script. Huh? There's something on the floor. I thought it's somebody stole the script. The play. somebody else's script. Cotton's name is written on the cover. There okay. are tons of handwritten notes. A lot of effort yeah. was clearly put into this. That's sad. And then she died to it. Hmm? There's something written in red at the Duel of Poisoned Cup mm. scene. Take the glass, the spotlight hits first. Oh! I knew it was going to be something like that. Cotton must have written this. The handwriting is the same as the rest. Okay. Interesting. Oh, she's staring at me. Mm, oh, girl. Sussy. A script with a written note that says, take the glass, the spotlight hits first. Knew that was going to be important somehow. She definitely looked away just now. <laughs> you suspicious. So suspicious. I want to talk to you again, girl. Bow before me. Uh, are you the one who shoved Cotton's script into her locker? Oh. What are you talking about? I have an eyewitness account of you taking Cotton's script. Oh, shit. <sighs> uh, we don't. <laughs> are you hiding something? If you keep hiding it, you'll be sorry later on. Don't tell me you're also hiding the chemical used in the murder. Uh, I'm not, I swear. She's definitely hiding something. Yeah. I don't think I can get anything out of her. We gotta change again into the costume girl. <laughs> you should pat her down and search her. Mm. Huh? And we do have that authority, but it does kind of feel weird. Must suspect everything. You get to fondle a high school girl. Jesus. Being the pervert you are, you'd be killing two birds with one. Okay, <laughs> let's get past that line. Fucking Shinigami. Hey, you. Check Kurone's body to see if she's hiding Oh, uh, look at you, Yuma. You're a good boy. You're a good, Me? pure boy. Wouldn't it be better for the peacekeepers to do their own investigation? But that would, uh, cause some problems. Just do as I say. Just do as I say, dammit. Uh, I'm on it. Oh, there's something in her pocket. Oh, yikes. What is a it? Notebook. Like a diary? Oh, just like a notebook. Oh, what the hell? Bunch of articles? You looking like a yandere out here. Is this a scrapbook? It's like a newspaper clipping. Is it about Ico? There are magazine and newspaper clippings in it. And all the articles are related to Ico? Girl. <laughs> Girl. Page, there's a small <laughs> clipping of an article about Ico's suicide. Yikes! Was she collecting everything there is about Aiko? I think so. It was like Yoshiko seemed to think that this girl did it. Is she like trying to like find evidence to prove her innocence to Yoshiko? I don't know if anybody else thinks that she did it or not, but that's the most like I don't know, like kind interpretation I can give that. Wait, <laughs> that's fucking that... weird as hell. Oh yeah, it was her bow. I thought it, I thought that that was what that was. <laughs> Dude, everybody was in love with Aiko. Hey, where's she going? A <laughs> girl, I'm literally the vice president no, of the world. It's fine. Huh? Can't run away from me. R really? Get arrested. Come on, you must start power tripping. Scrapbook owned by Kurene. There are magazine and newspaper clippings pasted in it. Fucking weird as hell. <laughs> they all just hate each other except for Aiko. <laughs> I'm starting to headcanon that they are all in love with Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. The girls are fighting. Is there anything else in here? No, I don't think so. No. Oh, check out the staff room. Oh, still? Really? I just didn't see any uh, other stuff. Uh, it's Kurene's locker. It seems like there's nothing noteworthy in here. Can I talk to you again? No. Check that, check that. I didn't check you. She goes locker again. No. Nothing. I need to ask the student. My bad. Sorry. I tried to click on this. Ah. Uh, See so how she goes locker. Seems like there's nothing noteworthy. I guess I could ask these girls. I just didn't think I'd really be able to overhear anything this time. Hey. Whisper, whisper. Do you girls have a moment? Oh, what is it? I'd like to know if anything about this incident has stuck out for you. Even small things would help. 
stuck out. Um, so maybe she's a culprit? At least that's what I think. Hmm. This is the same as what I heard earlier. Thank you. Stay in this room for now. Also, you might want to refrain from whispering. All right. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, so there was... Yeah, I think somebody mentioned the diary. That probably is it. Was it R R Waruna's diary that it was? It's a club locker. Waruna's name tag is on it. I guess so. I have to open this for the investigation. Do you understand? Huh? Uh, yes? Since we think this bitch did it. Oh, right. Okay, this yeah. diary has a lock on it. I have to bust open this diary. It's for the investigation. I feel bad about reading someone's diary, but I need as many clues as I can get my hands on. You there. Can you call over the student named Waruna? Huh? Oh, dang. She's Waruna. gonna be there while you read it out? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes! Awkward! What do you want with me? Can you open this lock? That's my diary! <laughs> Damn! Where did you get that? That has nothing to do with what happened. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> oh, Yuma, you sound sounds so unsure. It pains me to do this, but it might lead to a clue. I have no choice. Isn't this what a detective would do? There's no need for emotions to solve a case, right? I understand. Here's the key. I'll give it back right away. Don't worry. After I read all your deepest and darkest secrets. Oh, God, they really are all in love with Aiko. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just cut every other single person out. I guess, well, it's probably more so, okay, like, to be real, to be realistic, it's probably more so they all think that the others did it, you know what I mean? So it's like, they all have good memories with Aiko, and now they all hate each other because they all think that the other one killed Aiko. I see. Here, you can have it back. I wanted to read, I want to read her deepest, darkest secrets. No, it's very important I read this entry from two years ago. It's for the investigation. Photo of Warna and Aiko. It appears the two of them were cut out from a larger photo. We can piece the whole thing right. together. That's enough investigating in this form. I should revert to my normal self. It forcibly exposing secrets isn't an investigation. It's just coercion. <sighs> You're such a naive softie. All right, let's go back to Desuhiko. Finished. Okay, cool. Back to Desuhiko. Okay, I guess I might uh, save here then, because, yeah, I'm pretty hungry. God, we've been playing for almost five and a half hours. That's wild. So wild. But, yeah, man, this has been fun. I really am enjoying this case so far. I think I do like it better than the last case. From what I can see, I do think it helps, yeah, actually having, like, a name for, <laughs> for the suspects and stuff. I feel a lot more invested in this one. I feel like the other one I was kind of like, eh, I don't really know any of the people involved. And, like, they all kind of seemed, like, so distance, so, like, distance from each other. Like, they didn't really have anything in common. But this one, it's, like, two friends and a friend group died. So, it seems like it's already more like um it, i guess i feel like more emotionally invested into it because of that but yeah it's been a lot of fun uh thanks guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the um almost you want me to finish it i just like i'm scared it's gonna put me like push me right into the labyrinth basically is why so that's kind of why i was like we could just stop it here <laughs> Because I don't know, I feel like sometimes, um, you know, it's like you start a cutscene and then all of a sudden it's like, there you go to the labyrinth, bye bye. But so it's like, I don't know, I just I see a stopping place. It seems like a better place to kind of end things. But um, yeah, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Appreciate it. I'm going to play FNAF 4 sometime soon, probably like tomorrow or Monday. So hopefully that video will go up this week before the next stream. Hopefully Billy's not in it. God, <laughs> a girl can dream. A girl can dream. But, um, yeah, thanks, guys, for stopping by. And um, I will see you next time. I'm going to go get the outro out, too.